Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. And happy oh, birthday to me. You. Assuming you can hear this, because literally, like, ten seconds before we, we we were going live, YouTube put a big pop up just saying live streaming is unavailable. Please finish or try again. And we press try again, and the same pop up came up. So I don't know. Maybe you can hear us. Maybe you can't. I mean, well, and, and if we're really lucky, maybe maybe we'll be able to. It, it, it sounds like people people can hear things. So that's great. There we go. Welcome. So it's my birthday today. I'll tell you all about my birthday. It's, it's great. I've been saving up my presents. We're, we're going to open presents live during the stream. Tabby's going to like come and give us a performance of the song of her people. Uh, we might have a song coming up later. Uh, there's 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 all sorts of stuff. It, it, it's going to be a birthday extravaganza. But 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 for I am a beneficent and benevolent god. Therefore. For my birthday, I have brought you a gift. And the gift I have brought you is the gift of dumbness. Because I, okay, I want, you, I want you to know what it's... Don't it, you bring that us to every day, though? What? Whoa! Whoa! We start strong here. Wow. Every video Burn. when you have a plan. I Burn. love you. Wow. Okay, so here's what it's, here's what it's like to be, be me, by the way. Because, you know, I'm primarily known as like a... Uh, a Fallout YouTuber. That means, like, you know, I'm always keeping half an eye for, like, ideas for stuff to do with, um, with Fallout. And it's how we ended up with things like, you know, uh, you and live once and kill everything and da 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 It's kind of, you know, keep an eye out for ideas. Um, mm -hmm. and that, that's how we end up with, you know, and things like the randomizer and, um, the worst courier and all the rest of it. I just keep an eye out and, like, you know, I always have half an eye on what can we do that's interesting. And, like, there's, you know, there's the stuff that actually works that becomes series. But I come up with a big second tier of stuff. And the second tier of stuff is the dumb stuff. Where I, I look at it and think, okay, I, I conceptually get where I was going with this. But this is a dumb idea. For various reasons, it's too dumb to become a proper series. But I always keep notes. I always, I write them all down and I keep notes. And I thought, you know what? For the birthday live stream special, I'm bringing out one of the dumb challenge rocks. That for various reasons, I wouldn't want to make like a full multi-part series of. <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> and thus, welcome to You Only Everything Want. So the first dumb thing there is, we, we're not quite sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. Like, yo, yo! Yo, 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 I guess, I guess yo, yo, I guess it's yo, yo, but we can't, it, it didn't, it didn't, uh, so that was it, other than that, it was, per, it was perfection, <clears throat> so, um, yes, we're, we're gonna do, yes, the regrets stream, <laughs> we're gonna do, four, we're gonna do Fallout 4, <laughs> yes, Claire's only allowed to speak once, yeah, that's... you can only talk once, that's what I normally have, <laughs> Claire... I was gonna make that joke, uh huh. So, um, <laughs> by the way, just, uh, uh, just because of the, the, this, this list is very high level that I keep. It's basically just a concept. Like, you know, the line, I think it's, I think it's in Guardians of the Galaxy 1, where it says, I've got a plan, and everyone wrapped up the plan. They said, That's not a plan, it's barely even a concept. Yes, that, that's where we are tonight. Um, the, 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 um, here's as far as the planning into this challenge run's gone. It's called Joni, uh, You Only Everything Wants. I, I came up with the title yesterday after I had the idea written down for a while. Uh, and the, the idea is, as you may have guessed, you're only allowed to do everything once, okay? Literally, literally everything. So uh, to give you an example, you're allowed to do one speech check in the game. You may pass one speech check. Once you've done it, that's it. You no more speech checks. What You're allowed to hack one computer, unlock one door. You're allowed to use one of every item. So once you've used one stim pack, that's it. No more stim packs for you. John you is only allowed to be wrong once. John is only allowed to <laughs> interrupt Claire once. I love those. Keep yep. them coming. Um, um, let's, 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 let's see what else we've got. Oh, um, obviously you can only use each gun once. So once a gun runs dry, you can't reload it. You have to literally toss it away. That gun's dead. Um, uh, melee weapons can only be used, uh, once. Uh, we'll add more rules as we go. Toss rules at us. I'll add them in. It's fine. Claire will keep an eye on the rules. We'll just add back. We'll add more rules in as we go. Anything that vaguely suits you only everything once. I've not planned this, so I don't know what, which, which I ought to be saving and which I ought to be not saving. So that's it's that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to we're going to everything 
wants. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'd, I'd like to, I, I don't know whether we should do, like, you can only go to each location once unless plot demands otherwise. Uh, that, that's a possibility, because that, that, it's impossible to only go to each location once, because you have to go back to quest givers to turn in plot, uh, key plot stuff, uh, for the most part. So that doesn't actually work. Uh, but this is, this is why we, this is... Yes, there, there we go. Clench, I hope you just read all of that. Just just read all of that and give me the good stuff. Just read all that and filter it for me. There you go. So, that's, that's what... I mean, there are a lot of people and there are a lot of people making suggestions. It's Tabby! Hello, baby. Tabby just kept... Did everyone hear the meow? Hey, Tabs. Oh, Tabby just came in. And Tabby's uh, decided... You can only fast travel once. Uh-huh. Oh god, that one you might- You can only use that once! <laughs> oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, ooh, maybe, um, maybe you can <clears throat> only crit once. Yeah, crits are, rand uh, crits are random in this. Fallout 4 crits are a thing you choose to do every game before that. Like, crits are no, random fine, probability, fine, so fine. it's impossible. I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. I think some people heard Tabby in the background there. Some people heard the meow. Tabby is just, uh, Tabby's just in here. So there might be some meows in the background. You can only say the word golden once. Do what? Boo. Uh, I was going to say, I've not planned this. You like, can only have sex with one NPC. What? Unacceptable. <laughs> Completely unacceptable. Mm -hmm. So there we go. I've not, as I say, I've, I've not got a plan for any of this. And we're, I'm now going to go over to a black screen. Oh, you can only sleep <clears> once. Mm -hmm. You can only go into your inventory once. Oh, no, there is one There is one. One that's a definite one, by the way. Uh -huh. We're going to be playing hardcore mode, which is a Fallout New Vegas' survival mode. It means you have yeah, to eat yeah. and drink and sleep. However, I can only eat uh, each type of food once. I can only drink each type of drink once. And I can only drink ooh, from each ooh, water ooh. source and once. And you can only sleep in the same type of item once. So if it's not There's like not a enough variety in Fallout New Vegas for that to be a thing. Uh, unfortunately, but I will say you can only sleep in each bed once. Yes, that's yeah, okay. certainly true. Uh, so we're gonna, that's that's what we're gonna do. This is. Tabby is now uh, sitting in the door, uh, just keeping an eye <clears> on <throat> the whole way for us. Be, being nice. like, uh, the screens are gonna go black, by the way, uh, because unfortunately, uh, Fallout New Vegas just breaks if it's not the front window. So I haven't even loaded the game yet. It's gonna be great. You so. can only. Wear one piece of clothing or armor at a time. I wonder, does this mean that at the end of the day you have to change for the next day so you're not gross and you can't reuse things? Possibly. I think that might also be a joke because the um, armor is all one piece. In... Yeah, but I'm not making a joke. I'm saying you have to change armor every day because, you know, you're in the wasteland, but you still gotta, like, wash your underoos. Yeah, that seems, so that seems reasonable. Yeah, change yeah. armor once a day. Yep, yeah, armor can only be used for one day. That's that's absolutely that's absolutely reasonable. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna let's see. Hopefully this is all gonna work because uh, I really hope this is gonna uh, this is gonna pick up in a second. Fallout New Vegas just if it's not the top window just break. There we go. Fallout New Vegas can only crash one. Oh no! Well that's that's the that's the stream done. Uh, uh, obviously we will be uh, doing this on very hard mo a uh, very hard difficulty. And as I say we're gonna have some, we're, I'm gonna put hardcore mode. <laughs> And a, a randomizer shouldn't be on. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, I'm about to... Uh, he's not gonna do... I, can your character be naked? Is that possible? Huh? Somebody said do the game in the birthday suit. Um, you are down to your underwear. You can't take your underwear oh, off. You can't, you can't be proper naked. Okay, I need to immediately crash the game. Because uh, I've Yay, got... Yay, full... <laughs> No, no, I need to do no, this by choice. I need to do it by choice because otherwise I can't cocking see anything. Because uh, otherwise the I had the wrong window up over here. Oh, fair enough. Because otherwise I couldn't see things coming in. So that's why are you there? If that's why are you? I don't need to. No, no, this. Okay. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Okay, YouTube, no, it's, it's... YouTube's not behaving today. It's fine. No, YouTube always does that. It's very annoying. Right, so that that's me crying. That's the that's the only. It's not also a game crash. I just turned the game off. But that's it. I'm only allowed that. I'm only that. That's the only one. Now the game. Now the mm. game's not allowed to crash. Them's the rules. Oh, you can only shop once. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, that was from a Thomas. Yep. One. Well, yeah. One use of a shop. I, I, I need, I'm getting the chat to keep me honest. I'm gonna forget what I have and haven't done. So the chat's gonna have to keep me honest. This is going to be a slightly silly but this is why the thing is that the reason I, I immediately thought this thought, that's an interesting idea but i can't make it a full series is because if i was to do it as a weekly series like imagine like in a situation i have to say like in part eight oh i can't do this because i did this thing six weeks ago 
and no one's quite and like, I need to like stop halfway through to why is that? There we go. It's, it's fine. Uh, like, and, and, and like, I need to go and check whether I did a thing six weeks ago to know whether, like, it's, yeah, the, it slows down too much. Like, as, as a dumb, it. silly live stream, it's fine, but it would never work as a full proper series for that reason. Um, I think that might be a little bit loud. Uh, that's fine. I can change the master volume in the game, because I can't come out of the game now. Can't come out of the game. Don't, don't, don't be crazy. That's, that's uh, the John has now do. failed YOLO. You only launch once. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's oh, see. dear. Uh, dear, oh, dear. Right. Uh, okay, let's see. We have so many messages already from people wishing you uh, a happy birthday, which uh, is really, really lovely. Happy birthday, everybody. Well, the, particularly the people whose birthday it is. Now, there's about 1,500 people here. So statistically, about six of you, it's your birthday as well. So happy birthday to those people. Uh, <laughs> yes, indeed. Hey, They're... that's maths. You can't question that. No, I'm not questioning the maths, John. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to, you know, I'm just trying to not panic about the amount of, uh, <laughs> of readings you're not going to, reading you're not going to let me do. Oh, it's fine. Although I'm also, I'm, I'm very relieved that what we're seeing right now is Doc Mitchell and he's wearing the usual Doc Mitchell stuff. Um, which suggests to me the randomizer mod is off. Because, you know, sometimes mods just refuse to be off. Wow. So this is so uh, this is this, this is just yo this is just yo yo John, but he's he's wearing his usual stuff. So randomizer's definitely off, which is a really good start because I, I think or I, a very unlikely probability that he's wearing randomly the uh, starter outfit. That's true. That's definitely true. Happy birthday to the the, the six people whose birthday it is statistically thereabouts. Uh... Oh. Happy birthday to them ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Right, all yours while I just very quickly toss together a character. Uh, right, well, uh, let's see. Starting at the very beginning, uh, Steve gave us $25, uh, 25 euros and says, Hi, John. Hi, Claire. Happy birthday, dear John, with a little love heart. I hope, you've ha I hope you have a lovely day. Also, a question. If this ends up being multiple attempts, could we end up with a uh, <laughs> Fallout New Vegas? You only everything Pentis! <laughs> It's, it's entirely possible. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Lisa gave us 50 Swedish krona uh, and uh, says, clear th throat, happy birthday to you. I mean, look, I don't want to, you know, be rude. Lisa probably can sing better than that. Yeah. But, you know, um, let's see. Also, happy birthday from the book 778, who gave us five pounds. Uh, and Anna uh, gave us five dollars and says, happy birthday, John. Uh, we've also got a happy birthday from Ali, who gave us five pounds. I'm going to instinctively say happy birthday back to these people, which is not the right response. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The wrong response. I'm going to instinctively want to do it anyway. Uh, and Ali says, uh, my aunt shares this day as her birthday, so we baked her a chocolate orange cake. You can pretend it's for you if you like. Yay, chocolate orange cake. Sounds pretty good. Yay, that sounds delish. Yeah. Uh, and uh, thank you so much to Jake, who uh, gave us £50. Pounds. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and there's actually there's a lot of extremely generous donations through already. Um, Jake says, happy birthday. Actually, just have the best day. Eat all the cake and wear a party hat for officialness. It's been a year since I started modding the streams, and it's been fab. Uh, Yay! Good work. Uh, also, this is as close to a birthday present as it gets, TBH. Oh, there you go. And uh, yeah, I we've not had, yeah, n not cake, but there was a brownie yesterday. Yeah, we have we brownie have yesterday. Ice cream today. There is ice cream, which is very exciting. Yeah. And I say there's all sorts of pre. I haven't. I've opened like you know one or two presents, but like I've, I've mainly kept the presents so we can open the presents at some point during the stream. Which yeah, is all I mean, there, there, there's some there's some bigger presents and some like smaller, sillier presents, and there's one that I think is gonna. There's one that Claire's I been hyping up one like. present that she insisted must be opened on the street, no matter what else we do. So yeah, that's I mean, that's certainly interesting. Uh, it's it's a silly one, but I think you will really enjoy it. So mm -hmm. there you go. Uh, shout out also to Noel who uh, gave us eight dollars seventeen uh, and says happy birthday, John. Uh, and boops, Oop. John. 
Excellent. Uh, I hope it's a marvelous one. Also, trans rights. Trans rights. Trans rights, indeed. I'm going to have to try to a little bit higher than usual just because, bear in mind, I need to carry extra guns for when I have to toss away my guns. <laughs> so I'm going to want a tiny bit more strength than usual and a tiny bit more endurance when I need to run forward to collect the guns that I just had to drop. Charisma, obviously, we still we dump as always. Uh, agility is actually, then again. If I am only allowed to use fat spots and a spiel and a speech check once, doesn't that change? Uh, How does charisma work in New Vegas? Or? No, charisma is still the dumb stacks. It's not sure. a fun. It's it's purely a function of skill points, which are a function of intelligence, which is why charisma is so garbage. I don't I actually don't need the agility, but I'm still going to be using. I'm going to be using day to day fire. So maxing out luck is not a terrible idea. Perception is always useless, and like the only reason you take it is to take the associated perks, uh, like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's not bad. I, I, it's a really unusual build, but like, yeah, I, I don't really need much in the way of agility. But luck will be persistently useful because luck, yeah, luck actually affects like just bullet crit chance in general. And I feel like I'm going to be needing luck anyway. I'm just going to max out. Like, and then again, I could... If I could take that at 9. I could boost that later, potentially. To give myself just the tiniest bit more endurance. So I've got a bit more health. Yeah! Not the most usual. Like, that's... I wouldn't normally go for 9 luck straight off the bat. But I think that'll actually do. That's that's going to... that That's going to work. Look, it's not my fault Perception's useless. In this generation of Fallout, Perception wasn't... Didn't do anything to that. Which was so dumb. And I've no idea why they, why on earth that was true in Fallout 3 and why on earth they didn't fix it in Fallout in Vegas. Maybe they just didn't have time. But like back in, in Fallout 4, it's fixed and it makes sense again. Because perception in this game doesn't do anything aside from the compass, which is so worthless. Um, and then like, you know, the secondary, uh, like, you know, cascade down stats. Um, and that's it. And also the only reason you take it is to get the perks that have perception requirements but like it's just wasted special aside for that it's really dumb yeah i'll take it that that'll have that oh you have used to do. nine twice huh you used nine twice okay so that's I, 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 I didn't know that was a rule well you didn't say it weren't a rule <laughs> i'm also taking I, what that's not how rules work i can't just like I'll, I'll... maybe you should have had a plan then john Oh dear. Uh, oh, you're just not changing it then. No, I'm not changing that. All right. I've got a safe. I haven't got a safe to go back to. Uh, okay. So this is now. Let's see. Uh, sorry, d there is uh, still let's see quite a bit to uh, go through. Uh, Brandon gave us five dollars and says, "Hey, John and Claire, all hail Tabby, and please remind my friend Alex that Tyler is good, as good as New Vegas." That's pretty good. I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure I can subscribe to that message. Well, we don't know Tyler, so we can't. Yeah, we can't, uh, I'm sure Tyler's. I'm sure Tyler's but great, uh, yeah. but is he New Vegas? Is he New Vegas good? Is he? Are they? We don't know that. That's true. Anyway, uh, let's see. grab all the foods. I can only eat one each type of food once. Delicious, delicious detergent. Excellent. Uh, I haven't planned right. to build, by the way. So that's that's going to be good. I'm just going to make that up right now. <laughs> Uh, no, we're not doing something where he can't move and he has to not stop. That's a bit much. What? Somebody says, well, many people have said, uh, but uh, including Derp Squad, uh, John only gets to move once he has to move as long as the game currently allows him to do so. No stopping to aim or anything like that. No, 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 yeah, no. That's, I that's that a, seems that's, a bit much. That's a bit much. So I, think I'm, I think I'm floating above the sofa right now. You can only break the rules once. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That was that was me. That was me breaking the rules. Oh, so, so we've counted it already. Yeah, sure. So I'm gonna yeah. need speech sooner or later for a speech check. Guns are the most common things in the game, so I better boost that as well. Cause, and the interesting thing is, cause I'm gonna be going hardcore. Uh, survival basically impacts yes. Um, the benefit you gain from food and drink, which isn't just hit points, it's also uh, b -b 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 uh it also impacts like how much uh your oh. of your hunger and thirst meter, which will probably break, cause the hunger and thirst meter in Fallout New Vegas breaks all the time. So that will probably just break at some point. Uh, that's pff, that's just a thing. 
Okay, he can level up and take perks more than once. Let's yes. Let's not be silly. That's de well, you can't stop yourself leveling up. When you when you are out of combat in this game, if you've passed the number of XP, the game will force you to level up. It won't let you get out of that screen until you've uh, assigned anything. It's only, uh, I think it's Fallout 1 and 2, you can simply not go into the menu. You can just choose not to level up, I believe. Uh, Fallout hey. 3 in New Vegas, you are forcibly, f you are made to level up, even if you don't want to. You're not allowed to leave until you've spent your skill points. Fallout 4, you could just choose not to, but the game would assign the health benefits anyway, so that varies game to game. I'm going to take survival, okay, so, which is really dumb, but I'm um, going to do it. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Shout out to uh, Nath, who uh, is saying it's also their birthday today. Happy birthday, Nath! Happy birthday, Nath! Uh, and let's see, you can only break for Jaffa Cakes once. Uh-huh, that's reasonable. Which is fine, because we've got one pack of Jaffa Cakes, and mm -hmm. that means, you know, a sleeve of Jaffa Cakes each. And that's, you eat that in five seconds anyway. Yeah. And by you, I mean everyone. I'm not, like, you know, mm -hmm. general you. Um, let's see... Uh, you can only you can only uh, toss a corpse around once. <laughs> Seems harsh, but okay. Uh, Skilled is never gonna be a bad call, but neither is. You can only take a perk once. No double toughness, for instance. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, that's reasonable. Uh, so shout out to Joe who uh, who suggested that once. I'll pass that on one, skill even. this time. I'll just take my usual four eyes and good four eyes and good Ooh, natured. Uh, Rumu says you can only turn in items for reputation once. Okay, yeah, I probably wouldn't have got round to that during a live thing anyway. But it's as okay. Um, I, I, I decided to make you and the character crate, by the way. Yeah. Kind of, you know. Is that not what you normally do? Yes, pretty much always. But like, it's it's slightly more messy, Claire, than usual today. Slightly, slightly messy haired, Claire. Yeah, I mean that tracks. Yeah. There we go. Representing how stressed you're going to be by the end. It's going to be fine. Yeah, sure. I'm not, I'm not stressed now at all. There we go. And <laughs> yes, we're going to be turning hardcore mode. Uh, you can only take one companion. Yeah. I generally avoid companions anyway. But yes, in theory, that would certainly be true. And yes, Sunset's Umbrella actually increases your thirst. So that's that's certainly of interest. Uh... Okay, so, 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 just from looting the house, I've got, yeah, I've got four guns. So each of these guns, I can, I can, yeah, I can use the knife once, then it has to go. Um, the actual guns, I'm just going to go through all these menus in case it wants to show me any uh, little pop-ups, because you can never skip those. Uh, yeah, and I can use all of these until they run dry, then they have to go. So I'll start with a 9mm pistol. So yeah, I've got 13 shots of that, then that's it, that's, that's done. Also, I'll be taking the hat, and there was no clothing in your... In your wardrobe was there? Some, that's the bathroom. That's not his wardrobe. There was just nothing. Yeah, there was just nothing in there today. So that's a bit unfortunate. But that's fine. I'm just going to find myself like a nice little, uh, just a nice little starting thing. Because uh, as we've established, I yeah, if I can only shop once, I'm going to want to save. Ah, uh, no, you must take a companion once. Mm-hmm. Maybe, but maybe for a brief period, yes. And also, oh, the DLC needs to load. The DLC, the DLC just needs to you load. You can it. only wear each pair of each different pair of glasses once. Oh, there's a switchblade. I need to. I need to gather every single weapon I can because. Are you just ignoring me because you want to just wear the glasses all the time? Uh, there's not that many glasses. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to. I, I, if an item breaks, it definitely has to go. Wow. That's reasonable. Like I, I, I won't repair anything. Things either get used or they don't. There's a few. There's a few guns just dotted around. Uh, good springs uh, and also purified water. Hooray! Uh, but yeah, I can also if I just gather first aid items, I can. Yep, there's there's dead money, which for some reason loads like way use later. Use each type of grenade once. Yep, using each type of grenade once and only one. actually. Hmm. That's interesting, because if I found a duplicate gun, like if I found multiple 10 9 millimeters, then I would think it would be legitimate to use them. But that's a different, that's a different, like, gun item. Mm, okay, we can think about that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Mm. Yeah, I'm there, there is, there is just, there are just many, 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 many suggestions. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can... 
only use each skill magazine once. Yep, that's fair. Yeah. That's reasonable. Yeah. Uh, except... Shout out to Ryan uh, for that one. Except Thank as we so just much. invent new except as we just invent new things. Yeah. Uh let's see. Uh, and each skill. You can only disarm well. one yeah. trap. Ooh, interesting. Uh, that's from Barry. All right. That was my sneak. Okay, so now Ooh, I've, I've used from, my uh, one sneak skill book. I can't use sneak skill books again. Okay. Uh, from Bar uh, from uh, sorry, from Sir Roderick Quincy Vaughan Thunderbottom, the Magnificent Hacking of Australia. Uh, you're going to need mod a weapon once. Interesting. Uh, Bountiful Otto uh, says you can only complete one faction quest per faction. Well, then the so game's uncompletable. Sense. So that's that's death. That that's not okay, a go. Fair enough, fair the game enough. is literally uncompletable at that point. Is there a second? Uh, you can only skill? DLC once. Myra says, <laughs> if you go to one DLC, you can't go to the others. <laughs> I doubt we're getting to DLC today. But I'm just going to focus. Well, you're talking about the finishing the game, so uh -huh. I don't know. Well, as in the game is would be in an incompletable state. Not that I necessarily think we're going to be able to complete mm. it during the course of this live stream. Uh, is that right? Oh, Derp Squad says he was making a joke. Uh, they were making a joke, as in John's not allowed to pick up and reuse a grenade after he's thrown it. Ah, I see. I see. I see. Yes. Okay. Uh, you can only pick pick pocket once. Uh, from Sky. I Arrow. never pick pocket in this game, just because the, it doesn't. It didn't show you the probabilities, and the probabilities never seemed that bloody high. I could have sworn there was a laser pistol in here, but I must be misremembering. Mm, pardon me. Uh, let's see. A few people. Um, a few people have mentioned uh, use a heal item only once. That's not what we're doing. We're going to use each specific healing item only once, like only one stim pack, and then. Yeah, one stim pack. But like you know, you because New Vegas, you can craft a large number of uh, bits and pieces. So that's all absolutely uh, uh, a okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. b -b 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 but yeah, there'll be definitely be an argument for avoiding a low XP, but like much combat stuff. So for example, Sunny Smiles tutorial, uh, Gecko Hunting, I'll be skipping that. Because also, let's just make sure this is actually working, by the way. Okay, that does appear to be ticking up for now, but th these meters will just break. These meters will break, and as far as I'm concerned, like, the rule is I can drink and eat one of each thing, and for water, one of each water source. Once I've drunk from a water source, that's it, I can't go back there. Get out of the way, you. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to go get a gun from Sunny Smiles, and I'm going to skip the rest of her tutorial, which the game gives you an, op uh, an option to do. So she's just going to go out now. I'm just going to help myself to fixing things, and I'm going to get the pool cue. Because uh, I just need, I need enough weapons that uh, yes, this is all going to work just fine. She'll give me the uh, the varmint rifle uh, in a sec. I'll use that to take out the uh, the bottles. My gun skill is pretty good. Yeah, my guns and strength is fine, so I should be able to actually use this one. It's hilarious if like you have sufficiently low strength or guns uh, that you can't properly use the varmint rifle, <laughs> and then you can, the tutorials actually it, it, like it just swag all over the place. It's crazy. Uh, right, I'll just take these out. Clap. All yours. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, Doug Tanyan, who gave us uh, £10 well, and says, Happy birthday. Sorry, I can't join right now, but I'll watch later. Hope there's plenty of tabby shaped cake. Is tabby still with us? Or is she no, no, she's she not. Wants off. And there's no tabby shaped cake, uh, but we, we have had. Oh, there, mm -hmm. there are sweets, definitely. Mm -hmm. Just FYI, um, I, need, I, need, I need to point this out now because otherwise people are going to throw us a strop about this. So, as, as, as people are well aware, there's there's one thing I love doing in video games more than anything else. Can you guess what it is, Claire? Is it um, dangling dead people about? Well, it's, it's, yes. But other than that, uh, what it is, is um, reloading. I reload, like, instinctively. So if I reload a gun, then I just need to remember to drop that gun immediately and not use it thereafter. Uh, and like, I don't fail because I've reloaded the gun. I fail if I were to reload and then, uh, like, use, yeah. use the gun for something. So this this gun's now got, like, one thing uh, left in it. And I, and I, I need to try... I, I, like, it's taking all my... All my instinct to... to, to des I'm just desperately trying not to reload this gun. Right? In fact, I could, I could remap reload. <laughs> no, it's fine. This is going to be... This is going to be a test of my strength because... Uh, Actually, that, that's interesting. If I put the gun away, does that mean it... Does it reload itself in this game? Is, is, that, is that a thing? If I if I get that away and then get it back out? No, it doesn't. Okay, putting a gun away and getting it back out. Because, yeah, enemies shouldn't actually spawn up here. 
Um, they don't spawn into the graveyard till you're done with this first area. So I can come up here safely and help myself to... Where are you, buddy? There's the, the cigarettes. There we go. Grab them. Uh, because obviously, yes, if I gather the evidence, then I can isolate Benny nice and easy without needing to use any speech checks. Um, and that means, therefore, I don't have to use up my, my speech. Uh, I, I can save my speech, which is really good. So this gun can actually go away. Now I know that, yeah, that doesn't reload to anything. I can't remember what I think. Which, does that have for Fallout 4? No. Maybe? I can't remember. Um, but yes. Uh, basically, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to gather the evidence so I can deal Ooh. with Benny without having to bother with any of the uh, the rest of that. Yes, Claire? Uh, okay, several people have pointed out that they think there should be some kind of punishment for breaking a rule, like having to drop <laughs> all of your inventory or dropping all of your aid items, etc. Mm -hmm. we, we'll make up penalties as we go if need be. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. I can actually, yes, an auto inject stim pack is technically a distinct thing from a stim pack. That's true. That's yeah, definitely I mean, true. Presumably something like, yeah, anything that's its own entry, like a stim and a super stim. Yeah, stim and super stim are, are different. But yeah, if I just, if I get enough uh, science, then I can make a, an auto inject stim pack to give myself another stim pack, which is 100% uh, fair. And yeah, I can use uh, ammo to change ammo types around if need be. Right, let's just kick off Ghost Town Gunfight. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Saku Rose, who gave us $5, and Didi, who gave us 10 Kristen gave us $5. Also, we've got many, many uh, absolutely lovely birthday messages. Uh, Poison Joe gave us $5, says, happy birthday, John. Thanks for the memories. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Christopher says, happy birthday, and gave us £5. Uh, Bergy gave us 10 polished slotty and says, hey, a happy birthday, John. Happy birthday to you too. I'm yes, just going to say indeed. it to everybody. It's fine. Uh, Lavarp2 gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday to you. I know what you've done. You've made Claire sing. Uh, my, um, you can only be mean to Claire once, they say in chat. That's wild. That's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. You can only become over encumbered once. Uh, well, I'll try, I'll try not to go over incumbent at all, but we'll have to see whether that happens. Uh, Kayla gave us $5 and says, I'm so excited for this stream. Happy birthday. Uh, also happy birthday from Molly, who gave us $10. Says, John, I hope you have a magical day. Uh, happy birthday. I hope you have a great oh, day oh, shit. I almost, Alex. I almost used my repair checkup on repairing the radio. Holy shit all. Ooh. That, that almost went wrong. I don't know what I'm going to... Actually, what, what else do I need my repair check for? Repair doesn't really do anything in this game. What, was, what else is... What other repair check is there? Well, don't do it if you don't need to do it, because... It... Repair checks. Repair checks. Repair... No, I'm not going to repair her radio. I almost used up my only repair check in the game. I need to remember what the rules are. Because uh, by the way, by that, I mean all 87 of the rules that we're adding to and making up as we go along. And don't buy and sell to her, because I can only buy and sell, I can only buy and sell once. All right. Shh. Don't, don't hack You've that. already repaired the submachine gun. Fuck! I did! Oh no! Right, I've used my only. I've used my. I've used my only. I used my only repair check. And nice, and you can't. Meaning I can't means... repair ED. I can do it with parts. It's fine. I can do it with parts. Yeah, the elevator in Vault Twenty Two. That's true. All right. Uh, on that wonderful note. As oh I no! Was I've saying... already done a repair. I didn't mean to. Beautiful. <laughs> as I was saying, oh, Alex. No. Alex gave yes. us 10 Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. And says, happy birthday. I hope you have a great day. I hope I do too. Oh no, what have I uh, done? <laughs> that was 100% a repair check there, right? I completely didn't even think about that fudge. Uh, Riffler Underhill gave us uh, two Canadian dollars. Another more excellent dollars. Uh, and says, happy solar sh circumnavigation. Mm-hmm. Uh... Duke Hooft gave us 20, dollar, 20 euros. Excellent and, name. And says, happy birthday. You bring a spark of joy to every day. Oh. That's very sweet and also a sentiment I very much share. Oh. Because I like you. That's cute. 
I am so cute. Uh huh. <laughs> it's nothing you're supposed to say out loud, though. About yeah, but yourself. you would totally be saying that about yourself, so you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you can only steal once. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I've already steal. I think I've already stolen oh, many, already stolen many times. I think that one, that one, that, that one gets to stay. That yeah. one, that one gets to stay. That's fine. Uh, shout out to Cryptic Willow who gave us twenty dollars and says happy birthday to one of my favorite screen buddies and hi Claire. Uh, oh, that was good burn it, Claire. Well done. What? No, no don't open the safe. Shit, don't open the safe. Not okay, that safe. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, Matthew gave us five pounds and says, Bappy birthday, John. Nah, Bappy birthday to you too. Uh, question, which strategy series of yours would you recommend to someone unfamiliar with the genre? Cheers from Matt. Which strategy? Strategy series, yeah. Uh, as in to watch or which game series to play? I would... I mean, I don't know. I thought in to watch from the way it was phrased, but I mean... Well, Crusader Kings comes with a lot of like fun role plays. Even if you don't necessarily know what's happening mechanically, you just love a nice time just because the characters have arcs and stuff uh, from that point of view. Uh, and probably in all fairness, like, Crusader Kings 3 has got a much better tutorial than 2 ever did. So may maybe in either case, Crusader Kings 3 is a good answer. Uh, yes indeed. You uh, can only commit murder one, so I'm not sure that's going to work. No, absolutely not. Okay, Sunny Smiles comes on board without any form of check. She just signs up, uh, which is absolutely fine. Uh, so yeah, that was nice and easy. Good, 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 good. Then she tells us, she tells me to recruit various other people. All those other people need to be one over an oh do i actually have enough i was just thinking i i could use yes i'm, I'm gonna use my sneak check because there are basically like there's almost no sneak checks in the game but a sneak check with trudy so will uh basically that. let me have no it's 25 oh okay i need 25 sneak before i can get her on board i'm not using my speech check on her obviously uh sneak is a function of Agility, right? So I need I need two more points of, uh, yeah, uh, uh, agility, which is going to be quite difficult because I've I've literally got agility up by. Do I do I have a stealth? Do I have a stealth magazine? Isn't Phantoma a stealth magazine? Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my only stealth magazine to pass my only stealth check. I'm never going to well, I'm not going to use it again, so it's fine. There we go. Sneak 25. That's going to get the entire town on board, which makes this fight much more manageable, even though they're not going to have armor. Uh, so some people will die, so I'm not going to get the medicine, armor, or explosives. Uh, so that's my only... Okay, so I've now used my only sneak check, and also my only repair check, and I didn't... And I've not even left uh, good springs. This gun now only got one bullet in it, and it's a terrible gun anyway. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to dump this gun now. Uh, that could just go. Uh, and then single shotgun literally could be fired once. Oh, that's cocking useless. I'll go for 9mm, uh, which is reasonably accurate. At least comes with, like, a handful of uh, bullets, which is absolutely fine. Uh, and now we're just going to go kick off Ghost Town Gunfight. That's it. It's just going to be me and the town with no additional weapons or armor. Versus everyone. Also, I'm being very ballsy not... Not saving. Given this is you Fallout. Need a speak check. You need a sneak check to bring weapons into the casinos. I do, but if you do various, if you get on the side of the casinos, they'll just return your weapons to you, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I need that. I think I don't think I need that. I think that's actually okay. Uh, so okay, so I'm going, going to get Ringo on board. Sunny's with us. That's it. We're just going to do this now because now I've got yeah, I've got Ooh, Sunny, uh... the dog, him, and the rest of the town for one check, which is not bad. You can only get one implant. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, one implant, which is going to make my chest a bit lopsided. But, you know, some some guys will be into it. Also, it's your body. You can do whatever you want with yeah. that. Yeah, make it as asymmetrical as you want, people. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got a lot of people on board. And, yes, I just need to... I need to stay back for the most part. And I'm going to try and not use vats. Because I can't, I can't use vats, or other if I do, I won't be able to use vats again. Uh, I should have dumped the varmint rifle; it would have been quite useful. I'm just gonna let the town do most of the work here. 
The other time, I'll do most of the work. Don't you usually do that anyway? Yes, yeah. but I'm going to be doing it like extra today. Mm, okay. Uh, so that some of them are coming around in this direction. I'm just going to let uh, the dog's going to die. Uh, probably. So actually, the dog's hiding back here for the time being, which is kind of useful. And go, 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 go. Wow, your gun is useless. It's 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 not a very good gun. Uh, the dog it just walks. It's, the dog is going to die because I'm not I'm not trying to save the dog. Uh, but that the dog provides cover for everybody else. Uh, people are starting to die. There's plenty of people left over here who have still got guns. And oh blimey, someone's got who was that? I don't know who that was, but some somebody's died. Sunny's at the back, and no one else is. These two guys just get get out into the get out into get out into the. That guy's just not doing anything. But then again, neither am I. And go. Go. He's got good armor as uh, Joe Cobb. And two. One. Okay, that gun now gets dropped. Uh, it reloaded itself when it ran out of bullets. But it now goes. So that's now done. Right, laser pistol. Go. And my weapon's already in poor condition. Right, there's Joe Cobb dead. There might be one or two people left. I need to kind of watch my health, actually. And I'm liked. Hooray! I've done it! And I'm shown by the powder gangers. There we go. That guy's... Okay, now I can help myself to all his stuff. Yay! New varmint rifle, etc. And dynamite, which I can use one of and that's it. But what can you do, eh? Right, there we go. Level two. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Guns. Just, just take guns up. Just, just whack it all into guns. That's not a problem. Um, maybe a bit into medicine. And that's all fine too. And then swift learner retention, rapid reload. No, rapid reload. Ah! Um... Still gonna fly. Let's have a think. Have a think, yeah. I've never even thought about Hunter, but actually 75% critical damage is really good. It's actually really nice. So I assume that applies to sneak attacks too, because they were merged back in these days. Uh I'll take Swift Learner. Just help level up a bit faster, as none of those perks are spectacular. Ringo's gonna give me um. some money. Uh which is fine. You're very welcome indeed. And then I can just help myself to a giant pile of weapons. Which is going to make life a lot easier. The dynamite I can only use one of, I guess. Uh, and then, yeah, there's more guns right there. I've got plenty of everything. There's a stealth boy. There's some more armor, but it is a disguise. Uh, that's Cheyenne. I can't strip meat off uh, the court of the dog's uh, body, unfortunately. There's another single... <laughs> just a pile of single shotguns. There's a baseball bat. And... That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. I kind of thought you'd... I thought you... I'm sure she's got a, a line about... Maybe she only got a special line about Cheyenne if Cheyenne dies during the initial tutorial, not during this area. Uh, maybe she just accepts that it was likely to happen uh, on this particular occasion. Now, actually, I can get a locksmith's That's reader. Spring, yeah, yeah, just by speaking to her right there, uh, which is fine. Uh, but I won't actually go and deal with these safe because I've already got a stealth boy off that guy. Any more corpses, or was that your... I think that was your lot. So, yeah, now I've got a giant pile of guns. So I can start dumping guns whenever I need to. Uh, in fact, weight is really low. Yeah, guns didn't weigh as much back in these days. That's absolutely fine. I've got a load... Of, it's a load of single-use... Like, the single shotgun is now way more literal than it ever used to be. But that's, that's, that's just what it is. So there we go. Uh, and that's... Wait, what was that? Oh, that'll be the magazine wearing off. I, I, that, that was that was one hell of a thing right there. I mean, I could take the clothing, but honestly, like, it's barely worth anything. It does have some weight. And I don't want to be disguised as a powder ganger, because various factions... I think the NCR are at war with powder ganger. I think they shoot powder ganger on sight. So I, I, I don't necessarily want that. Uh, that that would not... Uh, that wouldn't help me. So, all right, that's, that's good springs. All done. Isn't that lovely? And I've got my first bit of uh, evidence as well. So other than that, there's... Yeah, the um, the lighter and hang on, what's the other bit? There's the lighter, the cigarettes. It's not the. Is it the bit of evidence out of the terminal? Shit, I forgot what the other bit of evidence is. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure I remember it in a second. I'm sure it'll be fine. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Kevin who gave us five dollars and says, "Congrats, John. I always love your work." Uh, we've got a very generous uh, $100 from Andrew, uh, who says, Happy birthday, buy yourself a biscuit, and buy Claire something nice. It says, in, it says, in quote, 
I swear, John, that's what the super chat says. I'm not making this up. <laughs> That's exactly what Claire would say if she was making it up, I say. <laughs> she actually points, she's pointing me at the thing. Right. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we've also got, um, we've got many more uh, very, very, very generous donations. And usually I try to get to the, uh, the, the So there's big water, by the way. I'm just drinking water. This here is a water sauce. I'm just going to drink this till my water's at zero and I'm going to top my health because this is one drink. It's just a big long drink from this one water valve and I can never use this water valve again. All right. So as I was saying, uh, normally I try to shout out the big ticket donations like as soon as they come in just because, you know, it's a bit of um. Obviously, we'll get to every single donation as we always do. But uh, sometimes when there's big amounts we do like to get to them as soon as reasonable um, but i have missed quite a few because they've been coming thick and very fast uh so i'm gonna just catch up on the big ones and then continue in order uh shout out to jade of arc who gave us 50 euros thank you very very much indeed uh and says happy birthday uh and uh, then also in german uh alles gute zum geburtstag geburtstag I'm, I can't remember. I, d I never did any German because I did Greek instead, so I don't know what that means. That means all good for your birthday. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, because I'm assuming uh, but is the same root as uh, birth and then tag is day. Mm-hmm. Um, indeed. And then uh, also $50 from Dominic. Uh, who says, I've been a big fan uh, ever since a certain slightly circuitous trip to Iverstead. <laughs> Didn't take us that long to get to Iverstead. Consider a this a combination of ad block back pay and my chipping in to get John a power washer fund for the next year's anniversary stream. Yay, power washing. We don't really need a power washer yet. At some point we need a yeah, power washer. Yeah, I mean, like, great. we can probably <coughs> borrow Excuse a power me. washer from, like, people around. Uh, probably will be probably a barbecue in the next big thing. We've just uh, bought patio furniture. Yeah, we've got, like, a little table and chairs, a little thing to sit on outside. It's lovely. Yeah, so we were looking for a long time, but patio furniture is very expensive and in high demand at the moment. So we just ended up going with Ikea because it's, yeah, you know, Yeah, so we just got some, yeah, reliable, some decent ideas. Yeah, some good uh, Ikea, Ikea stuff. stuff. So we just got a little bit of Ikea stuff sitting outside, which is perfectly nice to sit on. Uh, yes, indeed. So I just put most of that together yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Commodore gave us 100 Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. Thank you for the years of joy and entertainment. Uh, there you go. Uh, we've got $50 from Jai. Thank you very, very much indeed. As I go from shotgun to shotgun. Uh, yes. The damn it, he changed, changed directions at the worst possible time. Uh, Jai says, happy birthday, John. All the best. And thank you for the many, many, many hours of entertainment over the years. Thank you very, very much indeed. Okay. If you turn away from a weapon... It reloads itself. Do you remember how many shots I took out of this laser pistol? No, but the chat is probably going it, to... Probably about like four or five or something. So, okay, if you change away from weapon, then back to it, then it does reload. So, as a result of that, I'm going to need to... Okay, when I get out of five, I'm going to need to dump this thing. Okay, bear that in mind. If you change away from a weapon, then at that point, it will. It will do that. So, it's okay. Thanks for the warning. Everything's fine. Da, 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 da. Um, so, okay, I need to, when I go, when I'm using a weapon, I need to keep using that weapon until it's ready to go. Otherwise, that's, oh, God, uh, everything's, everything's fine. Oh, there's a stealth boy there. Uh, that's nice. Yes, Clap. Well, people, okay, apparently 26 shots left. 26. Okay, so um, I got four at the end. Because okay, uh, cool. folks are just putting in numbers in the, in the thing. So, um, yeah. If you're answering a question that John is asking, please make a sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you just say three or 26, it doesn't really... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But it seems that several people are saying uh, 26. All right. So I'm just going to fire four times into the wall. So that's all absolutely a-okay. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, as I was going through, shout out to Knight3603, who gave us $100. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. Thanks for all the fun video then streams this past year and the others, of course. 
Uh, there we go. We've got a message from Obsidian who gave us £45 pounds, uh, and says, Happy birthday, John. Here's a small token of my appreciation for all the laughs and the amount of times you've saved me just by giving me somewhere to go and laugh and be happy when I needed it the most. Aww. Thank you and Claire for being yourselves. That sounds like a very cute message. It is very, very sweet and, uh, you know, I would also like to thank you for being yourself because you're kind of rad and I like having you around. Okay, that was that was a complete mess. Now now they're coming for me. Okay, <laughs> that was that was a mess. That one's okay, but that okay. Now I need to keep that out. Cause now okay, that has four shots in it. That has four shots in it. All right, they're they're, they're coming around the corner. This thing is so inaccurate. Where Apparently, are... you disarmed more than one. You disarmed like three mines at a time. Did I what? You disarm more than one mine. Oh, that's fair, isn't it? Uh oh, uh, health. That that's it. That is a concern. Yes. Okay. I better use my one stim pack at this point, because right there's my one stim pack, but I'm in hardcore mode, so therefore that's going to actually cause. I'm just I'm just going to toss a dynamite actually. Okay, go. They'll be coming around the corner. So what on earth? Am I? Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a thing. Did that kill them? That definitely killed one of them. Well done, mate. Uh, right, cleaver, laser pistol. Okay, the laser pistol is now full up, but it should be down, down to. Okay, it was at 26. Let's get it. Okay, one, two, two, three. Why won't you die? As long as I don't go go down below four. I don't, okay, I've almost got. Okay, I'm almost out of health, and I've only used my one stim pack. Okay, this this might have been. This this might have been. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. There is auto health regen in this game as well. Which I don't have any way of compensating for. I'm going to drink some water. Okay, so that's my only purified water. I'm going to drink a sunset sarsaparilla. That's my only sunset sarsaparilla. Right. And then I'm going to eat some junk food. And some iguana bits. Just remember all of these, Clad. Just remember all of these. And some crap. I'm sorry, what? And Can a grilled you mantis. Say it again? And a grilled mantis. Just all those things I just said. No, you didn't say I should write things down. Shh, don't worry, the chat will remember. Oh god. Okay, so I, I need I need much I need much better guns. I need many Yes, a doctor! A doctor would be legitimate. One doctor usage. But I need to get to the doctor first um yeah and by the way you're only allowed to ignore me once uh -huh. <clears throat> and you've already used that up just now when i was being cute and you completely blanked me oh wait i can sleep oh fuck i could have just slapped i just used a lot of healing items and i could have just slapped because one sleep in one single unique bed that's legit that's fine isn't there a gun upstairs in this house i swear there's, there's, there's a there's, there's a gun up here isn't there no, there's just ammo boxes, it'll do. Clap! Shout out to Richard, who gave us $50. Thank you very much, Richard. And says, congratulations on another milestone in your eternal quest to keep on keeping on. I, I will never stop keeping on keeping on. Good. Uh, Kevlar Menace gave us $100 and says, thank you for the chaos, all of it. <laughs> I do my best. Everyone loves the chaos. Yes, indeed. There's definitely a bed round in one of the houses around over here. I'm just going to use one of these beds and that will be fine. I need to go and get... Actually, I don't need to get... I don't need to get... What's his face? Um, The deputy, Deputy Beagle. I could just skip him. He's definitely skippable because that that is... Yeah... Hmm, interesting. Actually, wait, are all these beds are owned beds? That's more iguana bits. I've definitely now eaten some iguana bits. No, I could sleep in this bed. These people are probably dead or something. What do you mean, can't sleep while... Oh, it's trespassing! I can't sleep while trespassing. Yeah, owned beds. Bit trickier to come by, unfortunately. That's good. Wasteland Settler outfit. That's way better than what I'm wearing right now. Uh, also, I'm going to put on a better hat. My Desperado hat, which is way better. Uh, so get rid of that. Get rid of that. There we go. That's that's much better. Looking looking absolutely much better there. A bit scruffier, but but the hat is lovely. Okay, so that means I just need more booze. Yes, booze will potentially be useful, and I can eventually sell large piles of 
Large piles of booze. Yes, I can't sleep while trespassing. Are all these houses trespassing? I can't remember. Because, yeah, the people who live here are technically still alive. Because they're just cooped up in the casino. So people do actually live here. Some of these houses aren't. Yeah, that one's marked as... That's a trespass. But definitely some people, these people are dead. And if they're dead, I feel like it shouldn't be trespassing. But the game's kind of like, ah, it is trespassing, so whatever. Uh, so there's not much I can do about that. Because one of these houses has definitely just got a murder scene in it. And the people who lived here are dead. But okay, I don't have a bed, so I can't I can't heal. And I could go back to Good Springs, but I want to try and... Just in case I decide I only want to do one fast travel, I want to save that for later. So okay, we, we now need to... Everything's fine. There might be beds at the... There might be beds... Uh, that I can use at the NCR outpost. That, then again, I should go to... I should go to... Uh, I should go to Nipton first. Because then... Oh, jump! There's good gu There's good guns. Go to the sheriff's house. There's actually... Actually, it might be in poor condition. But there is a cowboy repeater in the sheriff's house. That's not terrible. Clap! Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Shout out to Carter, who gave us $20 and says it's the first stream I've been able to catch. Glad to be able to support you. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, shout out to uh, Geraint, who gave us, uh, or Geraint, I'm not quite sure. Who I think it's pronounced Geraint. Uh, Geraint? Oh, okay. Geraint, uh, generally. Which one, John? Because that's the two things I just said. I think both are acceptable. Okay. Uh, shout out. <laughs> so they gave us, uh, sorry, they gave us £20. Uh, <clears throat> and said uh, Pemlis Happus, which is happy birthday in Welsh. Yeah. I wish it sounded, to hear Claire it, it sounded try pretty to Welsh. say it. It sounded pretty Welsh. Um, so the super chat says, I wish to hear Claire try to say it. Therefore, I tried to say it based on my knowledge-ish of Welsh letters. And what knowledge of Welsh? I didn't look it up because what I thought What knowledge it was of a... Welsh? What, like the fact that isn't double D in Welsh th, like th in English? I don't know, and neither do you. And double L is l. And then, um, yeah. And then isn't y u, like, as in, Kumri? I don't know. Well, yeah, but you're not allowed to, like, imply that I don't know anything just because you don't. That sounds like a perfectly reasonable thing to imply to me. Okay, fine. I'm going to um, use my one okay, weapon it's repair apparently, kit on this thing. Uh, somebody, um, shout out to Mevla, who says in uh, in chat, um, Pembloith Hapis. Uh, so, yeah. Is, well, do, uh, do they provide a phonetic, a phonetic reading there? Yes. Yes. Which... Yeah, I'm a, yeah. Yes. Very useful. Uh, let's see. Um, it's very sweet. Some people are putting... Uh, this just came in, but uh, uh, shout out to T, uh, T Killer, who gave us uh, 100 uh, Mexican pesos. Mm -hmm. I should have checked this. Um, so that's what, well, unless it's changed. Yes. Uh, this water, uh, that's a new water supply. It is radioactive, but screw it. Okay. Um, they say uh, Feliz cumpleaños, which is happy birthday. Um, and they put um, and they put a little pronunciation guide, which is very sweet. Aww. I know how to pronounce Spanish letters, though. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that there are differences in pronunciation between, like, S Spanish from Spain and Spanish in Mexico. Mm. Um, but, you know, um, th that I know how to pronounce because my aunt lives in Madrid. Mm -hmm. And happy birthday is, like, a thing you kind of hear about. <laughs> Uh, anyway, they say thank you for all the fun you give to all and regards from the distant land of, uh, I suppose, Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, that sounds... F I'm sorry, that sounds incredibly obnoxious. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's correct, though. <laughs> I mean, it is correct, but it also sounds like the person who doesn't speak Spanish trying to say it. I'm just going to dump this anyway, place because there's like three left in it, um, it's fine. Fortunately, they say uh, also, uh, hola, Claire, you are fun. Um, which, you know. She is, you know. Thank you. <laughs> That's very sweet. You said a sweet thing to me, therefore I will acknowledge it and not ignore it because that would be rude. Um, <laughs> wow. 
Um, I'm so sorry. Great message. You were derailed by the whole uh, John, you know, telling me I don't know anything about Welsh. Um, you don't know anything about Welsh. Well, I know a few things about how you pronounce letters in Welsh. The chat said I was right. Mm -hmm. Anyway... Geraint says, uh, I'm using this as a way to unwind following a very stressful day yesterday uh, with a health scare with my partner. So um, I'm sorry to hear that. That sounds not fun at all. And I'm glad that uh, uh, it looks from the from the phrase health scare that it wasn't actually too, uh, too much of a, a bad thing. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Hopefully you and your partner are both okay and you enjoy the stream and us bickering about Welsh. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out also to Ryan who gave us $100. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and says your YOLO run on Fallout 4 uh, has been on in the background during work from home and I have absolutely loved it. Thank you for making great content. It's been fun to put together. I think in some ways it's the most interesting of the YOLOs just because there are more... There are more mechanics that interact in Fallout 4. Like, you know, you can. there are perks and builds that mean you can get stronger as you're at very low health, which there is a tiny bit of in 3 in New Vegas, but nowhere near as much. And, like, you know, having high rads, the fact there are perks you can take to... Oh, no, never mind. That's just Thomas. That's just Thomas and uh, Jacqueline who are Ooh. murdering each other somewhere. Connor McKay says... Um... You can. He can only insult your linguistic skills once. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. That's that. That's that's the rules of the, uh, the string. And everyone can only leave one message in chat. One chat message. So make um, it a good one. John can only be mean to me once per language. So if he wants to be mean to me again, he has to go through many dialects of ancient Greek and Latin, and then go to French. And Thomas is about so to destroy Jacqueline. Jacqueline looks like she's in a lot of trouble. I, I love this fight, by the way, because they both got, like, weak guns but strong armor. Just, they just stand there and it's, like, filling each other with so many bullets. Did you see that? Uh, and, yes, I have to go. Uh, and then uh, wait and go, 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 go. Oh, he, he, he had more. He had more health than, than I thought, actually. No, that gun has to go, and I'm also almost dying. Uh, okay, hang on. What can I, what can I, what can I... I wanted to keep myself alive. Healing powder. And then some millimeter die machine gun. Why are you not? How did that not kill him? What is this useless gun? How did that not work? Okay, wait. Which I I used one of them already. I've got another one. Oh, he's wearing leather armor. Yeah, that would explain a lot. I just emptied an entire clip into him and it did nothing. It did nothing. I couldn't fat scan him. Okay, I've got leather armor now, so I'm fine. I've got a 10mm pistol. There's Tomas's uh, journal. Shout out to <laughs> Jinx, who says only one message in chat would make our work much easier. Oh, uh, no. And also shout out to everybody in chat who joked uh, only one super chat. You can only super chat once. Uh, I deserve that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I deserve this. Okay. So do I. 10mm. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> 10 millimeter pistol. Okay. Dear, that was, dear. Uh, that one was almost empty, wasn't it? I'm going to dump it anyway. I can't remember how much was in, so I'm just going to dump it now. Okay. Now I can actually put on armor, which is really exciting. And now I need to find a tap to drink from. Because that is, if it's a distinct water source, then it's acceptable. So water is going to be my main source of healing. That's that's where we are. Water is now my main source of healing. Because if I'm drinking from a distinct water source, that's legit. So I just need to find a toilet to drink out of. We're playing Fallout New Vegas dust all over again. Right. Uh, all of us want it can just go. I don't need uh, I don't need him for anything. This place should be safe unless I go into the two dangerous houses. And I know which two they are. It's that one and the one on the far side. So we're okay for the time being. There are some scorpions dotted about. But uh, I can just lead them into the legion if need be. Uh, so I don't need to, uh, to fight them. So I'm just going to very quickly, uh, yeah, just scout out the town. See if I can get anything good going on. And bed! Bed is legit. Bed is 100% legit. So let's get it to morning. So I'm going to sleep. Uh, eight hours gets me to about 6, a, uh, 6 7 a.m. Uh, but yeah, that's legit. Beds heal you in hardcore mode, right? Right? No, they don't! They don't. 
Well done, John. Oh, that toilet looks so clean, though. Look at that. That's a, that's a really clean toilet. Oh, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, give, give me more toilet, Daddy. <laughs> and now, John has used this one time of making it weird. Wait, hang on. I'm going to do a Radex. I'm going to do a Radex first. John but... can't make it weird anymore. It was one time. I'm going to do a Radex before I drink the toilet. There we go. New that... bed, new clothes, John. Huh? New bed, new clothes. You have to change. Cause I just did change. That's fine. I'm not changing out to the leather armor. It's too valuable. There we go. Delicious, delicious. Don't clip that so far. <laughs> no. Yay, the clip function. I love the clip. The clip function so fun. I love, I genuinely love it when people send me clips on like Twitter and stuff. I really do. I mean, you know, every, like, pretty regularly yes. now in the evening. Yes, health. <laughs> John's in the living room. We're both in the living room and I just hear like a random bit of cackling. John shouting or John and I cackling in a stream. And I yeah. noticed somebody sent him a funny clip. I love the clips. The clips are so fun. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Well, I can just... Didn't sell. you just take two drinks from that toilet, John? Technically I did, yes. But just pretend I did the radix before I started drinking. I could have gone and found a different toilet. Oh, you're right. I should have done that. You're right, the run's over. Good night, everybody. So, uh, what uh, punishment are we giving him, guys? I'm going to go and drink out of a different toilet I don't need to drink out of to recreate the amount of rads I would have taken had I gone to a different toilet. I'm going to drink out of this toilet. There we go. I'm going to recreate... I'm gonna, I mean, I'm just that gonna... other toilet was three rads per second. No, it would. It was three, then it went down to one because I did the rad act. Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm enough. just going to drink from this one as if I was doing the second drink. So I'm going to normalize the universe. Yeah, give it to me, toilet daddy. You don't need to say that again. They've already put it in the in the box, <laughs> in Nightbot. Also, you didn't listen. You can only make it weird once and you've already used it. Oh, vegetables. Vegetables. Vegetables, the things you only want to eat when you have to eat the same, when you... Can only eat different things. I, I like vegetables. I'm the one that agitates for green stuff with our dinner. Okay, well, that's just not... You are making an oversimplification. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh. <laughs> mm, delicious, oh, delicious pilot God. light. Um, great. Mm -hmm. Now people are sending me happy birthday in like a bunch of languages. Mm-hmm. But with the with the pronunciation guides, some or? of them yes, some of them no. You're gonna just have to do the Greek yourself. Oh dear. Uh, dear oh dear. Um, shout out to Mike who gave us a hundred Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and Mike says happy birthday, John. Half Canadian, all heart. Very much looking forward to another many a true year. Oh, it's that gonna was be very sweet. That's Thank you, that's Mike. that's a very that whole, was sweet. That than is John deserves. That's a high level wholesome mess. I'm pretty sure I've already eaten. Crab. That was very Canadian. I've definitely eaten crabs. You have eaten crabs. I've not eaten crabs because they're not in the game. Yeah, crab. Sorry. No cram. 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 Okay, fine. I've definitely not eaten crab. That you just now you're just making stuff up. I haven't actually eaten just to troll me. No, because I didn't. You said cram and I heard crab because in my head crab is a food and I don't know what cram is. Uh, wait, hang on, what's, what's this house? It is cram. Wait, what? Is, is there an extra house? In, I'm not sure I've ever been in this house before. <laughs> what? Is this? I think there's just a house I've, there's, I think there's just a house in this town I've never known about. Which town is this? This is Nipton. It's just what well, it's just it's kind of hidden out of the way because it's just like it's around the back of the. I think this is no. I think I've just, I think I've just found new New Vegas content. I swear I've I do not. How remember. many hours do you have uh, in New Vegas, John? Well, and the Steam version just like a few hundred, but that's because most of my hours were in the Xbox 360 version back in the day. I swear I've never been to that house before. The only reason I come down here is to go to the hotel. Uh, where I can get some NCR armor, and if I'm lucky, maybe an odd surface, um, odd um, service rifle. 
Yeah, I'm not sure whether crime exists in the real world. Isn't it? I think it's just, oh, it's it's a just of a spam, lawyer isn't it? friendly variant of spam. Yeah, uh, spam must be answer. spam must be copyright. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of uh, lawyer friendly, do you want to tell people about the the present I got you that you that amused you uh, for the kind of copyright ballsiness? Of I it? can't remember the exact name of it. Do you have to remember the name? I think it's Nano Block or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, but they they describe themselves as the original miniature block, with despite the fact that it's just a massive Lego ripoff. Well, they're just they're smaller than Lego. I yeah. think their point is that they it's a smaller than. Yeah. In all fairness, this stuff actually weighs a lot and it's kind of garbage. Uh, I mean, damage to sort of ten is nice, but twenty six weight, and you're dressed as and you know I'll keep it for when I'm dressed as the NCR, which is fine. But yeah, at this point, drinking water from unique sources is kind of my best source of no. Don't don't unlock pick that bloody hell. Don't don't do that. It's kind of my best bet. Uh, to be honest, but yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go greet the Legion, obviously cause no trouble with them, and then go turn in the double Nipton quest at the NCR outpost, which will be the easiest way of doing that. So no trouble with Volpez and Coulter, just literally say hello to him, do his, uh, do his missions, I'll do as you ask, that's fine. He wants off, I could follow him, but he goes a really weird way into the, um, into the hills. Oh, you just repaired an outfit more than once. That's true. I hadn't even considered that. Yep, that just gets dumped. I'm just dumping that. There we go. I will make no further use of it. It's gone. That's uh, true. I, right. I wasn't thinking of it because it wasn't. It was. Uh, it wasn't a, a repair check. But you're right. Fair enough. You know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna scrap the no. The fast travel once rule because otherwise it will just slow down the run a bit. Yeah, uh, I mean that's more of a rule where like. We have to think about what makes a good live stream. Yes, exactly. You know? um, but being so, able to fast travel yeah, yeah. so I can take the so I can just nip over in the direction of Flippily Gibbet. Uh, the NCRCF is going to be much easier to do. Ooh, uh, Malfis uh, says uh, even uh, the claim that it's a brick smaller than Lego isn't uh, isn't true. It's not original. Mm -hmm. uh, Lego made a micro brick variant in the past. It was designed with architects in mind. The line is long, long dead. Ah. Anyway, this yes, it's a, a, a thing of like a tiny a mini Lego, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a Snorlax. Yes, it's a tiny fake Lego it. Snorlax. Um, and you also got me a, a, a cuddly, boggly-eyed squid, which I hugely approve of. Yes, well, that's... Uh, boggly squid! Yeah. He's so fun to hug. It's bright orange. It's a bright orange, boggly-eyed squid, and he's very and he's got wiggly legs, and he's very fun to hug. And you tried to wear it as a hat. I tried to wear it as a hat, which kind of worked and kind of didn't. Well, I can put an elastic strap on it so that you can wear it as a If I ever want to wear it out as a hat, then that's an option. What now. do you mean, out? <laughs> One day there might be out no. again. Okay, I, the thing is, if I go this way, there's ghouls. If I go straight up the road, there's these guys. But if I just wait for a second, they will fight each other. But the... Oh, hang on, there's... Oh, there's a ghoul around that side. Okay, the ghoul around the back over there is actually pretty close. I'm hoping that ghoul over there might wander in this direction and draw the attention of the vipers. So like one of the powder gangers ran ahead. And now, yeah, now he's being pulled into... Now he's being pulled, yeah, they've both been pulled into the ghoul, but oh, the ghoul just cocky slaughtered them. And then that must be like a Roma or something. Oh, wow. Okay, that's that's interesting. What, what's your deal? I don't know what your deal is, buddy. But I kind of don't want to mess with you because you just slaughtered two lads. <laughs> so live and let live. Okay, uh, I, I suspect the best thing to do right now is to go around over in this direction. I'm just try and skirt around the two jackals, because the jackals can be quite tough. But if I just go, like, a bit into the lake, but not too far, I should be able to work around them. Uh, I don't want to go in there. Uh, there's a handful of, like, useful drugs and guns in there, but it's not worth the fight. Uh, there's the dry lake, but I shouldn't be deep enough in there any ants can draw. There should be, like, a little bit of a sweet spot here, where the ants on the left don't see me, and the really don't see me. Is that gunfire? I don't know. These guys aren't going to see me. Or if they do, I'm probably just going to make a run. But then again, uh, make a run for it in this open space. I'll just be shot. They ain't seen nothing. They ain't seen nothing. Yeah, we're fine. I'm just going to sneak past these guys. I might, I might run into like one bark scorpion. But if so, I'll take care of him with... Actually, you know what? Have I got any shotguns left? Oh, have I got rid of all the shotguns? No, I've got, I've got two varmint rifles. 
Two Varvent Rifles. I want to keep the 10 millimeters. Uh, I need to start getting rid of some of these. I need to start getting rid of the uh, the melee weapons. When I run into something harmless and melee-y, I'll, uh, I'll probably use them. But a perfect world that Scorpion doesn't see me either. Clap while I just wander up to NCRCF. No, not NCRCF. NCR Outpost. Uh, yeah, shout out to Spurgear who gave us $20 and says, John, please be getting that IRL perception implant. Thanks in advance. <laughs> Look, I feel like the community can only say so much when it took y'all until like episode 9 or 10 to notice the Leviathan and the Subnautica thumbnails. Yeah, plenty of you guys, like me and Claire were adding the Leviathan and we're getting bigger and bigger and closer. Well, they're going to notice it this week. No one noticed it. You useless, non-perceptive bastards. I will not have any more perception minus one jokes off you, given you all failed to notice the Leviathan until it was, like, in the face, going, like, hello. Like, literally, what point is it? Okay, next episode, put a big neon sign pointing at it, because the useless bastards in our community have all got a collective perception zero. All right? It's not me that's got perception minus one. It's all of you who failed to see the Leviathan. All right? All of you. You're the real blind losers here. All right, let's uh, let's not let's not go into you know, <laughs> let's not go into that kind of territory. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not get you. Can't yeah, especially as you bastards there. probably wouldn't get your way out of it either. You'd probably get lost. <sighs> okay. Uh, shout out to Kazoo Bronco who gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, who stares at thumbnail says Google one. I don't know. I hope you would. I spent enough time on them. <laughs> Was that on the last episode? Uh, no, it's uh, it's on a, a bunch of episodes. Yeah, uh, we, someone actually made a little slideshow and like put them and wow, job, wow, John, rude, unsubbed. It didn't seem important. Wow. Wow. A, gi a giant leviathan sneaking up on you. An actual anima a flickbook animation being done through the medium of a series of thumbnails. And you thought that wasn't important. Dear oh flipping dear. Mm -hmm. Excuses, excuses. You can only insult your viewers once, says Wobble. Uh -huh. Wobble, I feel like I know. I know this isn't... I know that I've seen your name before and that you're somewhat of a regular. So, but, but like... Just saying that about John kind of feels a little bit like you're new here. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. I know that's not true because wow. I remember your wow. name. Wow. Amazing. Ah, uh, dear, oh dear. Um, why is he calling his subscribers <laughs> bastards? <laughs> Happens Wombat a Kamba. lot. Um, Wombat Combat, this is a thing about, uh, about British people. You know, mm -hmm. yes. When we're when we Correct. when we're close and we love each other, yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, taking the piss. But some people get. And but you've got to do it right. It's it's a thing oh, you've got yeah. to get right. Uh, there is a bar to check to sort out. Pre but no, hang on. Don't I need to have? No, I need to have got Deputy Beagle out for that to come to come active. So it's not worth wasting the points on that. Uh, instead, it would be better to take just guns. Just whack up guns, make my guns a bit better and more accurate. That's fine. Uh, um... yeah, until I've rescued Beagle, I can't do the quest to uh, my kind of town. Which I could have used a bar check for, because bar checks very rarely come up. So I was thinking I could use the bar check to get them on side. But I don't want to do the ants. The ants would be a lot of wasted ammo. Uh, I don't want to do... Uh, I don't want to go after Beagle, because that's just asking for cocking trouble, quite frankly. Um, so, in which case, I probably am going to move on at this point. I'm just going to go back to Nipton and just go on. But I'll probably avoid the ambush by, like, sort of trading after the same route the Legion goes on. Uh, you can't... There can be some, like, some coyotes... Up in those mountains. But, like, uh, for the most part... Oh, wow, they're still here. Oh, that's bloody convenient. Okay, well, in that case, I'm just, I'm walking with these guys. Uh, which should leave me absolutely fine in that case. Is it you all here or is it just one of you? Where's the rest of you? And where are you... Where are you going now? Are you not... Oh, that's very sweet. Uh, Luke uh, in chat says... Um... 
to be honest, I do click on the Subnautica thumbnails pretty quickly to see the videos, so maybe that's why. You know what? That's an excellent answer. That's I was a, really proud of it. Just so you, obviously, saying. Claire made the animations, and also if you look at them side by side, Claire, we even well, we even got yeah, we it's even not picked. Animated, but yeah. yeah, we picked we picked like pictures of the Python or flicked it, so it looked like it was like swing swimming its, with its tail. Like where its tail like goes, like it actually looks like it's swimming. If you actually put these animals side by side, it's like a little flip book animation. I came up with the idea, but Claire made it happen. Well, uh, that, that's, that's really often cool. what happens. Yes. Often John will have a... Uh... Like the Fallout 4 you only live yeah. once with it being split between the three universes. That was my idea, but you actually were the one who came up with the version of it. Though, mm. like We, we kind of worked on that one together. And we like you know, one, we came, we came, up, yeah, we came up with a lot of different iterations of that one, and eventually, like you know, we came uh, up with one version that I wasn't one hundred percent happy with, and like we eventually came uh, up with it. R.I.P. to the uh, R.I.P. to the pop art death claw, which was my fave. To the what? The pop art death claw. There was a a pop art iteration. Are you seriously going to not? Okay, so those scorpions are neutral to the legion, but they're not neutral to me, and I don't want to fight them, nice. so I'm just going to try and. I'm just going to try and basically use rocks and the geometry of the level to get around them. Are they still following me? I'm not sure they're actually following me. I'm not sure they can get up here. But now I'm... Okay, I'm still officially in danger. And now now I'm on top of the ridge. I don't know whether they're still... I don't know where they are now. I don't know what waste the ammo. That guy is now trying to keep up with... The other, they, they've just managed... They've got themselves really spread out today. The Legion has just got itself really spread out. So I've managed to... Then I think one of them got spooked by something. Now I'm in caution, so they've lost me. One of them just ran over there. I, I don't know whether, like, the, the, the ambush guys are actually capable of... Can I see the ambush person from here? Yeah, I see her. That's you right there. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Ryan in the chat would like to know how many iterations of the Fallout 4 YOLO thumbnail there were. Um, there were a few different ideas. There was something about Rogue's Gallery of the Baddies. That one really didn't work, yeah. That one really didn't work because we, because, you know, I had to look for images of baddies and monsters from the game. Then I had to, like, make sure... You know, I had to make sure to find stuff that either were already on a transparent that background I just reloaded. or removed okay. the background. Okay, remember I've already got six shots of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had to try and make the lighting match, even if it didn't, with with uh, color grading. Yeah. I had to try and get them all to match proportionally. Yeah. I had I had this idea that and, like know, it would I be mean, it... it would be like a dark room where there was like sort of silhouettes but still visible, like the various really the scariest enemies in Fallout Four. Like you know there'd be an assaultron and a super mutant and a ghoul, and they'd all like be standing like they were part of like you know like imagine like you know a rogue scale like on the front cover of a Batman comic. It would be kind of like that. They'd all be standing in a room yeah. together. I thought you meant but like a lineup, like a police lineup. That was another option yeah. too. But like when you try and make that happen, it's really difficult to actually make it look right because they're all different models and they've got different expressions and the lighting's different on all of them. So actually making it look good was like really and difficult, really impossible to do. So we in the end just abandoned that. It just did not work. It was an interesting idea, but it just didn't work out right. The the pop out death claw that I, the pop art the death pop claw art death claw that, that we, we might use at some point yeah i mean i'd really like to work on that some more because that was a really fun it was know, a really cool to, idea to yeah. kind of like it almost worked it just wasn't i just i didn't want it for like the like you know our big kind of you know tentpole flagship series where it was it was a bit out there it was a bit yeah. more out there than I was expect than I, I kind of thought I wanted to go but for. But that in was the kind of like uh, a death call silhouette in um, yeah in the what's it called in rad in in like a rad storm right or something like that was it in the yes I think it was just like it was a, yeah it was a, a death claw from the glowing sea yeah yeah so but it was just mostly the silhouette of the death claw in the glowing sea and yeah. then it was just like because I made it because I intensified the color of the rads. So that it was this like really shocking kind of limey yellowy green, mm -hmm. and then I just had the kind of silhouette of the death claw like popping on each side in like really bright colors. It was cool, but like it just was. I just want to say, because I'm actually just kind of curious. If I activate the raider mm -hmm. ambush when the legion's passing by, can I use the legion to kill the raiders for me? And I don't know whether you actually can or not, so I'm, I'm just going to go and trigger it. So if I, I believe if I go into here, that should activate the that. 
And then if I just start running in this direction. Yeah, that's it. That's good enough to get their attention. And now someone's taking a shot at me, but is that going to be enough to actually get the... No, it's not. Okay, so I'm just going to reload because I was just I was, I was was just curious whether that was actually a thing or not. I was just curious about the behaviours. But yeah, for some reason, the Legion are, like, super passive. Actually, you know, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave these people... If I can, I'm going to leave these... Never mind. Then one of them just blew me up with something. I don't know what that was. I was just kidding. Like, the Legion seemed to be programmed as, like, super passive. Like, normally you can reliably... Like, if they pass any enemy that's, like, a default always hostile. Like, in this game... Like, in Fallout, in Fallout 3 in New Vegas... Pretty much any neutral NPC will go hostile to something that's default hostile to them. But these guys seem to just be... I don't know why, but they just seem to be programmed that they are not responding to hostile nearby enemies. Which is really weird. Because that, that's really not not what usually happens at all in, in Fallout. So I was just curious about that. There's a... Oh dear, I, I, get e I get easily sidetracked as well. So that there we go. Mm -hmm. I can only die once. Yes, that'll be my one death wow. I'm allowed. Excellent. Oh my goodness. Uh, shout out to you, uh, lovely stream regular Sir Roderick Quinty from Thunderbottom, the magnificent hiking of Australia. Your favourite your favorite username to actually say out loud, I believe. Indeed. I think, your favorite user I think mine might be smells like Tim Spirit. I do like the bread that caused Les Mis, not gonna lie. The bread that caused Les Mis is excellent too, yes. yes. Uh, so Roderick gave us 100 Australian dollars. Thank you so much. An excellent dollar. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and uh, Roderick says, Obligatory happy birthday. I've been loving your recent Subnautica series enough that I decided to get it myself. Despite the fear of deep water where you can't see the bottom. It's, Keep up yes. the good work. It's a, it's, it's, it can be a very scary game when you just suddenly find yourself, you realise you're like in the ocean, you literally can't see... You can't see the surface, you can't see the bottom, you can't see anything in any direction, you're just basically like, you're just floating in in nothing, and that's very scary. The reason I'm following these guys, by the way, is because they are going to make their way, they're going to pass the NCR camp uh, at Searchlight, and then basically uh, they'll, wait, where are your friends? You, you have two friends. Where are your two friends? Oh, they've fallen way behind. Oh, that's worse for you. Uh, basically, the Legion... Oh, there they are. Actually, they've got three threats. There's another one back there. Uh, they'll fought run to NCR. They will die. The NCR will defeat them fairly easily. The NCR have a numerical advantage. And also, these guys kind of in single file. And these guys are not the highest level, like the toughest Legion. So, basically, it just means I can help myself to their stuff. Uh, which is a good supply in there. They've also often got things like cowboy repeaters. So, basically, it's just a free cowboy repeater. Because that guy is going to open fire. And he's going to be absolutely torn to shreds. He should be dead pretty soon. Uh, so yep, one is dead, and they're just massively. Look at that! They're just they're just outnumbered. They're just so outnumbered, and then I can just help myself to their stuff. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Shout out to uh Jeffrey who gave us thirty five dollars and says happy birthday, you magnificent madman! You are the Stephen Fry of YouTube, and Dan is your Alan Davies. <laughs> I'm a bit sad not to be Alan Davis, to be honest. I was yeah, like, I well, was literally going to say you I always really liked Jonathan I mean, like, Creek. Jonathan I Creek was... Know. It got terrible, but it was very good at first. I feel like... I feel like Dan has more Alan Davis hair than you do, though. Because you that's true. actually cut yours. I used to have Alan Davis hair. Hang I know, on. I know you would have Alan Davis yeah. hair if you let it. Goodbye. Um, but yes. you don't like it to get too uh, no, like I... in your face and, and yeah. too hot on your neck and stuff. Yeah. If I let my hair grow, it would be very much like Dan's. It would. It would be quite. It would be very similar to Dan's. I mean, it is adorable. I've seen pictures. It's such a cocky menace to take care of. But though. yeah, I mean, because yeah, because you were just saying today, like your hair goes into curls and stuff. Yeah. So. Ugh. So that's hard it's to take mess. care of. Okay, so I've got a giant pile of cowboy repeaters, which is really, really good. Um, so I can then use all of these. They're not terrible guns. They've got they've got kind of like re like kind of like reflex sights on them. Uh, I can I've got the gun skill to use them. So like having a pile of cowboy repeaters is really nice. Weight is fine for the time being, so I'll probably go over to the ten millimeter. Uh, at the moment, and I bet I forgot to. No, I've got Wolfhorn Ranch as a location. I'm gonna go back to Wolfhorn Ranch now. Um, because then I can meet up with the NCR ambush, which should be won by the Legion. It's a very, I have seen the, um, the convoy win that one, but it's very rare. It also kind of depends if you get lucky. If they get lucky, then some NCR troops spawn mm. nearby and can get involved. Uh, but like, if there's no NCR troops there, like nine times out of 10, the Legion will win. 
But the, the, these guys can win. It's, it is. I, I like the fact that it's not like a, you know, it's not a scripted fight. Like you know, the fight can go either way depending on you know what what happens. And also, don't forget. Oh look, right there. There's the there's, Ooh, a, there's the three um, NCR troops. Let's see. Uh, interesting. Wobble would like to know. Uh, speaking of Dan, when is the new podcast starting? Uh, I don't know. I think Dan was having some trouble with something to do with like he was changing the tier structure on his Patreon. He ran some trouble with like the annual stuff, which we haven't really looked into yet. Uh, so I don't know. I think that might have slowed him down a bit. And yeah, there we go. On this occasion, the convoy will probably survive because the NCR have actually reached the convoy first. Now, those three will lose, but with the crossfire that we can see here, then that guy will be torn apart because he's just going to be crippled repeatedly. So yeah, kind of with various uh, crippled limbs, then it, that'll just mean he can't do anything for a second. And now the NCR are in the fight. Now they've cleared out the right flank already. The left flank hasn't even got involved yet. They're currently just standing there completely idle. The NCR will probably probably get pulled into any subsequent skirmish or not but even if they don't at this point there's now only like two on the left so at this point it's now the four traders versus those two guys uh and they should be able to handle that and the ncr might come into assist plus one ncr guy died so that should be a service uh a service rifle, right? No, 9mm submachine gun, which was cocking useless last time I used it. So that's that's interesting. But yeah, that might be. If I get lucky, maybe some more uh, cowboy repeaters. No, machete. But I take that. More single shotgun. Throwing spear. Oh, throwing spear is really good. Uh, throwing spear is... I don't know how the rule should affect throwing spears. I should probably only throw throw one, then toss away the other. Sell the others. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this, this will be interesting to say. Because normally these guys should lose. But if those three NCR troops just spawn in, then the three NCR troops then get involved with uh, the first wave of the fight. And then as a result of that, yeah. But now these guys are now a little bit in a row. But they've got 10 mil They've got ten millimeters. Actually, there's a third one. There's a... There's... Wait, what is that? Was that a Night Stalker? Was there a Night... Why is there a Night Stalker here? I don't know. Uh, that guy's being stuck in a perma cripple. Uh, where he just keeps getting staggered over and over because a new leg is being crippled. Because uh, every time a limb goes crippled, the, the enemy is going, Go! Zounds! I am slain! Uh, and they can't do anything for a few seconds. What were you doing here, buddy? I don't... Okay, I'm seeing all sorts of stuff I'm not used to seeing today. Uh, this is marvellous. Uh, and at this point, they're just going to completely nail this guy. Yeah, you see, he's had a limb cri crippled. They did another limb crippled. And that's it. So there we go. That, that's on this occasion these guys are going to win really easily uh, as it turns out and there should also be a one of Bright's Brotherhood which if you're lucky energy pistol today that can be plasma you can get lucky and get a plasma weapon off that guy I don't think it's level locked I think it can I think it's just pure chance I think he's got the same like loot table as all the Bright's Brotherhood that are like in the actual main um, in the actual main retcon facility so you can get some really good stuff off him you can get some really lucky uh, or just like a main laser rifle. That's fine too. But yeah, there we go. That's that's worked out really nicely. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait. Where are you guys going? You're supposed you're supposed to be walking to. So in fact, Claire's looking very exasperated with me right now. Cause you sounded just like you were gonna let me speak, and then you got distracted by something shiny. Oh no! Okay, they just adorable. they decided to path back to the road where they left the road in order to start walking on the road. Cause obviously that's how people work. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna join these guys. Me and these guys are just gonna go for a nice walk down to Novak because there's some really nasty raiders on the right. I don't want to fight them, so I'm just gonna join these guys and they can do it for me. Which is gonna give Claire a lovely chance to do some reading. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Amanda who uh, gave us twenty dollars and says hello, Claire and John. I just uh, wanted to give you an update, uh, a gen a life update. My husband and I are looking for a house. Ooh. We are adulting real hard. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm. I'm not sure if uh, she means renting or buying. They're probably buying from the phrasing, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, yeah, a very very big deal. That's cool. Very cool. Um, Congratulations. I mean, it's a long, scary, big process. Mm -hmm. So you know, if, if you're, if we're just, you know, good luck with the whole thing. Yes, indeed. Uh, and Amanda also has been a member for six months. Uh, and used uh, her member uh, message to say a feliz cumpleaños, John. That's happy birthday. Excellent. Yeah. Happy birthday to you too. Mm hmm Feliz cumpleaños también. Mm hmm Good attempt. What? Okay. 
No, seriously, what is with the Night Stalkers? Why, why are there 10 million cocking Night Stalkers? Oh, they, 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 these guys are dead. These guys are cocking dead. These guys are all going to die to 10 million cocking Night Stalkers. Why, why are there 10 million? What the shit? Why are there so many Night Stalkers? There aren't Night Stalkers on this. What's... Okay, they're animals. Go over to a 9mm submachine gun. They're coming for me. Uh, John? Yes? Uh, just uh, really quick, uh, shout out to Joe, who gave us $5 and says, uh, Happy birthday, John. I'm looking forward to watching this insanity. Once again, reminding you to make some rat-free nuka in YOLO. Also, when are you playing Mafia 2? Uh, I don't know Mafia 2, and I'm never going to make Rad Free Nuka. <laughs> I'll, I'll never, never do it. never going to remember. It's never going to happen. Uh, okay. Uh, Mateo says pronunciation was great, Claire. You just sounded so shy about it. Oh. It's just because I never took Spanish in school. But, like, I know how to say also or as well too, you know? Like, that's a really basic word. And my aunt lives in Spain. Like, I know... Some small bits of Spanish. Mm -hmm. I learned, like, you know, useful things, like, you know, food names and also how to tell the dog he's cute. Uh-huh. <laughs> let's get rid of the vomit uh, rifles. We don't need them. Dear, oh, dear. Uh, but uh, let's see. Just, um, okay. Alana says, John, there are always night stalkers on that road, but only at night. Uh, but only at night. You have always been on this road during the day in every series that you have done. That is wild. That I'm learning new dumb stuff about Fallout New Vegas. Well, several people have brought up in the chat uh, various points that, you know, um, it is just amazing and a testament to how good of a game this is that they also feel like they learn new things about the game every time that they play. Yeah, it's one of, the, it's, it's um, one of those know, things. It's the same way I feel about Menander's Discolos. Every time I read that play, I get something new out of it. It's amazing. Uh, and, like, you know, it's not surprising that the person who would, like, point this out is someone who's, like, studied uh, Fallout, like, academically. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, like... <laughs> Dear, oh dear. I mean, okay. it's the thing is, I, I should also, I should, quote, on this exact point, I should say, the probably the main reason I mainly play this game, like, during the day when I'm recording a series is because ah, yes, darkness looks really dodgy on YouTube. Like, it gets all blurry and messy and the bitrate goes bananas. Uh, so it's, it's and comp YouTube compression does a number on dark footage. So I almost always try and play during the day as far as I can, purely so that it's, like, it looks better. And that'll be why? But that's so wild. That's so fun. I mean, like, who's firing the? I, I, I just think it's. I just think it's so funny that, like, obviously there was one person. Obviously, we were gonna have people in chat who like knew Fallout well enough and knew your series as well enough to like know this. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not surprised that, uh, that that it was Alana. And they also say in chat five weeks until their dissertation is done, which is super exciting. Sweet. Good luck. Congrats. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I just wanted to mention, by the way, since it came up with Joe just a minute ago, we have a super long list of uh, super chats to get through because everybody wants to wish John a happy birthday and you're all being extremely generous. Now, I just want to mention, I'm reading them more or less in order. If you need to leave and you would like me to read your super chat, like, now, because you need to go, just please message me in chat and let me know. I'm very happy to do that. Uh, I wouldn't like. I wouldn't want anybody to, you know, like miss out, uh, just because we are quite far behind. Uh, but uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I love head physics in Fallout of Vegas. Our heads just rolled out slopes. <laughs> now, uh, where are you going to spot the mercenaries up there? So Colin wants to know what headphones we use. Uh, if you mean for editing, we don't. We use speakers. Yes, actual speakers. And they're not very good speakers, but we do have the same ones so that, you know, to kind of make it as close as possible to hearing the same sounds. Although, yes, exactly. obviously, that's not really a thing um, because, you know. Yeah, but we try and make it as close as subjective. possible. Yeah, although garbage. I need to I need to soundproof my office a little bit better because you came in 
the other day and you said it was quite echoey, so I need to work yeah, on that. Yeah, I thought that. I don't know whether the, the, there's, there's supposed to be raids up there, but they're not there. Meanwhile, the Legion who are supposed to be... Actually, there's more Legion up here than I was expecting to say. There's always Legion, like, in these cliffs, because they're, like, supposed to be, like, um, scouting out Charlie, which is why Charlie ends up, like, getting destroyed. Uh, so you see these guys uh, up here. But I swear there's, like, more than them than they usually are. Now they're, they're, they're hiding. Now they're shy. They're a bit shy today. They decided to, uh, to hide from me. And who the flip are you? What's that? This is all... Yeah, there they are. They're wandering over there. and they've... Oh, they found an NCR person. That must be an NCR... Who's that? If they're attacking him, that means he's NCR aligned. But I don't know who... I mean, he, he's a big damn hero. He's, he's doing very well. Know that he's dead. Whoever that guy was, he's, he's dead now. <laughs> This is this is this is this is what hell of a weird ass wall. The guys behind the signs just are there. Was it? It wasn't you guys, was it? No, it wasn't you. Unless it was the guy up who, who'd run up ahead. You're the mercenary. The trader is. He's just fallen way behind. The, these guys are NCR aligned, so if they spot each other, they will go to war. It's just a question of whether they'll spot each other because they're quite far apart. So they'll probably not see each other. And the ground has failed to load in. Today. There's, 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 here's the proper ground. No, he's seen him. He's seen an, he's seen a legion. It's just the question, but it's one on one. So we may or may not be able to do this. He's got a 10 millimeter, which is pretty good. But I feel like that, oh, that guy's just got a better weapon. He's, he's got healing though. Then he's making a run for, oh, he's, he's done. He's, 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 he's making a run for it. So I, I can have his 10 millimeter. This has worked out really well for me. Combat knife too. That's not bad. Uh, meaning the... I don't know whether you're going to just chill out here now. How much health do you have? Oh, oh. you're you're a veteran. Oh, no. Yeah, you're easily <laughs> going to win. So the final trade is going to be around the corner in a second. Then the veteran will kill him. Then I can just have all his stuff too. Then I'll have loads of guns. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Um... Uh, 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 let's see. Sorry, uh, folks, uh, I'm just seeing messages from me in chat, so, uh, let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. uh, Matt wanted to know in chat what was the play you were talking about. Uh, Menanda's Discolos, uh, the only surviving play of Menanda. Uh, I'm suffering from dehydration sickness. No, I just thought because it was your birthday I'd let you talk about Menanda and how much you love him. It's really good. And he was supposed to be like, yeah, the ground just isn't loading in at the moment. It's just, it's just, the, there it is. It figured it out. The ground, the ground grounded itself. Um, yes. So I'm supposed, you know, it's, it's basically his own supposed to play. He's not, it's not deemed to be like, you know, it's not supposed to be like one of his best or anything, but I think it's a wonderful play. It's a play about just a, a, a grumpy guy who's got a really hot daughter. Uh, that's the play. Um, yeah. And there's this guy uh, who wants to marry the hot daughter because she's, like, hot. Um, <laughs> but, and, and therefore, he tries to impress the old guy who's really grumpy but, like, fails comically. And he has a slave who comes up with all these cunning plans. It's basically, like, it is basically Baldrick. I've never actually heard, uh, I've never actually, like, heard them say Baldrick was based on the cunning slave from old, from Greek new comedy. But I find it extremely likely that Baldrick is just... A descendant of the cunning slave uh, of new comedy because um, this is literally a slave all these guys classicists as well yes exactly yeah uh so it's extremely likely that this is basically the the original like the origin of of baldrick where the slave comes up comes up and says i have a cunning plan and it's a dumb plan and it goes wrong but it kind of all works out in the end anyway uh it's, it's a lovely it's a lovely thing right uh i need a supply of water is there a water... I think there's a water tank on this side of town, isn't there, that I should be able to drink from? Because, uh, yeah, let's just check on my metrics here. Uh, yeah, I'm up to 200 in... Actually, that's not bad. Like, it's... I always forget, like, in uh, in this game, it takes a long... Like, it's it was a linear food and drink progression where, like, you know, it's 200, 400, 600, 800 death. Um, so as a result of that, yeah, it's um, it's relatively... Uh, you, like, you, you get sick quite early on, whereas in Fallout 4... You're fine for a while, and then, like, uh, you're fine for quite a long time. Then you get a little bit uh, peckish, and then it takes progressively more and more time, and it's, like, it's, it's a much linear thing. Oh, this is, oh, this is, uh, fine. You know what, it, it's fine. I'm not going to do a Radax, because if I did, then that would, like, be different. Or oh, this is, can I not, can you not hold A on this one? Oh, you can. I, I just fluffed it. It's fine. Okay, I'm just giving myself radiation poisoning, but I just need to, I just need to drink some Thirsty. 
It's fine. This is allowed because I just fluffed a button push. All right, because I can't push a button. That's fine. Um, some more, um... <clears throat> Some more uh, fun you get to talk about things that you want because it's your birthday. Yay! Waste of Orange wants to know what you think about Aristophanes. Oh, I never heard of him. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm probably He allowed... likes ham. I do. Yeah. I'm going to do what? I'm going to do my one rat away. I'm going to do my one rat away. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and that's going to get rid of the radiation poisoning. But I also can go to the doctor once to ask for a rad cleanse. So that gets me bad, that gets me out of my basic rad poisoning, which is absolutely fine. Uh, and now I've made it here. Uh, one, yeah, Victor's just... I always miss Victor. Like, I love, love it. Like, there's supposed to be like a big subplot about how, hey, you run into Victor several times. It's like really suspicious how you keep running into him because he's kind of stalking you. Because he's hidden around the back of the sign. Like, I played this game so many times without realising he was there. And it's like, oh, you're here, are you? Um, and so I, I just didn't realise so many times because he's kind of like, you know, if you come inside, you're coming from this direction and he's hidden behind the sign. Like, it's so easy to just like not notice he's there. I, I constantly just don't notice he's there. It's great. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I can do once for my baby, which is an easy way of getting Boone uh, on side and is also quest completion. And that would require... Ooh. That would require either me lockpicking, which I don't want to do, or I could steal the key off her, which I don't really want to do. Or I could just say it's her, and then Boone will probably shoot me. Hmm. Interesting. Though, actually, that's a really good point. If I just also... No, I need to hack this door. Uh, is there a key? Does this door have a key? So I don't need to very lockpick it. Because if there was a key, he's probably got it on his person, but I don't know where it is. I want that gun from inside there, which is a really good gun. But then again, I can use it once. Anyway, I'm going to get Boone. I'm going to get, uh, yeah, just uh, once for my baby. And can I actually start once for my baby without a speech of 41? So I'm just meeting new people, just making friendly conversation. No, that's good enough. That's good enough. That's fine. We can start once for my baby right here. And your wife's dead. You want me to find something, 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 and just give him a beret. I'll see what I can do to help you out. No trouble whatsoever. Goodbye. Uh, I, the thing is, I don't know most of the locations. Of, the, most of the most locations of this game have keys. But I don't know where the keys are. Because overwhelmingly, I'm just going to know how to open them. So this is going to be interesting. Because, yeah, I can find the evidence here. But that involves opening this. Which I also can't do. Because I need lockpick 25, which I don't have. Uh, key's not in there. There's some lock, pay, uh, lock things, though. Ugh. Interesting. I'm just gonna basically, I'm just gonna bring her at the person who did it out front and just tell Boone I had a feeling and see if he shoots me. He might shoot me. It's, it's possible, yes. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. I was just checking the Wikipedia page for Baldrick, and sadly, it does not say anything about whether it was inspired by the Discolos or not. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not but... the Discolos specifically, more new comedy in general. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. There we um... go. I've got the key. There we go. She had the key on up. So I've got the key. Now I can find the evidence. Now I don't need to, like, just say, ah, oh, you know what? I just sort of knew it was her. Don't worry. Don't ask too many questions. Uh, so that's all absolutely a-okay. Boom, 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 boom. Clap. So, uh, shout out to Zach, who, uh, said, who gave us five pounds, and says, you absolute madman! Also, uh, what is everyone's favourite cocktail, especially Tabby? Brambles or mojitos? Uh, GNT for me. Tabby's, although a bramble is really good. Um... Tabby's favorite cocktail. Right? Tabby's favorite cocktail is um, getting a little bit of her fish wet food into her water. And then making a tiny little fishy yeah. cordial. Yeah, and then making a tiny fishy cordial. Um, <laughs> Matthew gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, mate. The lady will keep you right uh, for the gaming stuff slash rules, hopefully. Lols. 
Well, no, she won't. Where where'd Ginny May Crawford go? Oh dear. Is she, is she did she teleport to the front? Oh, there she is. She just got stuck in. She just got stuck in the dimension between doors. She she deloaded from one zone but failed to load in the other. It's like some form of sci-fi story about a malfunctioning teleporter. Right, so now we just bring her over here, and in a moment her head goes pop. I've got the bill of sale. Everybody's a okay. Meow, 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 meow. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Sashori, who gave us $10 and says, You only once, dot, 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 once. You only once, once. You only once, once. That's that's what's clearly up next, yes. Also, happy birthday. Justified Jester says, Happy birthday, John. Gave us five Australian dollars. Uh, and says this is the only donation once because I'm poor and Australia is under lockdown. Mm. I'm very sorry uh, about your lockdown. Um, M Zod gave us twenty dollars and says a simple celebration, a gathering of friends, wishing you great happiness, a joy that never ends. Here's looking at you. Happy birthday! Thank you for countless hours of fun that you've provided and suffered for us. We've got poetry. Yes, indeed. Excellent, love it. Well, you know, you are worth it. There we go. So, so I said in nice things, therefore John cannot acknowledge it. Of course. Uh, let's see, shout out to uh, Lord Lovecraft, who gave us $5 and says, uh, John, you can say frothy as many times as you want. I, 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 I'm good. I'm yep. good, thanks. Just, yep. just once is fine. Fizzy. I mean, there we I've go. always, I've already said it, so we can't have it again in the stream. Exactly. That's that's legit. Thanks for covering for me. Thank you. Well, you know, teamwork. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Wojtek. He gave us that's fifty it, Swedish krona uh, and says happy yeah. birthday, John. Maybe only jump once. Oh, that's interesting. Jumping once. Hmm. There's not actually that many re times you need to jump in this game. Too. It's, it's, yeah. almost, it's almost like, I think they kind of like, they had a game engine where you could jump. And then they didn't, a bit like, cause you know, it was just the creation engine. But they didn't really need to jump in Fallout. So it wasn't really used for anything. And then but Obsidian was like, well, we don't, we don't need to introduce jumping. There's like maybe a tiny bit of jumping in like dead money. But like, there's, there's almost none. You, you definitely could do a jumping zero times. Like, can, can you complete Fallout New Vegas without jumping? Yes, incredibly, in, in the perfectly normal way, as it turns out. Not a problem, not a problem at all. Now, will Boone actually uh, come with me? Yes, with Intelligence 6, Boone will 100% work with me. So, now I've got a Boone. Question. Yes. Uh, from David in chat, couldn't you have gotten the key after she was dead and saved your one pickpocket? That's actually true, yes. Mm -hmm. I could have I could have used my, uh, my time-traveling abilities to gain the evidence after already killing her, retroactively proving that I was right all along. I could have done. That is true. I, but, but I did not. There uh, is a good rifle in one oh. of these two houses, isn't there? There's a good. I'm not sure whether I can open the box, but there might be. There's Cliff Briscoe. Oh his... my God! Yes. Shout out to Urban Cohort who gave us six dollars sixty-six and says, as a birthday gift, John, I want to give you a. You can reset your used one's progress once. Can re 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 you can He's giving you an amnesty. Sorry, they're giving you an amnesty of everything that you've already used once. Oh no, that's unacceptable. Thank you kindly, but but that's 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 a no. Oh, that's unacceptable. Thank you, Urban Cohorts. Uh, Al Altered Oaks, uh, who's been a member for a year, uh, says happy birthday, John. I cannot wait to laugh at your panic. That's fine. It's, it's going pretty well so far. Well, I mean, you know, many other series in which they can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but shout out to S, who gave us $25 and uh, says happy birthday. Here is to many more. Also, happy birthday, John, with a smiley face from Jonah, who mm -hmm. gave us 10 euros. And from Judo Eagle, who gave us $5. In keeping with the rules of the run, I will only like each video only once. Good luck. Excellent. Once is plenty. Uh, well, you know, the, um, for everybody who um, for everybody who likes the video, thank you very much for uh, clicking like. Yeah. Once it is very good. Urban cohort is just clarifying that it's he. Um, sometimes some people I remember their pronouns. Some people I forget. So I try to be you know yes. kind of um, on the safe side with everybody. 
Um, but let's see. Yeah, I watched it again. I was probably vaguely, obviously, to mm. save my speech check for Lannis. Lannis technically has multiple speech checks in the same conversation. Ah. I think that's legit. I think if I don't use a single speech check to Lannis, then like, I can speak. Isn't Lannis like the final end of the game? Yes, he's the end of the game. Yeah, so I feel like that's kind of. I think that's. Right, I think that's because like, like the thing is, it's not so much like there's a bunch of speech checks as so much as. Once you get one speech check, you're then locked into a pattern of additional escalating speech checks. I'm going to call it the same one. And there we go. Helios 1 bothered loading in over there. I just need two. If I actually, wait, have I, have I got Helios 1 as a map? Yeah. Already got you as a map thing. Don't need to go inside because either I need to be dressed in the NCR, which I... Can I be? Have I got the NCR? No, I had to dump that because I repaired it and that was cheating. Uh, but I cannot put on my beret. Uh, yeah, the first recon beret for crit chance plus five, which is really nice. Combined with my luck of ten, that's actually really good. Uh, so honestly, that's that's pretty good right there. And with boom by my side, we should also be uh, a okay. No, seriously, what's the other bit of evidence? There's the cigarettes. There's the there's the lighter. Is it the note from Manny's terminal? What's the third bit of evidence? I'm gonna watch chat for a second. Chat. What's the third bit of evidence that you could present in the casino? Is, is it the note from Manny's computer? Is there something I'm just completely forgetting about? I'm going to watch chat for a second. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Andrew, who gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for all the content that has gotten me through the past year and a half. New rule, you can only eat cake once. Oh, that's not fair. You haven't eaten cake at all, though you've eaten blondie, and then you have milk chocolate chip ice cream from a very fancy ice cream That's shop. true, that's true. So, I'm not know, so into cake. It needs to be a very specific cake. Like lemon drizzle. Yeah, something like that's quite nice. Yeah. It needs to be very I mean, I was going to get you lemon drizzle. Like, I was, I considered lemon drizzle. But then I was like, I went to a really nice bakery. I went to a really nice ice cream shop. Like, I did a little round. You know, I went into, like, town proper and I did a little round. Oh, it's a, it's a bloat fly. I was wondering what the hell I was looking fly. at over there. It's a bloat fly. I mean, see if I can basically kill the guy over here. There's a guy over here who's in reinforced leather armor. But he's got, like, a, he's got a grenade rifle. <laughs> I'm just dropping safe eggs. He's got a grenade rifle. The can the can holo hospitality holotape from Benny. So Roderick says, and I'm assuming they mean the evidence. Was, was that what I've already got? The Khan Hospitality holotape? Is that officially what I've already got? I don't know. You, like, asked... It was marked as that, so I think so. Cigarette butts from Good Springs Cemetery. Yeah, got them. Uh, Manny's Terminal cigarettes and lighter. Yeah, it was Manny's Terminal. All right, just one. Okay, so that has to, that that now has to be tossed away. I thought it was that one. Next gum, and down you go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So that gets me ten millimeter submachine gun, which is nice. I'm getting I'm getting low on on everything right now. Where's where's the reinforced armor? Give me give us the reinforced armor because you've got leather armor reinforced, which is very nice. I might get rid of the boom. We've recruited one companion. Thing is. I, I just get companions are so overpowerfully broken in New Vegas. I kind of prefer to do it without them, in a way. And I need to start just. I'm just gonna dump the, the melee weapons because I've now got enough stuff. I do not need the melee weapons. Uh, and I can also dump the. I'm gonna dump all the dynamite. Knife, 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 knife. Get rid of those pistols. Service rifle's fine. Get rid of single shotgun. Switchblade. Get rid of all the throwing knives. That's a good selection of stuff. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna dismiss Boone. He makes life a bit too easy, is, is the problem. He, ju he just he just makes life a little bit too easy. We should exactly. actually, you know what? That's he can die. I'm playing into you know what? I th I think it's okay to keep him. He can die uh, because we're on hardcore mode. He dies if he runs out of health. He's dead, uh, which absolutely. Uh, but he, he did just kind of carry that fight. Yeah, you're gonna go. Bye. Sorry, buddy. You have to go. He, he just makes life a little bit too easy to Zal Boone. He's a little, it's a little bit too, too powerful. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do without him. I'm gonna do without him right there. Uh, also, leather armor reinforced. Dump the original leather armor. So yeah, damage threshold ten. That's as good as the. No, that's the weight function. That's. It also looks really nice. I think it really, it looks really nice. There, there, there we go. Look at that. Plus my arse always looks good in leather trousers. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. That's some I'm good sorry, stuff. I'm sorry, that's my arse, John. Yeah, sorry. Uh, right. I okay. mean, you're allowed to look at it. Just don't put the camera like that for everybody else. It's a bit <laughs> rude. 
Right, then if I just cut through here, then I cut between the ants and the blowfly, back to the road, and then I can safely go to Boulder City. Now, the problem is... Boulder City, either I have to speech check or I have to murder them all. And if I speech check them, I can't speech check Linnaeus. So, are you coming this way, buddy? Are me and you cool or are me and you a problem? I think me and you are a problem. Go. Work a fire ant. And yeah, there. Oh, there. Wait. I think I might have just accidentally... I think I just... I didn't even mean to, but I just accidentally hit him in the flipping antenna and I frenzied him. And that was completely by accident. 100% that was by accident, but I've just made them turn on each other and then now fuck I think they might are they actually fire resistant because they're, fl they're they're flamey ants I'm not sure whether they're actually capable of I'm just gonna back away from this this this, this situation I've just created because there's now that there's now a lot of flamethrower ants just flame throwing each other The problem is I'm pretty sure because they flame their flame ants. They they're mostly flame resistant so They're just they're not doing much damage to each other. And now, 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 now this. <laughs> okay. That, that, that happened. That was the thing that happened. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Jane who uh, gave us $100. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Jane, not only for donating, but also for being a hobbit. Uh, Jane says, happy birthday, John. It is my birthday today, too. Way! On the 17th best birthday. Uh, I can't be with my family this year, so thank you for letting me spend the day with you, Claire Tabby, and MATN community. Oh, Thank you so, so much, well, Jane. Lovely having you at my party. Uh, yes, indeed. Speaking of birthdays that are the same, uh, shout out to Pascal, uh, who gave us 25 euros. And says, happy birthday, John. This is a yearly reminder that you share the same birthday no. with my cat, Dumb. Minx, who turned 12 years old today. Oh, happy birthday, Minx. Uh, can I have a happy birthday for her? She's at least as big a fan of MATN as I am. Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday, Minx. You're a good girl, Minx. We love you. Good cat. All cats are good cats. Yes, indeed. And Blair uh, gave us five uh, pounds. And says, thanks for the birthday wishes. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, me, and everyone else whose birthday it is. So there we go. A few a few people and uh, a few people whose birthday it also is. I almost said people in cats, but I don't want to imply that cats don't count as people because that's weird. Um, in <laughs> I wonder if I can just lead them over here and make the uh, the lonesome stranger use mm -hmm. his really powerful gun on this worker ant. You want to get involved in this, buddy? Oh, no, you're you're programmed to be a coward. All right, well, I'm, ha I'm having your guitar then. Screw you. Right, well, I've stolen I've stolen the lonesome drifter's guitar. He's not going to come and demand his guitar back. Uh, maybe if I lead him into the... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and lead him into the ants using the guitar. Because he's going to try and come and claim his guitar back. But I'm going to use it to try and lead him. Yeah, now he's going to try He's going to try and demand his guitar back. So now I'm going to lead him into the ants. Now he's, oh, no, no, he's shooting me with a really powerful gun. Oh, he, he's got his really powerful gun and also I'm on fire. Uh, 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 okay. Um, I thought he didn't, I thought he was just being a coward. And he didn't have his really powerful gun. I've not eaten a banana yucca fruit. I've not eaten a barrel cactus fruit. I've definitely eaten a Brahmin steak. Uh, and I've not drunk dirty water. Go, go, go. Run, 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 run. Go. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Now, is he still... No, he's neutral to the ants. Okay. That's... Oh, no, there was definitely... There was another ant. There was another ant. I'm more on fire. Ow. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Dick. He definitely does not give a shit about the ants. He's just firing on me. Is he maybe going to turn on the ants in a second? I've stolen his guitar. I, I, I didn't need to do that, but I just stole his guitar because I felt like it. Where's he? I'm still in danger. Is he going to try? To, is he going to try to follow me, or is he? Now he's just running. I don't know if he's running from. The, I don't know whether he's. I think he might not be trying to follow me forever. I might have just picked up a terrifying nightmare. To, I, I should sell these. Just sell these goods. I need. I need to get rid of these stolen goods as soon as possible. Because he's, he's just, he's just, he's in the middle of the ants. I've got away with it. I've officially got away with it. I've stolen his guitar. There we go. Uh, I'm the best. John, you have to throw away that gun. What gun? 
the gun you're using right now, you have to throw it away. Did it get re did it get reloaded? Uh, well, I'm assuming it did. Chad said so, so. All right, fine. There we go. That's absolutely fine. We're just gonna toss that away in that case. Okay, so uh, let's see. Now that we've had, uh, yeah, those birthday wishes from people who's also it's their birthday. Shout out to Stargazer who gave us five pounds uh, and a little uh, emoji uh, of a, a laughing pair, a little sticker, even. Uh, Allison gave us five dollars and says, "I just become, I just became a patron." Money well spent. I'm loving the podcast. Thank you for oh. the content. Happy birthday and hi, Claire. Oh, yes, welcome indeed. aboard to the, the Patreon and everything. Yes, and the Patreon cast, by the way, is coming soon. I'm editing it. It's just that it's been a bit of a, you know, a bit of a while. To, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm preparing a very <laughs> special, kind of special, a high effort thing for Saturday. Uh, we've been a bit busy with all sorts of bits and pieces. Well, and also we wanted to take a little bit of time for John's birthday to actually, you know, like have a little, have a little pause and celebrate. We were going to have pancakes earlier, like we were going to have a, a a nice brunch, but then the weather was a bit crummy uh -huh. and we were a bit busy. So we're going to do that when, when it's next, uh, like good weather, given that we've now got a, um, Given that we've now got a, a dining table, an outdoors uh, dining table. She makes it sound so fancy. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a table, you can eat on it, and it was quite well discounted at Ikea. Mm -hmm. So I'm counting all of that as a win. Now, is this guy going <laughs> to still be angry with me because I stole his guitar a minute ago? Is he going to remember that? Because if he's not, then I'm going to be honest, Veronica, I brought Veronica for a reason. Okay, so here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, Veronica. Kill Veronica, kill! No, Veronica! Your one job was, Veronica, go punch him! Veronica! Veronica, I brought you for one and only one reason! Yeah, she's not down for that. Veronica, murder him! Veronica! Second intelligence check and second companion. Tisk, tisk. Oh shit, that was an intelligence check. Wait, what was the first intelligence check? Mm -hmm. I want you to no, keep I want you to use 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 melee. I want you to be be aggressive. I like this plan where you're the decoy. Beats wait until they shoot me first. Yeah, be be wait, does that mean you're yes, you're currently in aggressive mode. I want you to be aggressive. Go! Go! Cocky go! Veronica! You have one job! Okay, here's the key. There he here is. He's coming. He's coming. Veronica, he's coming. He's, he's going to be right next to you, Veronica. Go, Veronica. Punch him. Yeah, just do what the companions always do in games and just block her way so she can't walk. Veronica! What the cock is the... Oh, she's, got, she's going. She's going in. She's going to go punch him. Go, Veronica. She's stuck on a rock. Yeah, she punched his head off. Yay! Oh, I'm now hated on the strip. Oh, okay. Apparently, I, it, it's no, no, no. I merged the strip celebrity. Apparently, he was known on the, the strip. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. I oh, didn't know that was going to be a thing. Uh, educated, uh, running guard, swift learner. I'll take, I'll take educated. Okay, now they're right. I did just bring Veronica along. Uh, and also you utilize, uh, you... This needs to go, apparently yeah. Apparently you used a 10 millimeter that you really reloaded. Did I? I'm going to yeah. toss an extra 10 millimeter away. Mm-hmm. Veronica, need, Veronica needs to go down. Is she dead? Weren't you allowed only one companion, by the way? Yes, that's why I've just killed Veronica. Oh, I there see. we go, Veronica's dead. I've fixed the universe, and I've got rid of the gun. There we go. And she had, she, had three, she had three sporks on her. Excellent. Sporks? Yeah, Amazing. she had three sporks on her. That's what she has. There we go. Uh, yeah, and shout out, by the way, to Scott, who uh, gave us really good gun, five, though. Uh, five uh, dollars. And says, hello from Las Vegas and happy birthday, John. It's very hot here. And I just found a scorpion in my kitchen. Ah! No. No. 
I do not like that. No, that's no good at all. No. It's okay. I fixed the universe. Mm. I accidentally used the second intelligence check and I possibly I used the first intelligence check somewhere. I can't remember. So just in case we've, we've murdered her. The universe has been put to rights by murder. It always goes this way in Fallout. Why in Fallout do I always end up murdering everybody? Do you not do that in every game? I think it happens more in Fallout. To yeah, be honest. Yeah, I, I mean, more than in Dot for Romantic, but mm -hmm. you know. Um, let's see. Like, so many pe so few people died in the Magnificent Truffle Pigs. Mm. Yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, shh. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Jax, who gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. I've been a fan for so long, you aren't the reason that I played Fallout, but you are the reason why I love it so much. Congratulations oh. on aging! <laughs> uh, Michael Mordred, who's been a member for 16 months, says happy John Day and also hello Claire. I've missed months of streams, but it's uh, so nice to come back to an important one. It's 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 a fun, very, yeah, very it's a fun one. We're almost at the strip, though Norm hates on the strip, I'm... No, ahead of the first karma reset, you can't be fired on... Wait, can you be fired on by the strip? You can't be fired on by the Legion of the NCR. Kind of worried about my reputation on the strip right now. It's, it's a little bit low. It's a little bit low. I'm a little bit worried about the possibility of people opening fire on me on site. And I'm hoping that the... Yeah, there's, there's a source of water around here. I'm going to go find a source of water... And then I can just drink from it, and I can drink my way up to health again. But I have to take out... Yeah, I have to I have to kill the people at Boulder City to get the lighter, to get Benny alone without using a speech check. And that means I need to engage in the fight. Now, that means the easiest way will be to let the NCR do the outside fight. But that means I need to do the inside fight. Uh, which is going to be tricky. Uh, but I've got the Mysterious Magnet, which is going to make life much easier. And Trevor points out that you won't get shot because you are hated but not vilified. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. We, just, uh, we should be just okay then. Yes, indeed. Uh, Super Sarah Stars gave us five uh, pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Also love to Claire and Tabby. Not surprised that John is a Leo TBH. It, it explains all the interrupting and stuff. Hugs and pets for everyone. Which one's your sign? Uh, I'm a Capricorn. What is, oh, I want you to look up right now in a horoscope what Leo, Leo and Capricorn relationship compatibility. All right, Leo, I wanna, I wanna know. Capricorn... Relation, yeah, well, yes, compatibility, okay. what is it, not, I I mean, I'm seeing friendship compatibility immediately, but it doesn't say relationship, com already the Google search is scary, um, all right, mm. isn't there like a tap I can drink from around here, Leo and Capricorn have one thing in common, and it is their awareness of their selves, uh, let's see, um, Leo and Capricorn have, uh, sexual and intimacy compatibility. It will be a rare occasion when Leo is attracted to a Capricorn. Fuck you, horoscope website! No, no, let, let's hear this. I want to hear this now. This but sounds good. But the other way around, attraction seems more probable. <laughs> However, they won't often... Well, I mean, that's a bit TM... That's a bit TMI horoscope website. I know, I don't know, let's, let's hear it, let's hear the full thing. However, they won't often get to the sexual part of their relationship, for even though they both might enjoy the chase, they will not see their future together. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is such bullshit. Leo is a warm, compassionate... Uh, Leo is a warm, passionate sign, and Capricorn likes to be cool-headed and practical. Yeah, you cool-headed, practical clap. Yeah, I mean... Mm. Uh, this doesn't mean Leo isn't at all practical and Capricorn isn't passionate, but they won't see each other as similar in any way. <laughs> We're completely incompatible according to bullshit astrology. Know. This is amazing. Oh my god. Okay, okay late Las well, Vegas is rad free, isn't it? Um... Yeah, rad free. That's water, oh that's okay, healing. Okay, okay. Boom. Oh, I see. There's a percentage score. Here's the thing I didn't realize straight away. Uh, Leo and Capricorn sexual and intimacy compatibility five percent. 
Five percent. Leo and Capricorn trust forty percent. Yeah. Leo and Capricorn communication and intellect sixty percent. Well, I'm not sure about that one. Emotions one percent. Hey, <laughs> that's yeah, fair, legit. Ow. Values fifty percent. I'm not sure about that one. The sensitive, calm, and emotional centre that Capricorn values is <laughs> never found in a Leo. <laughs> what? Shared activities, 5%. Summary, 27%. Compatibility. If they meet at the right moment, they might get along very well. The main problem is a set of priorities they might not share. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds completely legitimate. This sounds completely oh, fair. Sod off, yeah. This is legitimate. Who is a Leo should I be dating? Is, is there advice for Leos in general? Get, get, uh, get me Leo dating advice in general. Who am I supposed to be with? I'm sorry, are you paying me right now to give you dating advice? Yes, I am. Apparently, Aries. 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 All right, everyone who's Aries in the chat, put your hands in the Wonder. air. There we go. So I've now drunk from Lake Las Vegas, which is distinct from the wider Lake Mead. Shame it is this. Shame this discussion is longer than one minute. Too much to clap. Uh, so, so Roderick, could just do some editing. Yeah. No, you can't in clips. Oh, yeah, okay. Well. Well, in theory, like, if you had, like, Shadow Play, you could just, like, record the whole thing and then edit it in any software if you're choosing. But using the clips function, you can't edit it. Oh, it's got so to be a single straight Aries. section. Oh, bow, chick, bow wow. 5% sexual, 1% emotional sounds <laughs> very British to me. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> John, no. <laughs> Woo, Aries here! Hands off my husband, John! <laughs> Praise much now how incompatible John and I are romantically. Same, big puppy, same! <laughs> I love John, but I would never want to date him. Oh, wow! Wow! Great to date. Can't think of any reasons why off the top of my head, but I presumably am. Now, I'm going to run out of food no, at some Reece, point. No, Reese, you cannot marry John. Mm-hmm. Wow. Possessive clingy much. Up the kid says, John, you're only allowed one girlfriend in this playthrough. Mm-hmm. Uh. Well, we've murdered Veronica, so it's not going to be her. Okay, so this is, this is all fine. So now I need to sort this out in the violent way, which is going to slightly screw up my relationship with the Great Khans, but not too much, hopefully. So yeah, don't worry. I'm going to help out with the Great Khans. I'm going to, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And I can sneak in there and get your people out. That's absolutely fine. Get ready to cover me once I've freed them. And you should wait till it's dark. Nah, that's fine. If I just open fire, the NCR should move in. Uh, they'll clear uh... the outskirts for me. Yes. John, you don't have to kill the cons for the lighter. You get it given to you with the peaceful resolution. Yeah, but the peaceful resolution involves using my only speech check. Mm -hmm. Right, there we go. They've realized I'm here. So now the NCR are going to just charge in. I just hide to the back. They're going to take care of all of that. Though the NCR might lose because uh, they do have really awful weapons. I've got plenty of that. They, they, they do have the numerical advantage. But these guys do absolutely have the better weapons. Uh, they're, they're charging forward, which is really weird. And go take out one of you and then dump this one when it's down to one bullet it's easy just to dump it uh next and now yeah you are surrounded and i can't cocking see you because of the this bloody thing yeah now there's the sniper up top who they're not going to advance on probably so that's going to cause some trouble so it's going to move on you i see you up there buddy and oh he's coming down he's coming oh. down he's coming down oh so Roderick says, uh, I, well, I mean, I did uh, fly 22 hours to see John back at EGX 2019. I remember when we were allowed to go outside. That was oh, good. That was nice. There's a frag grenade. I could use that inside in theory. Mm -hmm. Take all of that. More frag grenades. If I popped a stealth boy, <laughs> if I popped a stealth boy, uh, I might. I don't know if, I, if a stealth boy would stop me being spotted as I go in. Can you pickpocket the lighter? Interesting. I might have been able to had I not just gone down the murder route. But I'm not 100% sure it's possible. I mean, it might have been better to go the peaceful route just because even if, yeah, now you're dead too. So they're all dead. All the outside people are dead. 
Uh, help myself to your stuff too, by the way, because that's good stuff. Yeah, they all had grenades. So I, I had the, the grenades. Then these guys just don't release their own, like, you know, tied up uh, people in here. But I can just do that. So untie you. So there we go. You guys now just free. Because even though, well, no matter what they say, they never actually execute the hostages. They are the hostages, but they will never execute them. You already pickpocketed the Novak murder lady. True, the I've already done yeah. a pickpocket. Yeah, fair enough. I'm now, okay, I'm curious whether if I go over to a frag grenade, I could use a frag grenade to seriously weaken these guys. But I've got a couple of good weapons. I've got the Mysterious Magnum, I've got the Hunting Rifle. They're both pretty good, and I can use both of them. Um... But I'm kind of curious whether if I used a stealth boy, I, like, I'm just going to drop it. I don't know what, I, I say, I didn't bother planning this. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to see whether this works. If I pop a stealth boy now, this this, this could be my stealth boy moment. I'm not sure whether they auto see me when I walk in anyway. So I'm going to pop a stealth boy. All right, go now. And now they, oh, they knew I was that. And now grenade. Oh yeah, good question. What sign would go well with me? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure that really matters. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to Service Rifle, which should cut through their armor pretty well. And that's you. And now if I can just... If I can just get him a bit... Oh, bloody hell. Uh, that, that, that gun needs to go. I'm about to die. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've, I've lost something as well. Uh, I need something that's going to distract him. One of the 10mm submachine guns are dope. I think someone else is, in, is still alive in this room. Someone else is 100% still alive in this room. I thought you were dead, buddy, but you're not. Next time, let me stop machine gun. Go. No. 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 Okay, this is fine. Well, it's it ah! <laughs> Okay, that didn't work. That that didn't work. We need we need to come up with a bed. Actually, in all fact, it, kind of, it almost worked. The grenade worked pretty well. And go. The grenade there worked pretty well. The grenade did work kind of okay. If I go over to the 10 millimeter at this point. There we go. That works really nicely. Then I just need something that's going to get him... Okay, now that needs to... You see, he actually... He falls over, but he survives that. Maybe if I toss, like, two grenades, that needs to go away. I don't have anything powerful enough for this. Uh, Mysterious Magnum, go! Completely not good enough. This is... This is not... Okay, Mysterious Magnum gets dumped. This is... This room is not working. Hunting Rifle, Go! Okay, they're, they're gonna come in. Go! Dead again! <laughs> Maybe if I toss, like, all the grenades. Uh, but then again, that's cheating. The whole point is that's cheating. Can't toss more than one grenade. Maybe if I... Okay, I might use my vats. And this might be my... Oh, this, this, this one's gone wrong already. Oh, that does nothing. Go! 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 Okay, that's... You see, the thing is that the grenade doesn't kill either of them. You're fine. Dump that. I'm going to step outside. Go. Step outside. Do they follow me outside? Can I leave them outside? If I can leave them outside. I can leave them outside! Oh, that's way easier! Yeah, I'm just going to leave them outside. Fuck it. Let the NCR deal with it. Boom. Okay, well, I've wasted, I've wasted the Magnum. Okay, I can just start a fight and leave them outside. That's so much easier. Yay! The job is done! Okay, well, I've lost several. I've lost several good weapons there. Uh, I've lost several good weapons, but I get the uh, yeah the lighter, uh, and I get a sawn-off shotgun. There we go. That was that was that would that was should have that in the first place. That was that was so much better. There we go. So that's that's, that's another the, the NCR the NCR have done their jobs there. Well done NCR. Uh, I'm gonna need to start speech. Need to start moving in the right direction. So I need speech to. I need, I need speech to at some point in hundred. Did I just get two level ups at once? I did. Just. Uh, right. Yeah. Just speech up to like sixty two, uh, and then perks. I'll take a single rank of toughness. I could go for shotgun surgeon. Uh, shotgun surgeon's nowhere near as good as and stay back. I'll take one rank of toughness, but as we said, I need to take one rank. I won't take a second rank of that. Uh, so okay, that's that's worked. So I've now got. All three bits of evidence, which means if I can just make it to the strip and they won't shoot me on sight because I am a hater, not vilified, then that's fine. And I'm pretty sure you don't have anything to say to me. Yeah, because the situation has been resolved, you don't care. Um, so now I can just walk straight to the strip. Aside from the fact that... 
No, I'll go in via the um, the NCR airport. I'll go in via McCarran. That's got to be the best option, even though it's a little bit on the dangerous side, because there might be some good raiders en route who the NCR will kill for me. Um, yeah, there shouldn't be anything too dangerous there. I should be able to handle all of that. I've got, like... These days, I've actually got an okay amount of health. Like, my current damage resistance is... Not listed here, because that's that was only a thing in Fallout 4. Uh, my total damage resistance is, yeah, it's 9 off the armor plus another 2 of the toughness. So 11 odd is not bad. Like that, against light arms fire from raiders, that should be plenty enough that I should be able to have some good stopping power. But bloody Jessup is, he's a, he's a bit of a pain. Uh, he's, he's definitely a pain. Normally I wouldn't bother dealing with him like that, but... I've got the three bits of evidence. So now I can isolate Benny. The problem is killing Benny, because Benny's also a bit tough. He's got plenty of health. Uh, he doesn't got much armor, though. So I just need to make sure I've got enough stuff that I'm pretty confident I can kill Benny. <laughs> Which I may or may not be able to do. But anyway, for the most part, I'm going to, yeah, let the NCR clear these raiders, then go round to the airport, and I'll use that to get to the strip and bypass the front gate. Clap! Uh, yeah, apparently Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, or Pisces is who I should be dating. Is who you should be dating. Uh, yeah, you will be glad to know that Leo in Capricorn is the second lowest compatibility for Capricorns. Amazing. What's the only person worse for you? Uh, Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, stay away from them threesomes then. What? Gemini, the twins. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. I want. I was. I was wondering when. Yes. Now let the NCR take care of the rest of this. They. The NCR win this fight so easily. Because obviously, yeah. The thing about playing on very hard mode is it means uh, the enemies in all the enemies in the game have massive advantages. Uh, but the problem is the game doesn't really know who enemies are because the NCR could be enemies or they could be friends. So it means that actually, when you play on very hard. Like MP, like casual MP, unnamed NPCs who you treat as your allies also gain massive bonuses. So the game can sometimes accidentally help you. <laughs> like, especially if you're allying with um, a faction that's got range versus a faction that doesn't. It can kind of just sort of work out kind of in your favor, actually. Uh, which is a kind of like fun little coincidence. You had a, yeah, Laser RCW. Don't know what the RCW stands for on Laser RCW. I assume something good and interesting and important. Uh, and same basic deal. There's just some jets, so ignore all of that. And there is... Oh, the NCR are doing something over there. The, end, the NCR are jumping well ahead of this nonsense. They're, they're getting right in on this. Well done, lads. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Let's actually have a look at Super Chats instead of, you know, nonsense made-up things. <laughs> because there are a lot of them. And as Sir Roderick says, the, the mad wheel, uh, mouse wheel thing you can hear is definitely Super Chats. Because mm -hmm. um, I got a new mouse, as discussed on Twitter. It's uh, Logitech Anywhere. I and think it's, it's a bit small. Well, I think it works because you're not supposed to have your whole hand on the mouse. Oh, I just reloaded that. I can't remember how much was in it, so I'm dumping it. Uh, all right. Uh, shout out to Thomas. He gave us five euros and says, Happy birthday, John. Stay crazy. We do our best. Uh, Nemo gave us 20 euros and says, Happy birthday, John. I can't wait to see all this go downhill. It's going It's going all right so far. A couple of minor rule breaks, but we've... This is why, again, this, this has got so many different, like, mini rules attached to it. It's why I thought this would never be a proper series. But, like, sometimes, like, some of the, the, the dumb, stupid secondary tier of stuff, I like to break out for the live streams. Oh! Sif boobs got shanked! There we go. That'll teach you for wearing colanders on your boobs. Wow. Colander what? shaming, John. It definitely isn't something you should do. It definitely isn't something you should do in a fight. Right. Now, I'd like you to go over there and help out with this. And... Go. Go. No, that needs to go down. That needs to... Go. No. Just... Sadly, once you've dropped a gun, you, you can't stop reloading it. So it just loses some ammo. So I need to remember to drop it when it's at one, not... Zero. Why aren't you dying? There you go. Possibly I was hitting some... I might have been hitting some, uh... The, the scenery there. Because he did... He was not taking much damage. Right, another cowboy repeater goes down. But I can replace that with some good stuff here. I might get some good service rifles. Yeah, service rifles are, are not bad. Service rifles are alright, to be honest. And you get, you get plenty of ammo with them. What did you have, by the way? You had an actual laser rifle. That's kind of cool. I like an actual laser rifle. 
Uh, and I need to dump some stuff. I'll lose one 9mm and one 10mm. Uh, I'll lose... Maybe I could have, like, one grenade per fight? Is that a good compromise? Is that a decent compromise? I think that's alright. Maybe I'll keep, like... I'll lose the lowest, uh, the worst of the service rifles. And I'll take the laser RCW because that's actually worth a good amount of money. I might, at some point, go for my one shop. Because I'm close by to... Uh, but, 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 but I'm close by to the gun runners, and I've got like say two laser RCWs. I've got a bunch of stuff that's like, yeah, the laser RCWs are good, the laser rifles not so good, but the laser RCWs are really valuable. Um, the service rifles are surprisingly valuable. I might be able to trade out for something actually pretty good. So, hmm, yeah, I, I might, I might dare to go and do my one shop in the game now. Then again, I should probably... I uh, know, I've got luck of 10! Oh shit, Claire, I can gamble. Oh, cool. With, um, because gambling used to be its own derived statistic in Fallout. In Fallout 1 and 2, you may recall, gambling yeah. was the stat. Uh, it, in Fallout uh, 3, it just didn't show up. And in Fallout New Vegas, they added it back in, because obviously this was back on the West Coast, made by the same uh, team, or many of the same team that played those. So they wanted to bring gambling back in. Uh, but they just merged it into luck. Um, so if you have high luck, basically you will just win. Uh, and I can just use that to basically break the bank at all the casinos and make so much money. So, right, but can't you only gamble once? Okay, I'll gamble at one and only one casino. And I believe the highest casino for gam the gambling limit in terms of how much I can get is the Ultralux. So I will gamble at the Ultralux. Uh, I assume I can play... Yeah, I think I can play there. Uh, but yeah, basically, like, the cards will just come down in my favour constantly. Uh, because, like, it's it's almost like when, you, when you've got luck 10, it's basically cheating. Because, of course, this was back in the days when uh, uh, special had hard caps. So, yeah, you can't boost your special past 10. 10 is the absolute highest it can go. Uh, and I did... I didn't... I, I, I absolutely do think Fallout 4 got that right. Making it a soft cap where your natural special can be 10 but you can like artificially boost it with drugs or gear or whatever past 10 so you can come up with all sorts of crazy builds it just had so much more flexibility and so much more kind of wacky builds and gave you so much more freedom to build a character that could really like do some really crazy stuff if you really specialize if you got lucky with certain drops i thought it was a just a really nice system i think it's one of the things fall off i got really right um the soft cap on special where you can't boost special beyond 10 like just using the um the perk table, but you can boost it, like, beyond that, just to continue gaining the benefits of that, uh, just in terms of, like, combat or day-to-day -day or whatever. I think that was really nice. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, now, we have a message, uh, we have a message from, uh, Michael, who gave us five dollars, and Michael says, I spent most of 2020 and 2021 deployed on a submarine, and your Fallout playthroughs helped me to get through the monotony Thank you for the great content. You had internet on a submarine? How'd uh, that well, work? I'm assuming that they would have downloaded some I of the so. stuff. Because, like, if you have premium, you can... Uh, can you... I think you can download it, like, on a phone, but not on... I don't remember... Exactly I, pref how I prefer the idea of living in a universe where there's just Wi-Fi on submarines now. I mean, and that's I don't the know. techno there might future be, like, we live satellite in. Satellite connections or something. I don't know. Like the submarine, or maybe like because they run like internet cables under the sea. Maybe submarines just like get close to them and just plug in. <laughs> just plug into the internet for a bit. Mm -hmm. So all right, guys, we're halfway across the Atlantic. We're gonna stop and uh, top up our internet. Sure, that's how it works. So okay. everyone who needs to like ch you know update your live journals, download YouTube videos, uh, look up whatever your preferred flavor of Pornhub is like. There you go. Uh, I think it. Uh, <laughs> somebody asked uh, in chat how old you were, and I think the fact that you invoked live journals should <laughs> give an idea. I, I know live journals long since gone. Everyone's uh -huh. on Dream Width now. That's where the cool kids hang out. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyway. Right, back um, to Cam McCarran, because now I know I'm going to the strip first. Okay, I think we are going to have to move to more than one super chat per letting Claire talk. Well, in a minute I'm going to be gambling for a bit, so you're going to have plenty of time to right, do that. Right, because then we also have to do the prezies and stuff. Yes. Uh, let's see. Mm, DJ One Way Dorrington gave us $20 uh, and says, Happy birthday, John. I always enjoy your stuff. 
Can't stay because I have to work on cell towers. 5G COVID isn't going to spread itself. <laughs> but I always have you on in the background. Oh. Nice, thank you. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, Nix says, happy birthday, John. Hi, Claire and Tabby. Have happy a great birthday. stream. And they gave us five pounds. Uh, Cloud of Dark gave us ten pounds. Says, happy birthday. I've been watching since the new Vegas Kill Everything run. Amazing as always. Uh, we've got ten euros from Julianne, who says, happy birthday, Egg Carton. Uh, happy birthday to you too. We're just gonna say that's Brad. It's gonna uh -huh. be great. Uh, Jonathan gave us twenty dollars and says happy birthday. Thank you for all the entertainment and content that you provide. Cool. All the best. You... Ooh, and a question from Front Snorri, who gave us five Australian dollars, uh, uh, wants to know: Hey, John, is there a short clip of all the damage you took in Yolo New Vegas, or a reference to the episode uh, that had it in it? Uh, not as yet. What there is, the closest thing you would have as a, a reference document to everything that's happened is a, a community member has done an amazing job maintaining a, um, an online, like, I think it's a, a Google Drive spreadsheet, which basically contains, like, everything. It's It's got, like, all the information on it, like, um... When I took rads, when I took damage, what weapons I picked up when, what armor I, you know, what legendary drops I got when and stuff like that. It's got so much stuff in it. Um, I don't have a link to the top, but I know it was, uh, I think if you check the menu True Nerd subreddit, which should be linked to below, I'm pretty sure it was updated very recently to the most recent episode. So it should be like in the, like, the top 10 posts uh, there. It was definitely updated pretty recently. And it's got lots of really cool data and charts in it. I think it actually doesn't include Legendary. I think there's a separate document called the Legendarium that hasn't been updated so recently. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of uh, really cool stuff uh, going right there. Uh, by the way, I've activated a three-card bounty and with Gorobet. I'm just going to lead them and take out Drive and Afi because they'll do all the work. And then I might get some more laser RCWs after that. So I'm just going to let them do the work there. So I'm just going to follow them uh, in that direction. Uh, but yeah, that it, it's a really cool bit of uh, fan work that's been done with that document. It goes into so much detail about everything. So there's no like um, compilation, but like when when it comes to the end of the series and I want to make my own compilation, I'll use that document to find the footage. <laughs> it'll be it'll be very it'll be made my life so much easier. Uh, so I love that thing. It's really cool. Clap. Uh, yeah, several people confirming about like um, about like. Uh, um, Wi-Fi or internet on a submarine. Somebody said, where do you think they get their missions from? Uh, someone else said, um, there's no internet, but there's email. I think it might depend on the submarine. Yeah. Because if somebody says... I would have um, on the fancy submarines. If somebody says if you're... Uh, where you're, they get like Wi-Fi and massage chairs. You're in a military sardine can. It's not crazy that they would have some kind of Wi-Fi. Uh, if we can't... Uh, da, 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 I love how Gorobet always gets crippled because he always runs over that same mine. <laughs> I love it. First recon. Submarine can uh, submarines can only communicate very slowly through VLF radio. They don't even have internet when fast cruising, says Jansen Art. Uh, P -Lo P P -E -Lo Pete uh, says there's no civilian internet on subs. Uh, downloaded content is fine. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, I just assumed that maybe you wouldn't get like Wi-Fi on um on a sub on a like military submarine if that made it more traceable. So that's what I wasn't sure about. Um, but let's see. Mm -hmm. uh... Oh, hang on! Is this the bloody the the rifle that doesn't? Ah, there that you isn't go. Quite Jensen... straight. Jensen Art says if uh, subs had internet access, they could be tracked. They do not have internet access. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I was thinking. But, I mean, I'm going to assume that it's just different from, like... I mean, I don't know why you would have a submarine that wouldn't be for a military purpose. Presumably just, like, scientific it's research. Pri my, my private sub, just for partying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, party sub. Woohoo, party sub. And we... <laughs> yes... Uh, several reference to it being yellow and all of us living in it. Um, Come on, this direction, please, I, buddy. I mean, I don't know. Scientific subs might have some kind of internet, but yeah, I was just kind of assuming. Um, Come on, buddies. Ooh. 
I just want to get their attention. Complete mess. I'm going to have to dump this thing soon. Guys, come on. Guys, it's me. Look, I'm a target. Come on, guys. There we go. You're almost... No, you need to be... Darn it. I should have dubbed that. Oh, now they're firing. Okay, now they've got it. Okay, they've figured it out. <laughs> right, there we go. There we go. Uh, okay, Thomas makes a good point, uh, which is they don't have Wi-Fi unless they use this week's sponsor, VPN. <laughs> Come oh, on, guys. That very funny. That's um, it. We got them. We got them, or rather they got Radio waves don't exactly travel through water. They'd only have it if they were surfaced. You um, know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm no scientist, but I'm working under the assumption that means that the internet does work on submarines, but because it has to go through the water, it's like all woobly. It's like all... Welcome back. I don't know why I'm a horse. Um, welcome back. Because it had to go through the water. all these stories about horses on submarines, eh? Welcome back. Oh, dear. In the meantime, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Um, this abuses me far more than it should. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's true or not, but Mr. The Machine says, uh, I believe there is a... They send up a flotation device that has antenna antenna of all kind and uses Wi-Fi <laughs> encryption. The flotation device is attached to the sub by a cable. I don't know if it's true. I don't care. It's fun. I'm ad I'm adopting it as headcanon. Yeah, that's um, that's new headcanon for submarines. Actual information from Dragon Trapper, who gave us ten dollars and says, having been on one, Navy submarines have no internet. Brief chances for pulling news if slash when surface the signal cannot get through the water when deep, and there and um, also here's the thing that I didn't know about that somebody pointed out and. Um, uh, yeah, Average Dude says, uh, downloading a long video or a stream with premium gives the creator like two to three hundred percent more revenue. I don't know if that's true. I've As in, never yeah, the, that, the red. Yeah, I, I from, wonder from why from that premium. would be, but you, you, YouTube's a weird beast. So it doesn't surprise me in mm. a way. Yes, um, they're kind Caleb of says, to be going um, home at this point, but they're just sort of advancing further into fiend territory, which uh, I like. Yes. Um, Caleb says no Wi-Fi on submarine. Sailors download their content first. Emails can be sent and received in bursts when the submarine is surfaced, but they must be composed beforehand. Mm -hmm. uh, radio communication with submerged sub is low bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Plus, I assume, like you know, you like you can't just download what you want or upload what you want, like. It presumably like, it all has to get checked, right? They don't just let people like transmit whatever they feel like without checking it from a military sub. Yeah, uh, P Pilo Pete says to clarify: if you're on a nuclear sub trying to stay hidden, you can't just pop on YouTube. All comes to go through satellite uh, communications, going through secure military service. Anyway. No, that was a rail crossing. Oh, but there's just they're, they're going they're going home a really dangerous route the, today I think, the, I think I've accidentally drawn them just deeper in than they should be and that is potato crisps I'm not sure I've eaten potato crisps yet I think that, that's fine uh, and yeah there's Gorobats you're going well, one person was just oh. wandering off in this direction and folks are recommending a spiffing same? Brit video about YouTube premium yes I saw there was one of them that's Ten of Spades I saw, I saw there was one of them actually uh, have yes. you watched it yet I haven't no uh, let's watch that together I'd be interested in that mm-hmm um mm -mm -mm -mm. Ten of Spades is just walking deeper into into territory into this territory and it's really weird and he shouldn't do this he's going <laughs> He's going to end up dead. He's, he's going to 100% end up dead. Oh, my God. Uh, Ghost of Fish on, uh, on chat says, uh, Yo, what's your boy here? Live streaming from a top secret nuclear submarine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I mean... Now, normally, you know, I'd, normally I'd be worried about giving away my location to the Chinese by doing this live stream. But thankfully, this stream is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN means the Chinese think okay. right now I'm off the Wait. coast of Canada. What a bunch of dicks. You just stole Thomas's joke. Yeah. <laughs> like, fully, no shame. <laughs> 
Uh, Waster of Orange says downloading a video counts for uh, as watching it for its full length. Mm-hmm. Ah, that sense. would be why. But yeah, yeah, like we're gonna watch that video uh, yeah. together. I think because like we're both quite interested in like YouTube mechanics and that kind mm. of thing, and um and you know. Tell um, Spade is just he, mm. he's just he, he's doing. He's he's committing suicide by radar right now. He's not supposed to be walking here. He's supposed to be walking with the rest of his crew back across the bridge, and they're supposed to follow their path back out. But he's just going deeper and deeper into radar territory, and I don't know why he's doing it, but he is, and he's going to get himself killed. And I want his rifle, so I'm just going to let him do it because I can't really stop him, to be honest. <laughs> so this is all fascinating. Clap. Uh, yes. Shout out to uh Josh who gave us five pounds and says, happy birthday, John. I want to thank you because I broke my leg and I've been bed bound for three months now and your videos have kept me going. Good luck. Thank you very, very wow. much indeed. Well, I hope uh, your leg uh, is better soon. I hope you can, uh, I hope you, you don't have to be uh, just stuck in bed soon. Uh, let's see, Dustin gave us $10 and says, happy birthday, John. We've also got happy birthday, John, from Declan, who's been a member for nine months. Uh, Declan says, slight subnautica question. How come the ship's reactor didn't explode in your playthrough? Uh, I just watched it in mine after an hour and a half. I don't know why my reactor didn't explode. Mm. It just didn't feel like it. Uh, let's see. Ryan gave us ten uh, pounds and says Wikipedia says your birthday shares its date with uh, Siege of Peasant Twerp in uh, 1585. <laughs> Wiki called it Antwerp, but I've seen your medieval two documentary, so I know the truth. Hmm. Good luck on the run. Also, I just like to, I just like to point out. I I would like, I, I look this up. Like if you know, there's various websites. Like what happened the day you were born? Mm-hmm. Like you know. I just like to point out. I think me being born was the most exciting thing that happened that oh, day. Wow. If you look up August 17th, 1986. Okay. Do you have any? idea how nothing happened that day it was like there's like some non non, some uninteresting basketball games or something happened nothing happened complete non-entity of a day i think many a true nerd being born is the most interesting thing that happened on august 17th 1986 fuck all happened that day where's ten of spades gone Excuse me, a bronze pig statue was unveiled at Pike Place Market, Seattle. Yep, there we go. A, a statue of a pig was unveiled in at a marketplace in Seattle. Yep. Where's... Uh, rioting Where's at a concert, 40 injured. Yep, but none, no killed. None, nobody died. Yes, that's good. Yep. So hardly really news, really, is it? Oh, my God. So annoying. What happened to... I don't know what happened to... I, I've, I've lost track of... But um, it is true, there's just not that many things. There's nothing! There's fuck all! It's, uh, me being born is the most interesting thing that happened that day. Well, ah, I just walked over a mine, but I'm not dead, so it's fine. Unfortunately, this website doesn't actually list that as an important thing that happened that day. I think I'm the most important thing that happened that day. Okay, so I'm slightly crippled, but I've not actually used a doctor yet, and I feel like now might be the time. Because uh, everyone decided to walk home via their own different separate route today. Nice. Um, so I don't know where Ted of Spades is. He might be dead. Uh, I don't know where he's gone. You just Sterling went this way. Uh, looks like he went the same route as as Gorobets. So, all right. We've, we've got... I can now turn in the head. Then I can... I'm going to fast travel back to Novak to get a full heal from that doctor. Because I must have plenty of money. And she, the doctors are actually pretty cheap in this game. Because uh, wow. I can't use a stim pack. Yeah. Literally, n- no events of note on the day I was born. Only uh, Macmillan died. You see, that's more important. Yeah, no, I know. Harold Macmillan not... dying is more important. So your d- so your birth was not the most important thing that happened that day. My birth was the most important thing that happened on my day. Wow. Also, like, two Soviet filmmaker and... Like, filmmaker, film directors died on that day, which mm-hmm. is interesting. Wow, a lot of people just died the moment you were born. Yeah, they were like, Clara so awesome. You, you, you being born was just really depressing. Oh, fuck off. Where the cock is... What's his face? Oi, come back here. I've literally got... I've got a crippled leg. 
<laughs> from getting this guy. Right, so you're still alive. Here you go. Here's the head. Want to claim a bounty? Here's the head. There's some, uh, yeah, some XP. 250 caps. Not bad. Uh, and yeah, there we go. So that's that taken care of. I'm accepted by the NCR. I hate it on the strip. Uh, right. So back to... Novak, you just got to remember when you when you fast travel in this game because time passes your hunger and thirst meters will go up uh, So you've got you've got to be aware of that. Where's the doctor? Sacrifice to summon Claire <laughs> she, Claire, Claire, Claire is Harold vessel. Macmillan reborn No. Shh. I'm uh, hurt. Oh. Sorry, it doesn't look so bad. One of my legs is broken. I've got like one hit point so there we go. There's my one doctor heal. Uh, but I needed the leg sorting out. And just in case I got any more problems. That should be me back up to everything. Um, I, I mean, am now... If... I don't know, have, I've not drunk dirty water yet. I think if I've got some dirty water, I'm allowed to drink that. I don't know. Not, not to, you know, not to, not to criticise your theory or anything. But if someone was trying to channel, like... The spirit of Harold Macmillan, British <laughs> Tory politician that? and Prime Minister into me. Oh no, the game! bloody failed. Ah, there we go. The game's crashed. We got crashed number one. Luckily, I just fast traveled and it wasn't like on the fast travel. It was straight after that. So if we're lucky, I can just resume straight from that fast travel point. There's the crash. First, anyway. first. Honestly, it's, it's not been bad. That's been what? Uh... Yeah, almost three hours to the first to the first crash. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Now, hopefully, we will, we, will, we will be back at... No, I'm here, so it's before the fast travel. But I want to go to... Actually, you know what? I'll hold off drinking from Lake Mead, because that's a nice, easy one I can do uh, so is down it, the line. Is it one uh, doctor heal ever or one heal per doctor? Let's say one ever. Let's, let's say that's my doc. That's my that's my doctoring days done. In fact, there's actually very few doctors in this game. There are not that many. Uh, there are very few doctors you can just go to. So I'm a little bit H2O lacking right now. Um, so I just need to find a source of water at some point. There are a couple of troughs I've not drunk from around Good Springs. So if that gets worse, I can go back to Good Springs and sort that out. So that's all absolutely fine. Uh, and yes, now I just basically to, I can take the, uh, yeah, I can take the, uh, monorail straight to the strip. You're kind of supposed to, like, either be lights up by the NCR. I'm not sure whether actually accepted is good enough to let me do it. I don't think so. I think you need to be wearing NCR armor. But, like, what's going to happen is they're going to... Okay, there's the NCR ranger. That was some good mouse wheel swizzling there. Yeah. That was, that was some excellent swizzling. But you just run straight past them and they kind of don't care. Um, I'm just going to drop a save in case this goes wrong. But it should be fine. Should be fine. Um, so all I need to do now is, yeah, they're going to say, oh, no, you can't come this way. But you're just going to say, ah, yeah, screw you. If, yeah, they're going to say, oh, you go past this point, I will open fire. But, like, then you just run through. Then, then they follow you out and they, like, maybe shoot you once in the back. And then you make it here and you're done. Uh, now everyone this side's cool with you, and now the game's like, there's like a flag that says this person has used the monorail. So now you can just use the monorail going forward, because you've got, a, once you've done something for the first time, the game's like, oh, well, you must be okay to do it again. It's the same way that if you go into the strip this way, um, you can then go out into Freeside, and the robots will tag you as you've been in, so therefore you're allowed to come back in again, even if you never actually got a passport in the first place, and there's Vector. So, who, who are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy that dug you up. Sorry, we were supposed to. Uh, we were supposed to actually chat, but we actually uh, we we never did before. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll speak to you later, but we're not going to right this second. All right. So uh, shout out to Peter who gave us fifteen pounds uh, and says, "Happy birthday, John! You are the only content creator who I haven't missed an upload for ever." Wow. I wish all your videos, loving them all, especially the gaming challenges and That's Subnautica. Important. That must really, that must take a lot of your time. That's dedication to the cause. Thank you so much, Peter. And Peter also says, 
Um, have you considered playing the Uncharted series on the channel? I would love it. I have played Uncharted 1, but the video irritates me has a bit of a bug in it, which is the um, the light was way too dark. Something went really weird on the recording with the darkness, where it looked fine in my editing suite, but when it was uploaded, yeah. it looked bad on YouTube. So the, the dark bits were way too dark, so it looks really ugly, and it really bugs me. Um, so there is one Uncharted video. I had a nice enough time with it. Uh, and I want to exchange... You know, I'll change, I'll exchange my NCR money... But then again, hmm. And once you get any better exchange rates, it doesn't matter. Uh, just give me 500 chips. Uh, just so I can basically... I don't know what the max you can bet is per thing. But yes, there is Uncharted 1. Uh, now I just need to find a working... Not roulette. I don't want roulette. I want... Where is... Blackjack! So, I'm just going to max my bet, which is... Okay, it's 200. So I'm just going to max my bet. And what's going to happen is I'm not going to win. Um, so there's a four and a six. So I'll take a hit. There's 20. I'll stay on 20. And we'll see what happens. There we go. I've just won 200. Um, so I'm just going to max my bet. Yep, max bet. And I'm going to send them to deal. So that is uh, 19 or, or 9. I'll take another hit. Uh, so 13, uh, 16... And 20. Look at that. So I'll stay on 20. And then there we, there we go. I feel lucky there's another 200. And I'm just going to keep doing this now. Uh, and basically I'm just going to get a, a dumb amount of money. Uh, so while I'm doing that, Claire. Uh, yes, absolutely. Let me just um, scroll back up to the top. My goodness, I actually pages. lost. Dear, I flipping there. Mm -hmm. I actually lost. Wow, you suck. I know. Oh, I thought. Well, I, I had. I had an eighteen, and decided to take a hit anyway. So I just thought, well, maybe I'll get a two or a three because of, because of the ridiculous luck I've got. But like on on balance, I went, there you go. Face card and an ace, a break even. But the, the the dealer happened to get lucky there too as well. So we're just going to be doing. Uh, we're just going to be doing some of this, and it should work out for the um for the most part. Clap. Uh yes, indeed. Ooh. Um, Charles gave us two pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Hello, Claire and Tabby. You only sneak once. <laughs> sneak. I think that's 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 not going to fly. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure that Have one's going to. Have you met to. John? He does love his sneak. I do enjoy a bit of sneaking. I'm going to hit uh, on yeah. 17. Uh, oh, I've that one before. Um, shout out to Daniel who gave us 20 euros and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for all the great content and all the cheering up over the years. Have a great evening. Thank uh, you very, very much indeed. Hope you have a lovely evening too. Also a happy birthday from uh, Tabby Zora Vaz Nerdmundy. Who, Always an excellent name. Uh, gave us 20 pounds and says, congrats to Claire for putting up with your classics rants for another <laughs> year. Uh, they're actually really interesting. Yeah, damn straight. Uh, seriously, though, your boss awesome people and i hope you're both doing great and john you still owe us kill everything new vegas dlc <laughs> dear, oh dear. maybe one day who the problem is the dlc in new vegas is very kill everything anyway that's like the third phase like you know uh king and ace so far it's ridiculous it's it's absolutely ridiculous uh yeah rachel <laughs> says happy birthday john uh, and gave us 20 dollars uh, thank you uh, and thank Claire for your hard work. Uh, also, thank you for keep, keeping me going through my long work weeks. Uh, also, 10 Australian dollars from Russell, who says, as soon as I joined the stream, Claire berates John for not following a rule he hadn't even made up, so I guess I know where this is heading. <laughs> happy birthday, John. <laughs> oh, happy birthday to me indeed. Look at that. Uh, take it on 17, get 21. Easy. Uh, yeah, uh, Jay says happy birthday and good luck and gave us $10. Uh, I, I think good luck, we are sorted for that. Yeah, luck, luck is not a problem right now. Uh, let's see, Joshua wants to know if you'll enter DLC or do base game only. Probably we'll only um, have time for base game only. Will this episode contain all the cockings that your Subnautica vids have lately? Uh, it's a new drinking game for my wife and I and Joshua gave us $10. Uh, yeah, b please, uh, please you and your wife be safe. Uh, <laughs> though, yeah, I suppose I hadn't, uh, actually thought of that, but, uh, we could, um, we, we should, uh, we should have a, a cheers at the end of the stream, because, uh, your, your mum sent us some, uh, She some did, drinks. she sent us some booze. Yeah. So, so we there we could, go. Uh, they we... just give me some free stuff, uh, because I'm doing so well, and you can just keep, uh, you can just keep going. 
Which is a good opportunity for Claire for you to get all caught up. Well, that's not going to happen this this thing, let me tell you. But yeah, uh, shout out to Drake who gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. I'm super excited for this stream and thank you for making content that makes me laugh when I'm sad. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. It's lovely. That's, those are my favourite bits in particular, where it's the people where, you know, we can help cheer them up when they're feeling down. That's always lovely. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and uh, Scout, who's been a member for uh, eight months, uh, says, you brilliant bastard, because of you, I'm starting a live stream of Fallout 4 Far Harbor Level 1 Survival. Um, I think they're making fun of how you pronounce it. Uh -huh. um, I hope you... Mm -hmm. What's the... PG3? What's the I Ah, uh, I hope you play Baldur Baldur's Gate 3 again if it ever comes out. Ah, the... Uh, sorry, usually I if I have a thing, I don't know. If I have an... You know, usually I have more time to look things up. Yes. <laughs> I do apologize for that. Um, oh, another uh, person who has the same birthday as you. Uh, Alana gave us uh, $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. I cannot believe we share the same birthday. Woo. Uh, I hope that you and Claire have a fantastic day today playing one of your favorite games. It's 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 an absolute marvel. And yeah, because I'm on 11, I just always double down because there's a really good chance of either like, you know, a 10 or a 9. It was a 9 on that occasion, but it's like, yeah, double down if the opportunity is clearly obvious. That's a... I'm going to take a hit on 18. Oh, would you believe I actually lost? What the hell? Get bullshit game. Cocking bullshit. Yeah, on a 10, just double down. And there we go. It's a face card. That gets me 20. Win, four, win 400. Just uh, free money. Uh, when you've got this much, it's it's just it's just free money. And you may as well just yeah, keep going. And there we go. Another 400. Apparently, Far Harbor was in a Boston accent joke, mm -hmm. which, yeah, I mean, like, I just, I don't, I can't do accents, so uh, I do, I do apologize. There, there are some very, very joke. specific Boston jokes in Fallout 4. Like, there's an entire, like, bit about a charge card, and, which is apparently, I, I assume, hilarious if you're from Boston. But, 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 but the rest of us, we know. That's that's tricky. He's got 10 showing. Darn it. I think that one might go a bit wrong. Should have just doubled down. And just, just see what happens. Just, just just see what happens there. It's all absolutely fine. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. The Machine gave us $10 and says, Hey, John, I'm currently playing through my first survival Fallout 4 run using your YOLO as a guide, watching the series multiple times a day, and I'm loving it. Thank you for the great content. Oh wow. Don't use me as a guy, goodness sake. I'm, I'm, I'm just learning it as we go along. There's another 3,600. So now they're going to come and give me another reward. You're learning Fallout 4 as you go along. Well, I'm, I'm changing the strategy as we go along. No, that's true. The, the strategy has been modified a lot, but that was always part of the uh, the plan. Like, we always, I always knew, like, okay, whether or, depending on how the health and rad situation is, that's going to change it, because... Uh, if health is really low and rads are really high, then that opens up all sorts of possibilities. And whether or not I was getting, like, because there was no guarantee I was getting a single bit of unyielding gear. Now I've got, you know, I've got two unyielding bits. Hilariously, I've got more unyielding bits, but du bloody duplicates keep showing up, which is fucking hilarious. Um, but yeah. Uh, and I think I'm allowed one more. Yeah, I'm allowed one more. I'm, I'm allowed one more go. Uh, and once that's done, I think I'm at, I'll be at about 10 or 12,000. Uh, and then I can tr cash that straight out, and that's it. Will be, and then I can just basically trade that for for along with all my guns. Uh, the and we'll just see what we can get uh, from the um, uh, from the gun runners, which won probably won't be anything desperately exciting because whatever it is, I'll have to throw it away almost immediately. You see, there's an eleven, so I'm just gonna double down. There we go, face card, boom. Uh, either it, which is just guaranteed, either even or uh, just nice lucky four hundred caps. Lovely, clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, Cutalist gave us 400 rubles uh, and says, Happy birthday, be happy today, and for the rest of the year till the next birthday, your heartwarming madman. Oh, I like that one. That's, that's a good a message. Very, that's a very apt description of you. Yes. Uh, indeed. Sky Arrow gave us $10 uh, and say, Wait, what? Uh, has it already been a year since the last birthday stream? Time flies, I guess. Well, you might get Happy a bit... Happy birthday, John. It's easy to get confused just because it's, um... 
we have the channel anniversary in May, then we have my birthday in August. So we kind of celebrate like an anniversary twice a year, which some people got a bit like confused by. And also we did a, we did a Fallout anniversary at some point, right? We like a did. birthday charity stream for Fallout. Yes, that's true. We did do that too. Uh, yeah, and a Swedish Mafia 101 meme corporation gave us 50 Swedish krona uh, and says the happiest of birthdays to you, John. Thank you for all your videos and streams. You have cheered me up during a hard year at university. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, dear. Poison Joe gave us $5 and says, uh, Happy birthday. I'm taking a shot every time John says, Shan't say no to that. Oh, bad call. Yeah, Very bad call. Please be safe. <laughs> Um, we've got $10 from Dingo Stinky Pants. Excellent. Uh, who says, happy birthday, John. I've enjoyed your content for years, and I hope you have a great day. Uh, Dragonaut gave us 20 euros and says, happy birthday, Jonathan. I've been hooked to your channel ever since New Vegas Kill Everything. Much love from Germany, you glorious madman. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, the bet is already maxed, by the way. For people say, why don't you increase the bet? The bet is already maxed. You can't bet over 200. I know increased bet isn't, like, marked out or anything, but that is as high as the bet goes. It would be much better if you could bet, like, you know, more and faster and whatever, but you can't. And Oh, wow, I actually lost. What the shit? We need a Claire birthday stream, too. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know. You're some to, well, previously you've been in France during your birthday because often you're visiting your family over Christmas. Yeah, uh, but, but I obviously mean, it hasn't done, been recently. I've also done like uh, videos on my channel sometimes for my birthday. Oh, maybe there's four stages but... to this, but I feel like I've got enough. But yeah, you've, in case you've never seen this, by the way, uh, yeah, you get like, there's a special suite you can unlock in every, uh, in every casino. Uh, which is really cool. I'm not sure. Whether, I'm, I'm sure I must have shown this off before. Like it's the extent where I had to. Uh, I have to try and remember. Hang on. Where did you get? How did you get to that again? This is. Yeah, that's the hotel rooms. That's the. Yeah, that's the members only. Isn't it the hotel rooms? I need to to remember this was because obviously some of this is used in like the murder mystery quest that you can do. So it's not you, and it's not. It's not you. Yeah, that's that's the investigators' room. Dilly dilly day. That's a normal room. I'm pretty sure that's a normal room. No, there it is. That's that's the suite. So yeah, this is a suite to the. This is basically player housing. You can uh, unlock and guess what? It comes with sinks. Excellent. So that is a rad. That is rad free water. It's actually very clean. You don't find many clean things in Fallout, but you know what? I'm sure these. I don't know what these ultra looks like. They seem a bit weird, but whatever. Like you know, little whatever quirks they've got i'm willing to overlook it because they have got a really you know they, they've got clean porcelain in their bathrooms so i'm not sure you know maybe something else is wrong it's hard to say wait what's actually wrong there they're cannibals oh fair enough uh let's also get some sleep while i'm actually here and then i'll actually use the other thing the other sink to properly top up my water because my sleep could probably do with a top up too uh, i did that in completely the dumb order uh, so water's okay. Food I could do with a little bit of, but I'm sure I've got some food I've not eaten. In fact, they just gave me a Brahmin Wellington. I'm gonna eat that, boom. I guess that's different from a Brahmin steak. It, it is. Got, um, it is. They gave. It's got puff pastry. Exactly. It's it's super sweet. It's it's probably people. Yes, it is probably people. It's probably people because we know in their restaurant they do serve, or they when they can they try to serve human flesh, uh, and just pass it off. Uh, as as not, uh, so okay. I think that's. I think we can do uh, maybe just one more round. I'm just gonna do the last round. Clap. Uh, yeah. Shout out to uh, Nev uh Nevada Johnny. Am I ugh. Nevada? Why are you struggling to say Nevada? Because I can't remember what uh syllable the um accent is on. Mm -hmm. Anyway, never mind. Shout out to Johnny who <laughs> gave us. Uh, five dollars and his greetings from Boulder City. If you two ever came to Vegas, would you consider doing a New Vegas locations video? Well, we've already said we're literally doing that on a million subscribers, and we're doing we're doing many a true nerd does 
New Vegas on a million subscribers, which I can confidently say because we're never going to have a million subscribers, so it's fine. So it's um, nice and safe for me to say that. Shout out to Caleb, who gave us $5, and says, Hey, John, does it worry you that you've gained almost 100,000 subscribers since you promised to do an IRL New Vegas tour in spandex pants for 1 million subs? Definitely not. Never going to happen. Not a problem. Uh, oh, that's interesting. 17. Yeah, double down on 17. Fuck, I lost. What the hell? Boo. Boo dear, game. Dear. I have luck of 10. How dare you? On 13, double down. Yeah, there we go. What? I've lost twice in a row. Claire, this is getting embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, shout out to a poker burb who gave us five pounds uh, and says, uh, and says, happy birthday, John, trans and non-binary rights with a little heart. Trans and non-binary rights matter. Uh, yes, indeed. Tra trans and non-binary rights. Uh, our human rights. Uh, Nevada, mm -hmm. apparently. Uh, famous last words, say several people. Um, and um, d -d 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 a question from Hans, who gave us five euros, uh, and says, I'm planning a Fallout pen and paper roleplay game. Which special stat would you use for willpower to test against fear, for instance? Interesting. I maybe charisma, but it, there's not really a, there's not really a good fit. There's mm. not there's not a good fit. There, there's straight up not a good fit. You're right. There isn't. Yeah. Uh, and at a nice yeah, screw. There we go. I didn't even do the math in my head. I was like, hey, you know, it'll probably work out if I just kind of uh, if I just kind of do this, and it worked out indeed. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, I was just wondering if it'd be like, I mean, what's us? Do you have a stat in 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 the um, hands? Do you have a stat in the role play game that you're designing that's like currently underutilized? Because you know, I think you could make an argument for charisma or for, I don't know, maybe. I guess it depends. Willpower, how you. It depends kind of how it functions within the roleplay game, right? Because I think you could make uh, uh, you could make arguments for maybe perception, maybe endurance. Mm. If, you know, you wanted to make that mental as well as just physical. But yeah, I think it's a tricky one. Mm. That's mm. really tricky. There's, there's, yeah. no, there's no obvious thing. Well, let's uh, see if people, in the, um, if people in the chat have any um, advice for that. Let's see. Yeah, so Roderick says endurance from mental fortitude. Uh, yeah, you could argue that. That's definitely endurance, you could intelligence, argue. charisma, endurance, intelligence, perception. Yeah, so I think you can make an argument. It just kind mm. of depends. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, ooh, we've got a very generous uh, fifty euros from Captain Rostbart. Excellent who, name, like uh, it. Who says happy birthday, John? Greetings from Germany. Love you guys and love this channel. I've been watching you for three years now uh, and actually have uh, seen nearly all of your series and never regret it. I love the games, the humor, and your characters. Please stay, else, please stay healthy and stay as you are. We do what we can. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, uh, Captain Rostbart. And then, uh, let's see... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Obsidian gave us uh, gave us uh, forty five pounds, and I've definitely read that one before. Um, but you know what? Thank you again. Um, oh, you know what? That was the one where I was being really sweet to you afterwards, like really early on, and you oh, yeah. completely blanked me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, iconic moment. Lol. Um, That's the gambling done, by the way. We've we've been banned from the casino with fifteen thousand. Uh, chips, so I'm just going to trade that back for uh, caps. So, yeah, turn it in chips. And you, I like how you can choose how you get paid out, which is kind of fun, but I'll take caps. Uh, so, there we go. 15,500 chips removed, 15,500 bottle caps added. So, now we can see what's worth buying over at the old uh, McGiblet, the gun runners. So, yeah, that's where we're going. And we don't need the sneak check to get our guns inside here because they'll just give me my guns on the way back. And there's some naked women in a fountain. Dear oh flipping dear ladies. Shocking. Oi, 
Huh? What? Drunk fountain shame people. Uh huh. They're very drunk. They're no, very drunk in the fountain. Drunk shame people. <laughs> Uh, that 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 the, the military police officer is he's he's, he's, <laughs> he's not supposed to be doing that. He's, it's he's, like he's never seen a drunk woman. He's, he's really oh no he's, he's he's really enjoyed this. He's, he's 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 trying to play it cool. He's trying to play it cool, but he can't. He's 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 he's, uh, he's not. He's, when they said enough fun for the night, they were talking to him. Yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Now they've, now, now they've run off. Now, do, you think, do you think maybe this guy is in fact one of the two guys from a way out? I think he's a synth. I think he's a synth right there. I think that, that, yeah, that is a synth. Maybe, maybe he's like a descendant of the character from a way out. He could be, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was the thing. Oh, hang on. No, don't, don't fast travel away until I can fast travel back. Because now if I step he's outside. <laughs> literally the Looney Tunes horny animation. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. amazing. Right, so now okay. we step outside so I can fast travel back. Because, yeah, the robots know I've been in here and they've seen me come out. They say, oh, well, I guess that person's allowed to go back in again. Uh, so that's all fine. Because, yeah, now now they're all absolutely yeah, okay. So as soon as I just tag this, there we go. And then I, does, I think, yeah, Ben then tries to come and speak to me anyway. Even though I've literally just come out the strip. It's, it's really weird because he doesn't really have, like, a... Hey, you, you, you shouldn't like. You look new to there you see, you know, don't go past the south gate greeter. But you can't. I can literally go past the south gate greeter without speaking to it, because I just came from there. So like, there's no. Uh, and then this guy also exists. He's like the hey. Here's what happens if you try and run past without speaking. But again, I, I can run past without speaking, because that's that's a thing I'm allowed to do. It's it's yeah. The, the, the game doesn't really have like um. It doesn't really have anything prepared for the situation where, like, you 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 come out into Freeside for the first time from that side. It just doesn't really have anything available to uh, do that. Okay, so that's that done. So next up, I need to... Wait, where am I going? Oh, I'm going to Gunrunners. Gunrunners, 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 Gunrunners. Because I can sell a whole bunch of guns. Sell a whole bunch of guns to them. And I've got tons of money. No, not him. I need to speak to the. No, that's the companion's missile. I do speak to you. Sorry, I always forget that terminal isn't what I actually. I think it is. Uh, okay. So next up, I can also sell all of my NCR caps and also all of my Legion stuff. Where's my Legion? Yeah, Legion denarius. That's all absolutely Ooh. fine. Yes. Uh, and I just realised that I missed uh, uh, big donations from uh, Roman Tali who gave us a uh, hundred dollars. Thank you very much. Thank you indeed. very, very much, Roman. Uh, who says, happy birthday. I'm here to bring you the good news of Yolo's Lord and Savior, Barry Mantats. Oh, yes. Everyone loves Barry Mantats. Great. They're great. Barry Mantats are great. Barry, mm -hmm. Barry Mantats are very bad tats are, are good stuff. All right. It's it's going to be it's going to be fine. One day I'll use the Barry Mantats. One and day. that same day, you'll brew some nuka something. Nuka free, right? yeah, whatever that is. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, dear oh dear. Uh, shout out to uh, we've got a bunch of uh, brand new uh, channel members. So shout out to uh, shout out to Daniel Fox, uh, Nylit Inc, and Captain Rossbar, who uh, who we've just heard from as well. So a uh, shout out to all three of you, uh, and also to Jason who gave us five dollars and says uh, happy birthday, John. As a gift, please have some knowledge. Uh, in yesterday's Subnautica episode, you questioned the underwater river, uh, but these are real. People are saying it was brine. Yeah, I mean, um, Jason said continued in chat, but they didn't uh, at reply me at the time, or I didn't see it because it's so busy. And this was hours ago, so I wouldn't have it. But if you're still here and you still want to like copy the same thing, um, you you can let me know. But you know, otherwise, it's just um, I think there was a lot in the comments of that video explaining it. Yes, a lot uh, of people. A lot of people were saying that. Yes, directing towards documentaries we can watch. So that's really cool. Yes. Uh, probably gonna look into that i mean i know we both like a nature documentary so you know if we can find something cool about it i'm gonna take combat armor reinforced mark 2 which is pretty good 
And then that just gives me enough money to also buy a good quality fat man. Uh, yeah, just. And then, how much is a mini nuke? Because then I can just murder something that looks at me funny. Well, I mean, this this one shopping trip that you're doing, that's going to be your only shopping trip, where you spending... Are you just spending everything to buy all the things? Basically, yes. So, uh, like... Basically, what you're saying is this is like that one time I went to Waterstones after not going for a year and a half. Something like that, something yes. Something like that, yeah. I need a little bit more money to mm. get to get all this together. What have I got in miscellaneous that I can sell? I don't know why I've got that. Cigarettes. I need some of This is my one shopping trip. So I'm buying a nuke launcher with the most powerful... The acoustic guitar! Yes! We've still got the acoustic guitar. Brilliant. Uh, ammo types I definitely don't need. Remember, you can't crit nuke in this game, John. I don't, but it'll totally work out even though I can't. Uh, I'm never going to use 5mm. That's definitely not a thing I'm going to use. I just need to, I just need to find a little bit more money. It's all going to be fine. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Jesper, who gave us 45 Danish kroner and says happy birthday. We've also got a uh, happy birthday from Sydney, from Ferox, who gave us uh, five Australian dollars. Uh, Bully gave us five uh, American dollars and says, happy birthday, John, from John. Ooh, uh, fancy. Um, oh, great timing. Rose, who's been a member for 10 months, suggested only use each shop once, which obviously we... we uh, We're already shopping. This is my only shopping trip do. full stop, yeah. But this is perfect timing. Uh, I've already drunk purified water, so I can sell all that. And shout out to uh, Ayel, who gave us $5 and says, Happy unbirthday, Claire. <laughs> uh, it's also Tabby's unbirthday as well. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so thank you so much, Jason, for resending all that cool info. Um, Jason says, Underwater rivers exist in places like Mexico and the Black Sea, where they are made uh, or... Um, Hydrogens, uh, where they are made of, I think, hydrogen sulfide and highly solenated water, respectively, uh, which is what is seen in the game. Oh, so that's really cool. So in Mexico, it's hydrogen sulfide, and in the Black Sea, it's highly salinated water, which obviously is, yeah. I could have just um, sold my old armor. That would have been way more. That would have been way more efficient. Oh wait, no, in the Black Sea, not in. Uh... Is it really salty one, the Dead Sea? No, the Dead Sea is the one that's not salt, uh, not salty, right? Wait, hang on. Where's the one where stuff like, where it's so, oh, yeah, I can't remember. Can't remember. It's one way or the other, but like, uh, wait, uh, say so it is salty, but like, the sea was always salty, so surely that should be, if, it, if there was a sea that was not well, salty, that would be so the remote. There's a sea that's so salty that like, see, the Dead Sea is very salty. It's very salty. There we go. So now I've basically traded all the money in the world for really good armor and a nuke launcher with one mega nuke. And like now the... you can't sleep for a while because you have to keep that armor on. What? You have to change after you sleep. Yeah, that's true. I've not been doing that. <laughs> that's that's true. I kind of let that one slide a bit. That 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 one that one has definitely uh, been been sliding a bit. Right, because you float in the Dead Sea because this is the saltiest. It's the floaty one. How am I going to kill Benny? I've got the hunting rifle so I could get a sneak attack on him but I need to... Mm. 10 mm submachine gun is not going to be highly effective at dealing with Benny. 10 and 9 mm submachine gun and toss in some shotguns. That's because I need to kill Benny. I don't want to nuke Benny, obviously. I want to keep that fat man nuke in the... I want to keep that just back as, as an emergency oh. last minute thing. Yes. Um, Anthony points out, uh, actually, the Dead Sea is extremely salty, but the Black Sea is not oxygenated below a certain depth. Yes. All right. That sounds like something out of Subnautica. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, look, we have a very, Entering very deoxygenated area. Turn back now. John immediately doesn't turn back now, then dies 30 <laughs> seconds later. Anyway. Yeah. What I was going to say was we have a very smart chat that knows things. Mm-hmm. 
Oh uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, let's go back I'm to... I'm not sure you can reverse pickpocket Benji. I think he spots you the moment you enter the room. Uh, the reverse pickpocket grenade onto him is actually quite clever. If you're allowed to do it, I'll, I'll see. I think, I'm, I've, I think I've got one... No, I've already used a... Have I used a... Yes, I have used a stealth boy in this universe. I've used a stealth boy to use a stealth boy to do a Jessa. So I can't do that and he will see me when I walk in the room. So that's not going to fly. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to present the three bits of evidence to Swank. As a result, I don't need to speech check him. What's name? But Benny will, regardless, go be sent to his room by Swank. So I hand over my guns because he'll just give them back to me. Right. So now I just go over to Swank. And now I tell him Benny's up to something. And oh, oh dear, he's, he's got he's got special lines for me because everyone around here hates me. And things you know something about Benny. So don't speech check him. Instead, I've got evidence Benny tried to kill me. So yeah, it's the note. I forgot the note was one of those evidence. So there's the cigarette butts. There's the lighter. There's the note. And then I just say that's it. What do you think? Jesus, and man, that's persuaded because there's three speech checks and three bits of evidence. Benny's and no any combination that gets you up to three out of those six. Is enough that Swank convinced that Benny's a no-good punk and needs to be put down. So at that point, uh, actually, hmm. If I just say I'll do it, then that means I get to meet... No, I can just skip the fight. I don't need to kill him right now. I don't need mm. to kill him. Because I can just let him escape. If I just... It, it, I'll lose the platinum chip, but I can just get it back later from the camp when i have him executed that's actually yeah that's more sensible i don't actually need to kill benny right now i can kill him later at a more convenient moment so yeah that's actually fine so yeah i'll, I'll do that uh so, did you want more cool science information yeah give me more cool science information uh so anthony says uh the black sea being deoxygenated below a certain level means that nothing can survive below that depth because the water does not contain oxygen which is why wooden wrecks are in excellent condition down there because there are no mar marine worms to eat the wood uh and the organ organic remains story checks out yeah it's really cool yeah and uh ryan says there is a neat bbc nature short here on youtube that's a view of a deep sea brine pool it is highly toxic to fish because of the lack of oxygen and the high salinity Eel eels that swim into it get toxic shock hmm, interesting Cool. Toxic shock for eels. Well, uh, uh, certainly the, the thing, the, the similar stuff is up not to run into poisons you the moment you enter it. So, yeah, there uh, you go. Yeah, a few people are talking about Black Widowing Benny. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have Black Widow. And also, that would, yeah, that would require the use of Black Widow. I don't actually have Black Widow. So I'm just going to deal, I'm just going to let him, um, I'm just going to let him be executed up at the, um... The thing, that's fine, I think. I mean, can't remember. I assume he flees the moment this happens, right? As soon as I just get all the information off the X, off, uh, yes, ma'am. So that's all fine. So there's the wild card. And, yep, yeah, I'm the courier. Blah, blah, blah. And there we go. And, yep, yeah, while all the various wild cards. Where's the platinum chip? Benny's got it. Okay, I get the platinum chip. Diddly, diddly, d. And, yep, yeah, speak to the various tribes. The, the yes, man conversation is really... Really, really cocky, uh, really, really cocky long. Uh, but I'll go check that out. That should be another one. Claire's looking at me, but it's absolutely fine. Yeah, it, well, it's just somebody said they had to leave, so I have to read their super chat. Sorry. There we go. That there should go. be everything. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, shout out to Delanger, who, or Delanger, I guess, who uh, gave us 10 euros. Um, Sorry, I. it sounds like from your uh, chat message that you asked already and I didn't see it, so I, I do apologize. Uh, but Hi. since they have to leave soon, Joyeux anniversaire, John. I've been watching your videos almost every day for many years now. Cheers from France to you and Claire. Oh, lovely. Uh, so there you go. Uh, now, is Benny going to have fled at this point, or is Benny just still going to be there and needs to be taken out conventionally? Because if so, I'll fluff this, and I did need to get him alone. Because if he's now just still... Because the game's still saying you need to get the platinum chip, and I assumed that he would go. But he's not. He's actually just still there. Right, I thought he would flee if I went up there. So in which case, hang on, we need to actually get this right here. We need to get this right. So back to where we were. Okay, let's try this again. 
I do need to isolate him and, and assassinate him now, because otherwise I'd rather fight him on his own than fight him with his friends. So give him the guns. I, I, just, I honestly thought he fled if you did that. So I can just do the swank thing again. But this time, after I tell you the evidence, then you think Benny's a no-good punk. And now I don't have time to do that. I need to take him out right now. And then he'll go up to his room. None of the rest of the chairman will get involved. And here's your stuff back. So that gets me all I need in terms of armor and everything. So now I just need to find a way to kill Benny. And that's going to be tricky on very hard mode when my guns are absolutely cocky dreadful. So we'll see what we can do about that. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Jacob who gave us 17 Danish kroner and says, uh, Hippo birthday, John. Have fun. Uh, I love a hippo for my birthday. Hippos are great. I love hippos. Yeah, but like we, we don't have room. I love how they're massive pool. and adorable, but also absolute vicious monster killers. Well, monstrosity is yeah. a morally loaded term that doesn't. No, I'm curious Anyways, whether you can fine. actually grenade. Can you actually grenade him? I would also like a giant pool, but I would like it to not have a hippo in it. No, it'd be no, just no. nice to have a pool. No, don't mind me. People don't have pools in London, by I the way. I feel like I'm very detected right now. I feel like he's super detecting me. Now, I could just snipe him in the head, but I think that... I think if I do that, I think that makes the guys outside angry. But if I just headshot him with the bonus crit damage off a hunting rifle... That's enough to do... Yeah, that's enough to finish him in two hits. But I think that... Does that make the rest of the chairman angry? Are they, are they cool? No, they're cool. Sometimes they can be decks. So, okay. That was actually okay. That gets me Maria, which is actually a really good gun. And all the rest of that. And his suit, if I need that for bartering purposes, etc, etc, etc. And now I'm just going to very quickly... No, I'm first I'm level that. And I'm going to get my speech moving in the right direction. Get up towards 70. Get guns ticking up past 75 as well. And now I'm just going to basically just exhaust all of Yes Man's dialogue. Because I suspect we're going to be going Yes Man. Because that's that's the easiest way to uh, to make it all fit together. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to uh, Jeff, who gave us five dollars, and says uh, happy happy uterine liberation day, John. <laughs> it's a very interesting way to refer to one's birthday, but okay. Uh, you can only panic once, lols. That, that's that's uh, that, that, that's our rule of subnautica. That'd be a problem. Uh, some more silly rules. Uh, Thomas uh, gave us five dollars and suggests only loot one object or item from each enemy you've killed. Um, let's see. Zachary uh, gave us ten dollars and uh, says happy birthday. You can only fast travel to each location once, mm -hmm. which uh, I think we've already. I think I've already broken. We've probably. already mentioned that we're not doing that just because otherwise. For it the just live slows stream, down the live stream. Yeah. Is, something just slow down live stream. Which in a video, things that slow things down are fine because I can just edit it out. But things that like slow down a live stream are kind of no nos, unfortunately. Uh, Buster Bear says having a pool is like owning a boat. The happiest days are when you buy it and when you sell it. <laughs> wow, there's something really sad about that sentiment, isn't there? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Shadow Xi'an gave us five euros and uh, says congratulations on surviving another planetary orbit. Uh, the eyes of the mighty Kaiser. Nicole gave us twenty dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! I hope you have a fantastic day. This is a little thank you for all of the hours of entertainment that you've provided during my time working from home over the past eighteen months." Oh, you're very, very welcome indeed. We do our best. Absolutely. Uh, and then let's see. Uh, Pratyush uh, gave us two hundred uh, rupees and uh, says, "Message one out of." Two. I'm not sure if you did another donation or if you put it in chat. Um, if you put it in chat, I'm I missed it. So uh, if you're still around and you'd like to put the second part of your message and at reply me, that'd be super helpful. I do apologize. It's a it's a very busy day today. 
but Pratish says, John, please, please explain in as much detail as you'd like how you managed to actively put enthusiasm in your voice. I've been trying to study your work pre and post 2016-ish. Such a massive change. It, it's just a matter of having a stage voice. It's it's purely a matter of having a stage voice where you project. And it's the same sort of thing which I would do if I was literally on a stage trying to project my voice to uh, fill an auditorium. You know, what you hear day to day isn't really my um, you know, my day to day speaking voice. It's the extent where, where I come out of recording and I walk in to speak to Claire. Claire has to tell me you're doing the voice because yeah. I'm speaking very loudly and it, it might be enough to trigger a headache, yeah, in yeah, fact. Yeah. Um, well, just in general. Yeah, you know, and occasionally, it's... though, that it, 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 it behind the scenes here, sometimes I will gesture at Claire mm-hmm. with a little, just I just tap my, my hand up a few times in her direction, which I, is my way of indicating to her, hey, you sound a bit quiet and down. Pep, let, get, get that, let's get that projection voice back on. See, the problem is that I have ADHD and I've been told all my life I talk way too much. Mm-hmm. So, like, it does not come naturally to me to, like... You know, for, for me, if I'm, like, the idea that I'm too quiet is just not a thing I really think about on the regular, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so there you go. I am still, you know, uh, and yeah, Derpy Swede in chat says I can still activate my customer service voice on command. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, shout out to, uh, shout out to Patty. Who gave us a hundred cal- uh, California Canadian California do- oh shit America's doing even worse than we thought the breakaways have started happening oh god it's all over it's just because it's a CA you know uh, anyway sorry new California NCR dollars yeah uh, so Patty gave us a hundred NCR dollars thank you so much so happy birthday happy. thanks to all three of you for all the entertainment and for helping Fine. to keep us all sane mm-hmm uh, You're very welcome indeed. We do our best. Yes, and uh, let's see. Uh, uh, um, Buster Bear says, You don't talk enough, Claire. Literally never heard that in my life before. Uh, and somebody needed to leave. Wait a second. Yes, let me just uh, find that one message because somebody has to leave. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Waster of Orange gave us 200 uh, rubles. Uh, and oh dear, um, that'll be Latin probably. Uh, John, uh, is it is the C a hard C in Latin? Uh, the pronunciation of Latin is a question because it's a dead language. Oh, of course. Uh, so let's, Mostly, uh, yes. So I can't get it wrong, which is great. Uh, shout out to John Felikin Diem Natalium from a fellow classicist. Happy ben- birthday, basically. Yeah, no, I get that. Yes. Because it's actually, it's, yeah. I mean, if you've had, if you've had, um, yeah. If you had, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Natal is like in French and then Felicim is like Felicim. Yes, of course, the Romance languages yes, have lots anyway. of similarities. There's lots you can figure out from one to the other. Yeah, sorry, I'm just like, it, it was very obvious and also DM for that. Anyway, I've been here for five years and I love your videos. Also, Claire is the best. No. Uh, please, Waste of Orange, do not change your opinion on me on the basis of how I've read this. Dear old <laughs> flipping dear. Boo, boo, oh, I say. No. <sighs> dear, oh dear. Um. Oh, no. I'm seeing people who have sent happy birthday in various different languages that I do not at all speak. Mm-hmm. Uh, with and without phonetics, so that's going to be an interesting one. <laughs> ah, I see. Ooh, oh, excuse us. Oh, we've been going, it's been a long day today. We've been doing other stuff beyond before this, of course. Right, Miss House just giving his... Bar- I find it so annoying you can't skip that. Why is that cutscene not skippable? It's so, so long. Is it really loud? No, 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 it's not. It, I don't think so. It looked like the, the bars looked like they were fine on OBS. It yeah. didn't look like it should have been uh, uh, too loud. So, I, I meant can I speak? No, no, you're absolutely fine. We're just skipping, skipping through Mr. House. He's just going to tell me to go to um, Cottonwood Cove in a sec and uh, visit and uh, find Caesar. Uh, all right, so um, mm, mm, I don't want... Dino uh, gave us twenty five Croatian kunas. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, that'll be that might be new. I'm not sure I've heard you say the Croatian no, currency sure. before. That might be a first. Yeah. Ooh. 
No, I'm glad I checked because the code is HRK. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, um, I mean, yeah, I would have... Because I've not seen Croatian Kroon before, I don't think, or very rarely. Um, I was totally going to guess Hong Kong if I didn't check, so I'm glad I checked. Um, Good job. Dino says, happy birthday, John. Thank you for the years of entertainment. I hope you enjoy your birthday. Also, shout out to Claire with a smiley face. Dear oh flipping dear. And uh, Mab gave us five dollars and says, what are you doing? You get it's your birthday. You're supposed to be resting. You're giving so much love and light to the world. Take a minute for yourself. Jeez. Well, I am. We are thinking of making some light changes to the schedule mm. to kind of give ourselves more time to one, have some time off and two, also like be able to have the opportunity to make like big high effort stuff that takes multiple days to put together. Uh, mm. Some updates coming about that sort of thing uh, soon. So watch the space on that. Um, yeah, I mean, basically, um... Cause, Cause, the thing is, the thing is also we've just moved MATN HQ, and uh, we we are very very happy that now we are in a house with a garden as yeah. opposed to a flat without outside space, which was tricky in the you know Order. last uh, last year. Uh, but like, the garden there's needs more, maintaining. Yeah. There's you know, more, yeah, there's, there's mowing more, to do. there's more maintaining <laughs> than there used to be. That's true. So we do try to, we do want to kind of like have a little bit of yeah. time so we can do that and when not hey, like me, stressed but... out about it. Uh, let's see. Um, Actually, in all fairness, the moon, the moon comes over the tower is the most weird. The, the, it was supposed to be a much more complicated quest, and at the last minute they cut it because they didn't have time to finish it, which is why it's a weirdly um, short quest. It's, suppo it's supposed to be way more complicated. Uh, because, yeah, you literally just walk inside, uh, plug it in, then that's, that's the end. But there was supposed to be more to it. Uh, and the terminal, even though it says is hard locked, it's not hard locked. Uh, you, just, you just put the bug on, and that's it. It's done. That's, that's the end of the quest. That, that was it. You walk inside and you press A against the terminal. There was supposed to be more. There was supposed to be, like, you know, there was, there's access cards that you can find in, like, uh, the factory or the house golf resort. And you were supposed to, like, find them. And da, 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 da. But, uh, yeah. Uh, in the end, I think they just ran out of time and they were just like, oh, fuck it. But then they just sort of forgot. And they didn't adjust the XP. So the XP you get off the quest is actually quite a lot. It's one of the higher rewarded quests in the game. Uh, which is really weird. So yeah, it just kind of gives you 500 XP base boosted to 550 because I took the first rank of Swift Learner. But like, that's a lot. Like, plenty of quests give you less XP than that, but are way more work. But this quest was supposed to be more complicated than it was, but it just got cut last minute, which is why it is as it is, which is kind of funny. Uh, so okay. Next up, Cottonwood Cove, which should be easy to get to because, bear in mind, I already swung down. Uh, swang? Swang's not a word, right? Swung well, is a word. Swang, yeah. swang definitely isn't. Maybe yeah. it's specifically swang. But yeah, from camp, camp search, I can get straight over there. So that there should be absolutely fine. I don't have the best guns right now for dealing with the robots. And I could, in theory, use my one science check to disable some of them. Ooh, we'll have to see about that. That's going to be an interesting decision to make. But yeah, I'm just going to go to camp search, like, skirt around the outside of the rads, and then just go downhill. There's going to be a handful of... Uh, yeah, irradiated uh, ghoul troopers. You can be a little bit on the tough side. I'm also getting thirsty. But I can drink out of the Colorado when I get down there. I believe the Colorado is rad free. Because it's like fresh flowing water. Uh, so I think that's rad free. So I can just have a drink when I get down there. And it will not be a problem. Uh, but I'm going to save because this area can be a bit nasty. Clap! Uh, yeah, absolutely. Shout out to uh, Turlin. He gave us five dollars. And says happy birthday and thank you for all the fun videos you are a blessing entertaining me during a dreaded piccolo repair and repad what's piccolo i think it's a musical instrument oh the instrument yes i thought this might be Did like I a... say it wrong? no you you said it fine but i just assumed it would be like like a tech thing of some description like like a car like uh, something like that or like a like 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 a, like a gondola okay but no the and instrument yes piccolo yeah, is an instrument. yeah 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 and a shout out to Damien also who gave us $5 and says you can only pick one snow globe up 
also happy birthmas and here's to many more. I'm one seven. If you have not picked a single one up, even though I could have picked up uh, several now, I was thinking, darn it, I needed money before. Why don't I just pick up the Good Spring Cemetery one, then the one in the uh, in the tower, and I, I, I just had two to sell right away. Now the ghouls might detect me, but I feel like on this terrain I can just basically outmaneuver them. Like there's gonna be a ghoul. There's there's like a ghoul soldier over here. I could just nail him in the head right now. Then again, this, the the size of this thing is... Never mind, he's already spotted me. So I'm just going to basically try and see if I can just outmaneuver him. Because enemies don't work well with rocks. So if I like jump over here, and then I jump up to here. And I come around here. And then I drop off this. Alright, and I'm going to come up here. And now I'm going to jump up to here. And then I'm just going to drop off the edge over here. It should be. It's not too far. It's not too far at all. And that should be him completely 100% lost. And this also brings me to the sniper's nest. Which I can tag now. And if I get my lock pick up high enough, I can get the... Uh, yeah, Boone's rifle from here. So I'm back to caution. Which is fine. A bit of healing powder. Nothing dramatic. So yeah, there's the um, there's the rifle case here. There's also a Sunset Star Sarsaparilla bottle cap. Which is marvellous. Uh, hang on, where's the container? Is it? Is it the oh, there it is, it's over there. It's in his little, like, uh, little sniper nest covery big jibble. So there's that. I know there's a container here somewhere. Where's the container? Wait, where is the container? I'm back in danger again. Why am I in danger? Did he find me? Who found me? How did they find me? Is there someone further down? Who? Who am I in danger from? I don't know. I know there is... Oh, there it is. It was right there in front of me. Yeah, very hard gun case right there. So there's a whole bunch of 308 right there, which is nice. But I'm just going to start... I'm just going to start the New Vegas my way down the cliff. It's going to be fine. Clap. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Matt Smith, who gave us $7 and says, Merry Christmas, John. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Sky Arrow would like to know when do we get the Oreo only reload, reload everything once and they gave us a five dollars uh, we've already reloaded right because the game crashed yes the games crashed and also I was just wanted to experiment with some stuff and also I because I didn't bother prepping anything something didn't go the way I thought it was going to go and there's a little pool of water here the looks pretty clean to me. So this, even though it's, it's, it's stagnant water though. So, oh no, it's quite irradiated actually. It is quite irradiated. I'll, I'll drink just enough to, well, I've knocked myself over to a slight uh, rad sickness. I've got rid of radiation sickness. I've got rid of the uh, dehydration, but I've picked up a bit of tiny rad poisoning, but I'm sure that's fine. Hello. Yes, it's me, but I don't need to speech check you because I've got the mark of Kaiser, which is fine. Uh, so that's fine. And now I'm, yeah, I'm out of uh, cautions. So that's fine. So now, uh, I could, because I have made it to here, and now I can fast travel back to here. I could get some really easy XP by doing the Frank Weathers quest. But as long as I speak to him to activate the quest, you get all the XP. If you speak to them directly, ah, but hang on, that's a medical check, or I have to pay the money. There aren't many medical checks in this game. And then again, my med my medicine's probably quite poor. Uh, but I've almost certainly got, like, today's physician, right? I must have one of them. Yeah, that's medicine plus 10. That gets me to 42. I don't actually know whether that's enough. But now I'm here. No, John, survival metrics. Just, just go to Caesar. Go to Caesar, uh, loot the place. Get all the guns that you need from the camp, and then use them to take out all the McJibbles. It's going to be fine. Right, Curse of Lucullus will take me up river. That's all absolutely fine. Let's go with you. Take a few hours. I'm not sure what the survival metrics do actually tick up while you're traveling. I assume they do. I'm also sort of inside this guy's shoulder, and I 100% agree to disarm. That's fine. I'm not going to make a fuss because I don't want to waste a check right there. So now I'm just going to loot the camp. And then, yeah, we'll speak to Kaiser. He'll tell me to destroy the robots. I'll go and turn the robots on instead. And but he won't care because he won't know the difference. And that will be that. The robots are a little bit on the top side. But yeah, there should be a bunch of 
like containers around the camp I can loot, uh, which should be absolutely fine. Clap. Oh yes. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Instant Debris who gave us twenty dollars and says Happy Birthday, John. I've enjoyed following your Fallout 4 YOLO playthrough since the start. I'm a Massachusetts hospital worker, and in my hectic shifts during COVID, it's been one of my go-to things to watch on my lunch break. Ah, excellent. Well, thank you so much uh, for doing that work, uh, Instant Debris, and I, um, you know, best of luck. Uh, best of luck. Keep on the good work. Uh, Avery, uh, Avery, sorry, Avery gave us five pounds uh, and says, Happy birthday, John. I'm transitioning and I finally changed my name legally. So it is nice to see other people celebrating today. Also, thank you for the memories. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. And congratulations, Congratulations. Avery. Congratulations on the name change. Uh, and of course, trans rights uh, as ever. Who is detecting Le me? Mm -hmm. I don't know who's detecting me. Okay, someone's detecting me. Might have been it might have been you. Were you seeing me through the tent? This guy's literally got eyes in the back of his head. Okay, we're gonna find some containers that don't have eyes on them. There's definitely some down the bottom that are easier uh, to get eyes on. But these containers can be really good. These can be like hunting rifles and stuff. So just hold on. Detected. Okay, my sneak might be a little bit too too poor for this. Because I can see what's inside. That's a single shotgun, so that doesn't matter. There we go. I've actually got hidden for once. And that gets me just some 9mm. A little bit of healing. And some money. Get back to back. Straight back to the detective. Who? Who are, the, who are the people detecting me? Tell me. Show me who's got eyes on me right now. Recruit helmet. Garbage. Machete, useless. There's definitely some with good guns down in the tents at the bottom. Clap! Uh, yeah, Lady Cricket gave us $5 and says, uh, Happy birthday, you keep giving us some awesome gifts for your birthday. Uh, and love to you, Claire, and especially Tabby. Tabby is the best one. That's, that's fair and reasonable. Tabby is the best. Somebody asked about Tabby uh, recently. She's doing great, but oh. she's, uh, she's not She's a good come... little girl. She's not come back to say hello since earlier. She said hello right at the start, which yeah, was Yeah, she which might be. Surprising. I think she's sleeping she's uh, probably in my sleep, office. Yeah. Um, she's almost she, ending on sleep, yeah. Yeah, and shout out to Jalili, who gave us $5. And says, happy birthday, John. How did you get dust to work? I have tried multiple times multiple times and it just continuously crashes well i that might have been an earlier version of dust that was a while ago so i do not know whether i was dealing with maybe an earlier nicer version of dust uh it was not difficult for me to get working for the most part i recall it just basically working pretty much straight away uh, so I, I don't remember it ever being too much of a problem, but maybe it's had updates since then, and that's led to the problems you're having, so I, I, I can't speak to it, I'm afraid. That might, it was so long ago, I might not even be talking about the same version. Mm. Uh, let's see. Go right back up. Uh, big lumbering nerd uh, gave, us, gave us $5. I feel like um, I feel like that's some somewhat somehow like subtweeting me, <laughs> you know, not like that. It, it's or or maybe just like I feel a kinship, mm -hmm. you know. Lol. I feel a kinship because I've been doing some uh, some like uh, exercises from the YouTube YouTube videos, and I'm just like, this lady is real flexible. I cannot do this exercise. Lol. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, they say, happy birthday, John. Congrats on the new house. And hurry up and get many a true puppy already. Oh, I think that might be in a post-Tabby world. I think Tabby deserves a retirement mm. in peace where she's not being harassed by a boisterous little pups. Uh, yes, indeed. I mean, she's she's a very... She's a sweetie, but she also, you know, she's old and she's... Uh, you know, she's doing good but she just in general is not in the best health and needs monitoring and all of that yes so you know i think she'd be a bit stressed out by a hyper little puppy running about mm. i think yeah. it's, it's best that she has her retirement by herself 
Yes, indeed. Mm. Uh, poor little pups. Mm. Plus, she is poor a little, little puppy. Poor little pups, because you call her a puppy. Yeah, I call her a puppy because she around. follows you around. And if she occasionally wakes up and you're not there, she gets worried and she starts wandering around yelling until she finds you. Because she's a puppy. Sometimes I call her and she comes and it's really sweet. We also call her Potato and Meatball. She, she has no idea what her name is. Well, like I said the other day, if she had to put a guess in to yeah. what her name was, it'd probably be, we love you so much, because that's the one thing we say to her all the bloody time. Correct. Um, but yes. Oh yeah, this bit's got rads, and I've already used radax. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Do I have anything else that actually gives me any rad resistance? Because there's not much that gives you rad resistance in this game. Uh... Oh, interesting. I don't think anything really gives you rad resistance. Okay, I'm just going to take some rads, so I need to do this section fast. But I can't do it that fast, because it's, it's quite tough robots. Um... I mean, the hunting rifle would do okay. Wait, was this hunting rifle already empty? I'm not sure. Hello there, housey house. Right, the problem is, yeah, you want me to activate the uh, things, but you can't activate, you can't deactivate the uh, security, which is a problem. Oh dear. And I'll upload the data. That's all absolutely oh. fine. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, I'm in danger immediately because I got spotted. Oh, that's going to be good. Yes? Uh... Myra, who is a wordsmith, as we know, uh, Myra suggested Spadato Meatball Tibbles. Excellent name. Spadato. Spadato. Like a spud. It's quite nice. It's very sweet. Right, toss I mean, that. I'm a spud, I probably would call her spud, like that's a good word. But um, we call her potato, but I also call her patat. Because I, I just like the sound that it makes, patat. Plasma rifle's pretty good. Um, That's not a bad addition. Bear in mind in survive mode, by the way. Uh, oh, plasma grades too. I'll take one of them. So I can use one of them. And I can use a pulse. Okay, one plasma, one pulse. And I've got a plasma thing, so that's kind of good. Uh, this is actually quite a lot of rads. Uh, I've known a rad scroll from a doctor, but this now needs to be done pretty fast. Um, okay, take the hunting, the second hunting rifle, because I've dumped the first. And now I need to take out the... I need to take out the turrets. Which I am happy to... I'm happy to ID targets with that. As long as I don't actually, like... Oh, now I'm in trouble. I'm, I'm, I'm not using that. I'm just using that to ID targets. Which is completely different and fine. And go. Right, that gun needs to be dumped. Uh, so that's both my hunting rifles done. Which is a shame. Over to laser rifle. And now I do the... I go for the wrong one constantly. Over there. Anyway, do you want to tell the people what the cutest thing you called her was when she was being a bit of an idiot? I can't remember. What did it I call her? It was a potato joke. I honestly can't remember. You're going to have to say it. It was so, so sweet. She was being a bit of an idiot. And John stopped calling her potato. And he called her a dumb de terre. A dumb de terre, yes. It was so cute. Uh, you vatsed again, cheating. No, that I didn't use vats. Did I take a shot at vats? Did I take a shot at vats? I don't know. No, I didn't. I was, I, I I did was a bit of. I did a bit of... Talking about you were cute. A tiny, tiny amount of VAT scanning, which does... is absolutely fine. All oh, these copy Okay, turrets. I'm going to say that I don't think VAT... Does VAT scanning... Do... I mean... VAT scanning isn't using VATs. That's Maybe fine. you get one VAT scan and one VAT shot. Mm-hmm. Okay, do I have a... How many different types of grenades do I have? Do I have a frag grenade? Yeah, I've got one frag grenade. Okay, and... Go! That did something. Uh... <laughs> It didn't do that much. Jesus. Uh, plasma rifle. That's got plenty of ammo in it. And go. 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 There. That's, that's that turret taken care of. Jesus. This is this is getting somewhere now. And this is that's a good angle for you. That's a sneak attack crit. Okay. There's now... There's going to be more. And... Oh, yeah, people are very, very strongly saying that you can only use VAT scanning once. Okay, fine, I won't VAT scan anymore. 
Stop it. Okay, that, okay, that's now dead. That now needs to be got rid of. That plasma rifle's done. It did good work. I do have... I've got the pulse grenade I could use on the other turrets. Sonoff shotgun's going to be dreadful here. All the fast-firing weapons are going to be bad. Uh, 9mm pistol might work okay against a handful of the... Ooh, apparently you already used a frag grenade. I'm just up. Yeah, but it's, I think it's... I think I'm not going to say I can use one grenade the entire game. I think it's okay to say, you know what, it's... Why are you not taking damage? I think it's okay. Okay, well, that needs to be tossed. What one type of grenade per fight? Per fight or per area or something? Yeah. I think that's reasonable. Mm, let's see. Um... Oh, there's so many cocky bastards. Okay, there's two of them next to each other. Uh, now it's time for the plasma grenade. Okay, go. And... Go. That there should be fine. Right, well, that's two of you I dead. I mean, yeah. People are saying, pretty sure he's used guns more than once. So the thing with Wait, guns... Wait, have I already used Maria? Oh, I've already used Maria. Maria's been dumped. Yeah, I've used Maria. The thing is, with guns, like, there is... You have one gun item that you're supposed to keep a long time. Yeah, but you replace it with, ident with identical duplicates that you find as you go around. Right, like, you, you, you're using this one gun for one charge off the gun have I just been spotted and then by? dumping it but like with a grenade when you use any grenade it's just a one use item like the rule you only everything once says that something you ought to keep that that's already done okay well that was useless you you're also you're only service using rifles time, okay yeah yeah for something like a grenade that is already a oh that really use, hurts oh that's a problem uh, okay, I only have one grenade left, which is the, do I have any form of healing that I can use? I'm not sure I've eaten a banana yucca, right? I don't, I don't think I have. I think I have eaten a barrel cactus. I've definitely eaten a Brahmin steak. Have eaten a gecko steak? Or grilled mantis? I think I might have eaten a gecko steak, but not grilled mantis. And I don't think I've used healing powder yet. So I'm going to... And a honey honey mesquite pod. I think that's okay. But I've done the other one. Agu iguana bits I definitely have eaten. Iguana stick I haven't. Um, generic junk food. Love it. Looks like potato crisp from the package. But who cocking knows. Mm -hmm. uh, maize I don't think I have. So dump the rest of the maize. Oh god. So that's, that gives me a bit of health back. But I'm taking rads. I'm up to level 2 rads at this point. I'm taking a little bit of... Oh god, I'm just going to save in case this goes wrong. Because the, these turrets really hit hard. The turrets, the turrets, the turrets, the turrets, the turrets, the turrets. Can I maybe just land, I land it a little bit? Oh, no. I can, ju if I, I can actually hit the tripod without hitting them. And now the final one up here. Are there two by the door or are they beyond the door? There's, t there's two beyond the door. I'm going to go over to the plasma. Oh, uh, sorry, the pulse grenade. Uh, I just need to know where they are. And go! Right at the back. That's definitely taken out at least one. Did it take out both? Oh, it took out both because I'm a genius. Is there another one around here? No, there isn't! Oh, that worked so well. That was an explosive skill of six. What a dumb throw, but it worked. Yes. Okay, guns. Keep guns moving in the right direction. Keep speech in the right direction. I don't have a meeting people. I've just not found a meeting people. You can get lucky and get one in the strip off the newspaper dispensers. I didn't. So I'm going to have to state speech to 100. Uh, which is fine. Now we dump this. So they're now upgraded. And now we GTFO. And that just, yeah, that one just doesn't work. Um, so now we move on. And there might be like another protectron somewhere around here. But if there is, he's not shown himself. And because I'm not blowing up the area... Um, I'm fine to just walk out. If you blow up the area, then the sentry bot escapes on the way out and attacks you. It's actually harder. Uh, if you do it this way, it's easier. Uh, I assume because, like, I don't know, you had, you've had the control of the vault over to house, and so now you can remotely deal with it or something, so this door doesn't actually open. So that's a lot of guns that have now been, you know, got rid of. But house is going to be thrilled, and weirdly, Caesar is too, because he's too dumb to tell the difference. So that's good. Everything's absolutely fine. So there we go. He, he's happy with me. I can now leave. I get my guns taken away from me, but that's fine. I've taken most of them away from myself. <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it. Right. Back we go. Everything's fine. And yeah, here you go. Have have some guns. 
Actually, holdout weapons there were not. They did not say that was a sneak check. So I suppose I could have done holdout there, but there's no point. So I'll get them on the way out, so it doesn't matter. Right, I'm going to go speak to Caesar. I think he sends me to the boomers first. I think everyone sends you to the boomers first. Apart from the NCO, technically ask you to do free side first if you haven't already done it. Um, so they'll ask you to take care of that nonsense. But I think just about everyone says, hey, boomers. Boomers are a good idea. Let's, let's get, go, go speak to the boomers, you stupid bastards. So, all right, as soon as I do that, I could probably go and kill a house next once I've got the... Oh, hang on. Do I have the chip anymore? Do... Do I have the chip? Oh, I've still got the chip. I thought I had a... Did, when you plug it to the machine, does it just case to plug the machine? So can I, can I... Do I now have to hack my way into House's back room? No, it's fine. I can still hack the house... The, the house terminal with the chip. Because I've got the chip. I was worried there that I did that in the wrong order. That'd be a concern. So that's, uh, that's 500 XP for free. Uh, which is nice. Oh, he wants me to eliminate house first. Okay, everyone wants me just to eliminate house. I could have sworn it was boomers first, but alright, fine, whatever. And that's straight up to speech, 100 guns getting there. Okay, cool. And level 10. There must be some good stuff at level 10. Night person, mysterious stranger. Mysterious stranger's kind of fun. Misfortune's kind of fun too. Here and now. Finesse! That's it, yeah. So, yeah, more chance of a critical hit because uh, I've already got luck 10 and I've got the beret, which is critical chance plus 5. And now I've got another 5 off finesse. So I'm going to be getting regular criticals, which actually means even rapid fire weapons can sort of do something. Because uh, otherwise they're terrible because of the damage threshold system. Uh, but yes, now I'm pretty much just killing house. Everyone wants me to kill house broadly. Uh, though actually, I can go and speak to him first just to wrap up two. But after that, I'd, yeah, two separate people want me to kill house at this point. So that's definitely going to be the right way to do uh, that. So, okay. We're getting there. We're making some progress. Claire. Uh, yeah. Sorry, let me just... Yeah, a uh, shout out to Nicole who gave us seven Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. It's my husband's birthday too. Woohoo! Woohoo! Uh, so there we go, more people sharing a birthday, lovely. To your husband, Nicole. Uh, and let's see, who else do we have? Sorry, I have to scroll back uh, a fair bit. Uh-huh. Uh, Derpy, Derpy Swede, gave us 50 Swedish krona. Excellent krona. Uh, and says, you can only donate once. Happy birthday, John, and also the anniversary for being... Uh, also, uh, my anniversary for becoming a live stream mod. Yep, that seems eminently reasonable. If, if I'm only doing things once, the same should be true down down for you guys. That's yeah, eminently fair. Yeah, they're not fair. doing that, though. That would help me if they <laughs> did, but they're not. Um, <laughs> and obviously, we're very grateful. I'm not actually grumpy about it. Mm -hmm. I would just like to, you know, grumble at John. Uh, shout out to Sarah, uh, who gave us $5. Uh, Sarah, it's lovely to see you on stream again. Sarah says, happy birthday, John, you and Claire are keeping me company while I unpack my new apartment. Uh, well, I hope you love the new apartment and I hope uh, the puppies are doing great. Yes. Uh, Forby Hundy gave us uh, $5 and says, happy birthday, John. Your videos have been part of my nightly ritual for quite some time now and I greatly appreciate your hard work. Yours too, Claire. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got, um, a message from Brian, who gave us 25 euros, and says, happy birthday, John, here's to a fantastic year, and to many, many more. Esodus gave us $20, and says, happy John Day birth, uh, and a birthday boop. I've been booped, I can confirm. On that was actually board. a perfect Mr. House run, by the way. Like you almost. Thought you were gonna say that was a perfect boop. It was a good boop too. But yeah, Thank you it. almost always get shot by at least one robot on your way, just trying to dash from the terminal to house. But like, yeah, they tried to go into rocket mode and change the mic because I was too close, so not one of them got a shot off, which is actually um, which is kind of cool. Uh, and just if we want to, we can disable the cerebral interface, so he won't be able to control anything anymore. Ooh, Myra says maybe you could only have one skill allowed at one hundred. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, I guess guns 99 is fine. 
All right, buddy. All right, buddy, buddy, buddy. What do we want? Actually, I've got all these caravan shotguns. Buddy. Technically, he's already, like, easy, easy. Just keep going. There we go. We got him. I just blast this leg off. I just... He, he has to go down. Because why are you looking down? That was a really weird... Oh, I think you were trying to look at his eye. That's Ooh. interesting. I think you were aiming at his eye there, which just popped out of his, uh... Popped out of his head, which is, uh... Fascinating. There's bits. I just... I, I just... It's the penis pump that gets me. It's it's the penis pump. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Good old penis pump. Can you can you be done with that? I've got to read you some more sweet heartfelt messages. Oh, of course. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Shout go, out go, to, go. Shout out to Callum who gave us nine pounds and says happy birthday, John. I'm absolutely loving your Fallout 4 YOLO series. It is the highlight of my week. It's not mine, it's the low light of mine. Christ, I think stressful to put together. Dear yeah, oh dear. it is, but it's also a lot of fun. Yes. Dear Where do you think dear. Jane the robot goes when Mr. Because the moment the house is dead, Jane just disappears. Where does Jane go? Does she leave? Does, does, does she just get, like, repurposed? Does, like, the Jane personality matrix get wiped and she just gets replaced by a default robot? You just don't notice that she's no longer there? What's the deal with Jane? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but shout out to James, who gave us $20, uh, and to Raging Canadian, who gave us $10. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Raging Canadian says, happy birthday, John. Sorry I can't stay to watch, but I'm always happy to see you do what you do. Keep being you. Oh, I, I, well, I hope you can sweet. catch us later. Yes, I'm sure he will. Uh, Travis gave us, uh, gave us $5 and says, happy birthday, man. Thank you for another year of awesome content and for being a light in many people's lives including mine. This is the one casino you don't need to go into as part of side bet. I don't know why I just came in here, but that's very sweet. Thank you. Yes. Uh, 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 Brie gave us $5 and uh, says, happy birthday and thank you for being my most comforting pandemic comfort channel ever. Love to you, Claire and Tabby. My love to Tabby especially. Love to Tabby especially. I think love to Tabby especially. And um, I know I end up saying this pretty much every stream, and mostly I'm saying I'm, I'm saying that because I, I don't want to read the next one that has a bunch of languages that I don't know what they are, <laughs> and I have to try to pronounce them. Um, but, you know, w w we are very much people who are fans also. We are fanish. We yes. watch a lot of... You know, we have our own comfort channels mm. uh, that, that, that do a lot for us. And so, you know, it, we understand how meaningful that stuff is. And it's always very humbling that we mm -hmm. can provide that from other people for other people. It's just very special. Yes. Uh, it's just very special that we can do that. Mm. All right. So, after, yeah, the Yes Man side bets you can do really Ooh. fast. It's why the speedrun route always uses Yes Man. Because literally you just say hello to Mortimer and, like, that's enough information. You can just say, ah, you know what, screw it. I don't care. We don't need to bother either getting them on side or exterminating them or anything. We can just ignore them. It's fine. Uh, and you can do the same thing. To, in fact, you can do it. It's even easier at Gamora. I think Gamora, you just need to speak to the woman at the front desk. Uh, you don't even need to speak to the leaders. And it's like, yep, you know what, that's fine. It's it's fine. It's just a really really sleazy casino and brothel. No problem there whatsoever. Mm. Good sign though. I like the giant signs. The front the front is very cool. Oh yeah, and yeah. we did use that for that, um, that heal everything. For the heal everything, right? With Doc yeah. Doc Mitchell on. The, I literally need to I need to like use the uh, the toggle no clip to actually get him up there because there's nowhere to get up there normally. Uh yes indeed. Uh, since you're in the perfect spot for it, you only eat a man once. <laughs> I could just do no cannibalism at all. I think you could very comfortably do no cannibalism. So I'm pretty sure um, I can just speak to you. That's fine. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, Pete says, Claire, next time he breaks the rule, he has to give you his Jaffa cakes. <gasps> That was that was a good slide there. That was that was an excellent slide right there. Yeah, the problem you see, Pete, it's a great idea. The problem is, hey will I ever have the heart to refuse a man Jaffa cakes 
on his birthday. Yeah. Or in fact any yeah. other day. Yeah. Damn straight. And the answer is no. Because <laughs> I'm a Muppet and I like him. How dare you. I'm uh, not the one who suggested it. So Brotherhood of Steel, which would be much easier if I hadn't murdered Veronica. If I hadn't murdered Veronica, that would have been, yeah, a lot, lot, lot simpler. In fact, that's actually really interesting. Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel might actually get a bit more complicated now I've murdered Veronica. Ooh. Um, okay, well, there's the Boomers. They're, they're sort of nearby to where I am. The Boomers is it's pure kind of luck uh, as to whether you can do the Boomers. I mean, Turbo and... Run is the best option. I don't have any turbo, so we're just gonna we're just gonna basically just like run and hope. If you just kind of run a huggy the wall, sometimes it works, sometimes it. Oh, I'm being shot in the back. What a day! Looks like it doesn't work. No, no, that wasn't that wasn't him. That was that was unrelated raiders who were being decks. But now they're gonna walk in here, probably, and now someone else is going to. Would someone else like to deal with this raider, please? There we go. Thank you. Dear, oh dear. I can't believe he just shot me. That was very rude. I'm going to use this caravan shotgun on him. And go. There we go. There's a lot. There's a lot of people with guns in here. He made a mistake walking through here. And oh, there's Ringo behind someone else's head. So that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. See you around. Help myself to this stuff. That's a laser rifle, which is not worth as much as you think it would be. The... the Economics of laser weaponry in the Fallout universe is so confusing. It's not just a case of like, oh yeah, it was, you know, it was Black Arthur and it was Bethesda. Because, uh, like, this this is, you know, this is Obsidian made Fallout. But laser weapons, some of them are, like, the laser, the laser RCW is really valuable. Even though it's trash. But, like, more powerful laser rifles are worth nothing. And, like, some laser pistols are not worth much at all. But, like, the plasma rifles are okay but not spectacular. But, like, you know, the same people who made this game made games which were very much, hey, laser weapons are the elite of the elite, there's very few of them, like, they're a late game weapon, they're their own separate class, like, you know, only one super elite mega awesome family in New Reno uses them, and they're doom bringers, and everyone fears them, and no one dares oppose them because they're the ones with laser weapons, and they're super valuable, and then, like, they change, they kind of change their mind to do things, ah, yeah, it's fine, actually, laser weapons are everywhere, which makes more sense from a game balance perspective, but... It, it makes it very confusing as to how many laser weapons there are in the universe and whether they're actually, like, that good or not. Because uh, the, the, the game sort of changes its mind on that as it goes along. Clap! Uh, yes. A shout out to Lone Tech, who gave us 50 Swedish krona. And, uh, <clears throat> I don't even know what languages I'm supposed to try and pronounce here. Thank you for uh, throwing some French in, in the back of that. Uh -huh. uh, Just do I it all in a French accent, that. it's fine. Um, yeah, no, I have no idea. So, uh, I'm gonna guess, uh, gratis pa fodel sedagen tam jubi omedetu joyeux anniversaire. That sounds like there's a bit of Latin somewhere mixed in the middle, uh, possibly. Uh, I, it does not look like Latin. Oh, fair I'm enough. I'm going to say one of those looks like Swedish just because it's, it's got a diacritic that exists in Swedish. And I don't think... That's a good one. Swedish knowledge there. How do you know that? How do you know about knowledge about Swedish? Just because uh, the, the, you know, the, um, the circle on top of the, on top of um, vowels. Yes. Like a circle on top of an A or whatever. Like that's not present in... English, it's just, it might not be Swedish, it's, mm. it might be a different, like, Nordic language, but it's yes. present in those. Fair enough. I mean, what, that just seems like common knowledge. Mm-hmm. What, a, a particular thing that's used primarily in Swedish? No, the that's idea, the idea that the circle mark on top of a vowel to, um, the circle accent on top of a vowel is something that exists in Nordic and Scandinavian language that seems like, you know, just a broad... I didn't know that guy just ignored thing. you if you just ran around the edge of the road. That's kind of fun. Uh, but yes, now I need to basically... I'm just going to basically run up the side of the path and hope. Polylicious said uh, the first one was decent. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Well, good attempt, then. Thank you very much. Um... Apparently one of those was very... Somebody says one of those was very poorly pronounced Japanese, but I mean, I don't know, it just does not 
look like that because it has all you. That almost worked and I got crippled at the end. That was so close to working. Uh, I don't really want to use a doctor's bag, but hang on, how many more doctors are there? Also, what limbs crippled? Is it, is it an arm? Is that an arm that just got crippled? That is... Yeah, it's an arm, which is going to be a problem for... Uh, anyway, guns. speaking of, uh... Oh, they've got a doctor here. I'll use their doctor. I should be I can pay him. I don't know whether you can. Let's find out. Speaking of pronunciation, uh... No, I, um... Clearly they were correct. I, d I didn't think it looked like Japanese transliteration, right but obviously it was. I mean... Yeah, that makes sense. I'll take huh. this from here. <laughs> A bit, both people just hidden behind the gate. That cutscene goes wrong so often. So there's Mother Pearl. That's fine. Want to help out. And I'm not going to do a speech check. That's all absolutely fine. Come and go as you want. Help or don't. And FYI. Loot the place because it's absolutely full of combat armor. Not that one. This one. There we go. Combat armor. Combat helmet. Easy. Super easy. Really valuable. 3,400 to go. This is the best, easiest looting in the entire game. Bar none. Absolutely no exceptions. So you just get in there, you steal all their stuff, no trouble whatsoever. And yeah, I'll take their helmet just in case I need that. And I'll just uh, trade that out and sell that. And I'll dump the leather armor reinforced because next to that it is worthless. Job done. Uh, so if it's Japanese, I'm going to kind of mildly guess Tanjibi Omedetto. Something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then speaking of that's a good mild guesswork. Tanjibi Omedetto, and then um, Kieran points out um, that's still super wrong. Kieran points out uh, Kieran gave us five pounds and points out that uh, about my pronunciation of Welsh, the double D uh, was close. I said kind of like a th, but I'm not sure if it would have been like um, a th or a th, you know, because mm -hmm. there's two. TH sounds. Yeah. And then um, he said for the double L, nope, I don't even know how to explain uh, the pronunciation of it in text form, but it sounds nothing like L. I know exactly what I did when I said double L. I said Leah, and that's because it's double L in Catalan. And that's why I said that, just because it's spoken in my family. I don't speak it, but it's spoken in my family. Mm -hmm. uh, the Welsh double L is he. Like, uh, we know somebody called Linus. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's what that would... I mean, again, approximation. If I go to the Good Spring Source and I use one of the other wells, because there's three wells, I can drink there, go to Good Springs. Doc Mitchell's a doctor. He might be able to give me a heal to sort out my bloody broken limbs. And then from there, I can go to uh, Hidden Valley and do the Brotherhood. That's <laughs> not a bad combination. Uh, because I am going to need to drink at some point. And there's also... Oh, there's also just a random coyote. And I've got one shot left in my shotgun. I, th I think uh, you have already used your one... Uh, your one uh, allowance of saying that word very wrong. Mm-hmm. So. There we go. You go down, buddy. And then, yes, hang on. The... That's source number one, but there are multiple different sources of water in this area. I just need to go and find another one. So nine bullets remaining in this pistol. Just loop around. I don't know if the geckos... Do the geckos even spawn in this area if you didn't do the tutorial? I honestly don't know. Is this where they would be? This is where they'd normally be, right? Uh, but I can't get water out of here. Aha, here we go. This looks better. There better be water here. Yep, water. Cool. And it's rad-free water. Good Springs is literally Good Springs. Uh, unsurprisingly. And I can drink up here. If I'm willing to accept the arm problem... Actually, you know what? Are there drugs that could sort out the broken arm? There's Hydra. Hmm. I could drink up to health here. And then I could use, if I've got a dose of Hydra, I don't know if I do, I don't know if I've got a dose of Hydra. I mean, that sorts out that. I'm getting, ra radiation's a bit of a problem. I haven't had a Dr. Rad Scrub yet. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay. I think what I need is... I'm not sure. I, maybe I don't want to use a doctor. I mean, I've already used a doctor. Is using each doctor once or are you using doctor's full... Are you using once doctor? Ooh. I think I need to find a different way to heal this limb. I mean, I know I can use a doctor's bag. I know I've got a doctor's bag. But if I use a doctor's bag, I can't use doctor's bag in, like, an emergency, like, in the final fight. <laughs> so that's, that's going to be, that's going to be interesting. Uh, so I guess we're just, we're just going to have to, just going to have to figure it out. It's going to be, it's going to be great. So there we are. That's, that's me pretty much up to almost, almost full health from just dr drinking water until it all works correctly. Because I used my one stim pack, like, at the start of the damn game. Okay, so that's me at, at health. Do I have a dose of Hydra? Because Hydra does that, right? I don't have a dose of Hydra. Is it Hydra I'm thinking or is it Rebound? Whatever it is, I don't have it. Each I... Doctor one seems uh, fair, like the most reasonable option. Like you said, there's not that many Doctors in the game, so... Yeah. Um, yes. Hmm... I, was, I don't even know whether you can go back to Doc Mitchell and pay him for healing to sort out my crippled arm. I don't even know if that's a thing. There are not that many doctors in this game. There's actually very few. Um, there's presumably... I also don't know whether the doctor at uh, Camp Forlorn Hope is a functional doctor for the sake of healing. Because obviously I know about the doctor, the travelling doctor at Novak. That's like the easiest, most easy spot one of all. I don't even know whether Doc Mitchell functions as a doctor. I think there is Hydra in the um, in the service station that's uh, just past Prem. It's just I'd have to fight my way to it, uh, which may or may not work. I don't even know if he works as a doctor because uh, sometimes like plot people don't. Hello. Welcome back. Would could could you? Yes, I need help. Let me patch you up. Fifty caps done. Okay, so that's what's out my yeah, arm. Yeah, um, actually, Mercarium points out if you can drink once at each water source, why wouldn't you be able to heal once at each doctor? Yeah, that's fair. That, that seems like seems a reasonably... Fair. Again, this is another reason why this didn't become a series, because there's so much rule lawyering you have to do on the fly, which is never going to make everyone happy. Squirrel on a stick. Yep, I'll eat that. Rads are getting out of hand, and... Could Doc Mitchell also give me a de-radding? Uh, heal radiation. 100 caps, blimey. And that's, oh, that's instantaneous. Okay, well, that, that's easy. Right, so Dot Mitchell's now been used. Dot Mitchell cannot be used again. Um, but now I need to head down the road. Now I should be, actually, how's sleep? Uh, sleep's not normally the problem. Oh, yeah, sleep's only 49, really. Okay, fine. Uh, right, I'm going to head down the road and then loop around the corner to, uh, Hidden Valley. And we're just going to have to... Do the Brotherhood capturing his quest. Unless I want to just shoot the Brotherhood and then try and escape. Which is a bad idea. Uh, so I think we're just going to have to do the initial quest. And I think I know a way of doing that without doing any speech checks. And then There's once... Hydra in the Coyote Pit. In what? In the Coyote Pit. Is there? Interesting. I assume they mean, yeah, this area up here... Uh, the... Yeah, but obviously we all agree that Doc Mitchell, the first heal that Doc Mitchell did at the beginning of the game doesn't count because yes, you didn't choose that. it's outside of that. Wait, yes. do you mean the pit up there or do you mean the cave? So they said pit. The pit is up here. Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, I'm going to check this pit. For me, no offense, it's pretty much, it's pretty much on the way anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to check the little pit that's up here just to see what's what. Hello there, Mr. Coyote. And yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, just flipping. Just call me John One Shop No Scope 360. Because I, I just I just pointed at that guy like, when his head just popped off. Pew. There we go. Oh, everything's good. Uh, okay, and then the other ones are appear to be further down. And don't seem to be getting involved with me. There's another one up here. But yeah, I'm just getting crits a lot right now. That's that was a right leg crippled. Oi, come back here. Come come back here. Yeah, you better run. Uh, okay, hang on. Where's the? Wait. Isn't there a? Where's the? Hang on. 
Where's the thing? Am I imagining? There it is. It's way back over there. It's way back over there. I, I massively, massively overshot. Okay, there we go. That's that's fine. Uh, four bullets left in this 9mm, which has been doing an excellent job, it must be said. Uh, this might be what they're referring to, the Devil's Gullet. It's, it's around, I mean, there's coyotes around here. It's nearby to the area I was in. There is a coyote in the pit. And that, that guy is alive. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, damn, I need to throw this gun away. Stop struggling to reload it. It needs to go. Okay, 9mm submachine gun. Come back here, you. Where are you? Excuse me. No, you... Come. He just bit me, then ran away. What a dick. Clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to Harry in chat who says, Oh, dead I Jonkin then. <laughs> There's no shame in losing to Dead Eye Duncan. He is Isn't a there, he is a fierce, a fierce opponent with much more experience than me in the arena. No anyway, shame. Anyway, shout out to Bendrix who gave us a hundred dollars. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, there it is, Bendrix Hydra. Says, <clears throat> Bendrix says it's been a minute since I got a stream. Happy birthday, John, and happy Tuesday, Claire. Uh, I am playing. This is that YouTube ate some of that. Um, <laughs> well, you know the interface, whatever. Um, Bendrick says I'm playing Door for Romantic while watching. It's a nice offset to the absolute chaos of this stream. Um, with a little winky face. I wish I could be playing Door for Romantic now to calm myself down <laughs> from the utter ca chaos of this stream. That sounds lovely. Uh, dear, oh dear. Right, loop down uh, here. Definitely a chance of death claws. I'm nowhere near close enough to the quarry area. Uh, if I went too much more in that direction, there might be the odd scorpion, but for the most part, we should be fine. So if I just loop down to the road in this direction, I should be able to cut pretty much straight across to Hidden Valley. I'm shunned by the powder gangers, but nothing worse than that. So they shouldn't be firing on me. I should be neutral with powder gangs. I'm pretty sure I'm shunned. Nothing more. So I think we're going to be, yeah, doing a bit of live and let live. Do I just hear... I did just hear the danger noise. Oh, it's a scorpion! Okay, drop down. So then it can't follow me. Then there's a couple of coats over there. Guys, no trouble. No trouble. Today, I... Today, me and you can be cool. And that scorpion probably can't... Yeah, the scorpion can't follow me any further. It's got stuck already. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, it's fighting a Koji, actually. The, uh, it'll 100% win that fight, but I don't care. Uh, I'm, I'm not sticking around to check. I'm just going to cocky go back over to the road over here. Stay away from the powder gangers, just in case they, uh, cause trouble. But yeah, now we can just go straight to the valley, get myself caught by the brother. Because, of course, if you go here straight at the beginning of the game, there's just no answer. Uh, but the moment you've got the quest marker, investigate Hidden Valley and find the Brother of Steel, then they will always come out just to say hi when you go up to them. And then if you don't have Veronica with you, uh, you have to do the first bit. But I think I know how to do that without a single flipping bit of um, any uh, checks. And also without killing the guy. Because killing the guy is tough because he's literally an NCR Ranger wearing good NCR armor. Uh, so that will be difficult. But I think I know a way to deal with him. Clap. Uh, yeah, just a second. I, need to... <laughs> I was just adding more to my list, so now I have to scroll back six pages. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Joe, who uh, gave us $10 and says, uh, Hello, don't mind me. I'm just another happy birthday message for one of the most wonderful content creators of, uh, for one of the wonderful content creators of YouTube. Carry on. I, I did it. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. It's very sweet indeed. Adam uh, says, happy birthday, John. I hope you have a great day. Uh, and they've been a member for seven months. Nihilet Inc. has been a member for uh, 13 months and says, happy birthday. Uh, and then we've got a message from Connor who gave us 10 Canadian dollars. High level dollars. Uh, and Connor says, uh, I wish John a day of bread and cheese, or as they say in Quebec, bun feta. Bun feta? Is yeah, because bread and cheese. Ah. Bun feta. I see. Yeah, okay. Fast. 
I figured John would appreciate a good cheese pun for his birthday. I'm sorry, Connor. I, I did not want to explain it. Clearly, I'm a bit slow this evening. Well, I think they say bon fet uh, for, for birthdays instead Here we of go. bon anniversaire. The speedrun, by the way, this room is hilarious because what you need to do is you need to... They've locked you in, so you need to get a key to leave, but you also need to aggro them so that you can not communicate with them anymore so that thereafter you can basically say, well, I don't want to deal with them to yes, man. So what they do is you f shoot at them, then you need to... I think it's like you pickpocket, then you shoot them. It's, it's some order of pickpocket shooting. It's all done in one Dixie smooth motion and it's really really cool to look at to see oh, I love wow. this bit of the speed runs it's very very cool indeed so um, what's going on and yes I'm going to comply I'm going to strip down to my underwear put all my weapons in a box and they're going to be dicks to me because I didn't bring Veronica because she's kind of dead to be honest and now I need to do the first mission for them before they'll actually let me leave Though, weirdly, he like, comes in multiple phases. Like, they say, hey, strip so you can speak to us. Then he speaks to God. He says, so, now we speak to me, you're going to speak to the Elder. And I don't know why it happens in these multiple stages, but it does. And, yeah, I was just exploring. Uh, it, it's fine. It, it's cool. So he's going to give me a mission. He just wants me to uh, deal with an NCR Ranger. I can take care of the Ranger. No trouble whatsoever. They're going to be spying on me to see how I do it. I'm going to do it all clever like it's absolutely fine. And I'm also wearing a bomb collar just for funsies. And, yeah, my equipment is right here. So, yes, all I need to do is deal with this guy. So, yeah, there's an NCR Ranger. It's very easy to have not really done this because, yeah, uh, very often, like, you know, people come with Veronica. Uh, his deal is he's made a little base. He's got, like, you know, and you can, I think you can speech check him to lie to him. But he has a radio. And without a radio, he is in a little bit of trouble because uh, he wants to communicate back with the NCR. So I'm pretty sure you can just smash the radio. And as long as he doesn't see you do it, you're fine. So you just need to find this guy uh, and then smash his radio. I think, like... During the day, he's outside, and at night, he's in his thing, I think. Is that where he is? Yeah, okay, so right now, he's over He's over there. So now, I think I could go to the bunker, because he's out there, and he's keeping an eye on the NCRCF over on the outcrop. That means now would be a good time to get into his bunker and sabotage his equipment, because he's not there right now. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're just gonna, I'm pretty sure it's the one that's closest to the gateway. So now he's over here, or rather he's behind me, so now this area is alone. And yeah, this is where he is settled. I am hidden. Activate the radio. Smash it. Not a, not a check. Job done. So it is now destroyed violently. It can't possibly be repaired. And there we go. I don't know if we need to actually speak to him. Uh, in fact, I just kind of assume that he's going to go now. He doesn't have a radio anymore. Uh, I don't know. It's a bit of an odd thing to assume, but... Okay, sure. No one else here. That door is hmm, hard locked. I don't even know what's beyond that. Um, so that's fascinating. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's that. And I don't even need to speak to the lad. I can just go now. Because uh, without radio, he'll abandon the uh, the situation. Apparently, uh, I feel like I should have spoken to him first, or like you know checked in with him and said, "Hey, just was wondering, some dick smashed your radio." I believe it. Uh, but no, apparently that's that's good enough. And it's a very sophisticated, easy way of dealing with the situation. Doesn't need a single speech check. And that's it. We're done. Uh, meaning now he'll take the collar off me. He trusts me to give me a bigger, more complicated job. And I can just naff off uh, and never speak to them again if I don't want to. Because the brother quest is really long and complicated. It doesn't even give you that much good stuff. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Julio who gave us, uh, who has been a member for 20 months. Sorry. Uh, this is somewhat confusing having the new uh, member super show. I mean, it's great yes. that they're there. Uh, you know. Ah, yes, you're bit. dealing with all of them again. Yeah. Were we able to verify whether what it was was a know. one per member per stream or one per member per time period or? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm not quite I sure, see. but uh, Julio says, uh, Happy birthday, John. Be nice to Claire, Tabby, Since and the mods. He's always Claire. nice to Tabby. Mm hmm. Tabby's a good egg. She's the best. And you would know because you're an expert egg box. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael gave us $10 uh, dollars and uh, says, uh, good luck, Claire. Because he wants me to say happy birthday in Russian. Yay, go, Claire, go. I mean, there is thankfully a transliteration. Uh, but, I mean, it's probably going to be 
Anyway, um, it's, it's, there's a single S, that's not a word. Uh-huh. I mean, you know, I know there's single word, single letter words in both of Just my go languages. For a s it's fine. But anyway. Just go for a S or a S, it's fine. S dnem rozdenia? Dnem rozdenia. Excellent. I see that's happy birthday in Russian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, definitely not one spice stream, uh, says Jake. Uh, I don't have one this time around. Uh, Sir Roderick says, seems to be uh, a time period since I never got an option for this stream. Okay. Um, mm, Moira says, I've been able to do two so far over two streams, so one per member per stream. Interesting. But some other people haven't, so maybe Myra's just accidentally just right now happened to have passed the milestone. Let's see, Myra. Mm, that's not. Yep, that's that's not her username. <laughs> that's just her name. Go with the coffee. Yeah, yeah. No, I know that. So I was wondering why it wasn't finding it. And that okay. was why. So I need to find my way around to Red Rock. This area has been cleared because I cleared months. it earlier because that's part of driving a fine. Then if I just, yeah, there's there's geckos and stuff over here, but if I just kind of thread the needle a bit between them, we should be all right. Then I can just avoid Violet and the dogs on this side. And then, yeah, I should just be able ah. to go straight through here. Pete Hopefully. says, very close. Well done, Claire. And Maya, uh, um, Maya Myra says, I'm just awesome. Uh-huh. Which makes sense. Yeah, my mum to give you pronunciation lessons. I'm sorry? Did you get my mother to give you pronunciation lessons? In what? Russian. Oh, I didn't know your mum spoke Russian. She studied Russian and she spent some time there. Ah. Well, so did my brother. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously, you know, she was actually um, a double agent during yeah, the Cold yeah, War. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 there, yeah. There are various things we can't say, combination of numbers and the word freight car. It, it kind of sends her into a bit of a kill frenzy. Um, so we just we, we stopped. I mean, it was funny at first, but then there was the trouble with that. We, we don't do it anymore. Are you quite done? Yeah. Oh, we're in caution. No, just... Dub Squad, I know about the single word thing, the single letter words in, in French and English. I was literally pointing it out. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, we have a message from uh, the, meme ch uh, the meme chef Gabriel Lincoln. Mm -hmm. uh, who gave us $5 and says, Happy, happy birthday, John. Uh, good day to you, Claire. Uh, can we, by chance, get the horrid birthday song Jordan Cross gets in Hitman Bangkok? Uh-huh. Uh, I think it's... it's I can't remember the exact lyrics, but it's... I assume it's because they... Maybe they, it was either a joke or they didn't want to pay for happy birthday. It I think happy like, birthday is out of copyright now. When I think was it was, it was something Bangkok? like it was... Uh, it, it's... It's your birthday, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. I think it was something like that, but I can't remember what the actual... I, I can't remember what the actual lyrics were. It was, it was a da 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 But I can't remember what the actual lyrics they, that they were, were given for it were, I'm afraid. And I definitely can't use the Great Khan Armoury. I'm not, I'm probably going to be popular around here. I kind of did lead a NCR charge against the, um against the Khans, and I murdered one of their little sub-leaders. So I, I can see how I'm not going to be a popular lad uh, around these parts. Damn it, Claire. Oh, I'm still naked. I should put my armor back on. I always forget to do that. What are you saying? Yes, you do. It's it's good that I, I check. You do in YOLO. You're always <laughs> forgetting to put your proper armor back on, and then you get... <sighs> you made it weird. You made it weird. You just accused me of wandering around with my... But with my sausage and spuds out. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I mean, you know. Like every day Sunday lunch and I'm on the menu. Dear oh flipper dear Claire. Don't make me make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I think we just need to have a quick chat with... Anyone here? I think the leader would 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 do it, uh, and then we'll have spoken to everybody. 
So the cub enters the Yep, there's there's Papa Khan. Tell me about your people. Give me the short version. Oh dear. And there we go. And then they then they were murdered. Let's talk about something else. Bye! I'm done with you now. So long, loser. Right, there we go. So that's that's all that taken care of. That should be all of them. So that's side bets. Uh yeah, so I could like try and find out more. But other than that, we are now good to return to the strip. And we can now... Yeah, we've killed House. So we can now plug Yes Man straight in. Uh, and on top of that, we can... Uh, yeah, tell him side bets is done. Uh, so that is looking really, really damn good, actually. Uh, I think he's not going to be downstairs. I think we actually need to go upstairs in the um, into the tops. Sometimes he's waiting by the door. I, I've never been sure what does or doesn't trigger him to be waiting outside by the door. Because uh, sometimes I've seen him there. And sometimes I've seen him upstairs. And it's possibly just New Vegas being New Vegas and just like breaking a bed. <laughs> it might be completely wildly inconsistent. Uh, but I've never been 100% sure precisely what does or doesn't uh, trigger that to happen. So round over to here. And today he is going to be... Not by the door. Today, he's going to be upstairs. And I don't know how you make him be downstairs. It just... It just does. So, we'll just nip upstairs and uh, deal with him. But yeah, once you've done the actual... Once you've done, like, the main business and you've assassinated Betty... They don't bother asking for your guns when you come in anymore. <laughs> they kind of don't dare. They just let you wander around with guns. I mean, they feel like at that point, given you've already assassinated the leader of the chairman. You know what? That's, that's fair. Maybe we don't ask that person for a gun. Maybe they can carry whatever the hell they want wherever they want. Say okay. Mm. Claire. Uh, let's see. Shout out to uh, Buster Bear who gave us $5 and says, uh, My boyfriend asked me to hold the ladder to clean the gutters. Uh, cut to me on the roof sweeping debris and trimming tree. Still, house is better than apartment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There's a lot of weeds in our garden. Yeah, weeds are you a know? thing. They're very tall. Mm -hmm. they, you know, I was just... I, it, there was too much to do at first, but it's summer and they've grown and now they look like Triffids and I'm a little bit concerned. Yeah, once it gets to winter, it'll be better. Things just stop growing in the winter. Grass doesn't need mowing or anything. It's great. Well, yeah, and also, like, I think in the winter, we'll have a bit of time to actually like, clean up all the... You know, all the, the planters and, and stuff, yeah. like, and maybe if I want to make more, if I want to make more, like, planters or establish more raised beds or whatever for veggies. Yeah. Uh, that'd be, that'd work. Um, so, you know, um, yeah. That, that'll be, that'll be fine, I think. But for now, we're just doing the, the lawn and trying, we're just doing the, a bit of mowing and trying to... I maybe get a bit on top of the weeds, but there's yeah. just so many. And like, you know, I am such a gardening noob. Like, I like it, but I don't know what I'm doing. So. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Hi. This is shout out uh, to Thud, who uh, gave us five dollars. No, and says, uh, any thoughts on Fallout 1 or Fallout 2? Yolo, thanks for the amazing The thing is, it's way more based on chance because, like, in Fallout 1 in particular, eventually you have to go and approach the, um, you have to go and approach the base. Um, and if you run into something, you know, like a super mutant patrol that's got guns, uh, you are almost certainly going to, you know, take a large amount of damage. And if you get lucky, you might not. Like, there's a huge amount of absolute sheer chance in old Fallout because you might get no encounters, or you might get good encounters, or you might get, like, evil encounters. And it's, there's no real way to tip that balance or anything. Actually, in Fallout 2, there is a little bit, because Fallout 2, you can skip more encounters. Then Fallout 1. and Fallout 1, I think it's easier to get completely screwed over. Fallout 2 is probably more doable, but ugh, I don't know about that. Mm, dear. Anyway, I know I now basically can tell uh, Yes Man that uh, everyone can be completely cocking ignored and no one needs to be taken care of. And there we go. All the tribes have been sorted out. So now, yes, I need to visit Hoover Dam, etc, etc. And I can go and do... 
uh, that. So they'll let me, uh, they'll help pro me protect uh, that laddie. So yeah, if you're uh, hated by the NCR, you can just skip this quest. You just say, well, the NCR aren't going to let me. And you can say, oh, well, it's fine. He's just going to die then, I guess. Uh, so yes, now I've got two more things to do. Need to sort out that. And yeah, speech is 100. Guns will put at 99. Yes. Dear, I flip it, dear. Good. Um, and then... Now, what else even needs to be? I mean, my sneak was appalling previously. Uh, that's certainly true. I'll try and get sneak uh, up at least a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, Roderick points out that, uh, good luck for Fallout 2 with that brutal tutorial trail. Uh... Yeah, you wrote trail, but did you mean trial? I think the temple you. Of trials? I think you'd yeah. need to. Yeah, I think you'd need to absolutely. If yeah, you'd have no choice but to build a character basically who was really solid at melee. Um, yeah, that's a good Smash. point. Smash. Interesting. Smash. Because you can't, you can't just like fall back firing like you can. Uh, actually, in offense, if you had an, if you had ag agility turn, maybe you could let a creature come up to you, you could stab it, then spend the rest of your action points just walking away, and then it just walks up to you and runs out of action points, and you stab it, then walk away. You might still be able to do it. Mm -hmm. It might be able to do it just by basically kite melee kiting all your enemies. It might it would be really slow and annoying, but I suspect it could be done. Uh, yeah, shout out to Alana, who gave us £10. And said, um, uh, Elana says, uh, three months ago, my essay on Nostos in Lonesome Road was published. Three months time until I'll find out if I pass my masters or not. 300 years ago, John was born. Time is weird. <laughs> Happy birthday. How are you both? And how is Tabby? Dear, rude. Very rude. Dear Maybe it's dear. because they've emailed you their essay on Nostos and Lonesome Run and you haven't read it yet. I'm busy. I know you are. <laughs> we, we, make, we, we, put a lot of, we make a lot of videos. We make so many videos. I know, and they didn't say anything about that. I'm just the one, like, being a troll. You monster. A lot of didn't do anything wrong. Um, but yes, we are, we are doing good. We are... I mean, I hope you're having a good birthday. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, we've got uh, we've got some more presents yet to open. We should really do your live stream presents, by the way. I think we should. Yeah, after um, as soon as I think we should. Yeah, have a little have a little break momentarily. We can have a little midstream pause. Then we can do the presents opening. We can do the presents opening, and we can wrap up this dumb run if that's even possible. Um, yes. Uh, and Tabby's great, and uh, Elana says, love you both. Aww. Thank you, Elana. Uh, let's see, we have uh, we have a certain amount of catch-up to do. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> so go, 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 go. Uh, Shout-out to Daniel, who gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. I can't stay for the stream because I'm going to go get my marriage license today, despite your objection in the Metroid live stream. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to offer a rule suggestion. You can only sneak once. Oh, dear. We're not doing that. Yeah, I just cheated right sneak. there, live in front of you. Dear, I flip a dear. Well, it's fine, because A, they said that they're not going to be here. Mm -hmm. And also, this message was a long time ago. <laughs> Okay. Um Okay. We got ourselves. I genuinely can't remember the easiest non-check way to deal with uh, the Ranger Grant situation and uh you know it when it happens. So, okay, well they he's very they're very happy. Uh questions uh, have weapons don't think crazy will back you up. Yeah, security uh, yeah, uh, the rangers here. That's all absolutely fine. Snipers and sharpshooters. Uh, not down critical locations. Absolutely fine. I'm going to need access everywhere. Okay, yeah. Go through these details because it will get you bits and pieces. And any leads? No solid leads. I think I, I think I can speak to the guy. I think I can speak to the guy who tries to bomb the vertebrae. But no offense, if I fail, it doesn't really matter. So, get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. So, yeah, at this point, we just fade out. So, in the morning, we are absolutely fine. I can do an initial clearance if I want to. I think I can... If I get the dog... If I borrow the dog from the guy downstairs... 
I can. Oh dear. Uh, everything's going to everything's going to be fine. Yeah, he doesn't have anything else for me. Let's get this show on the road. Going to last minute security sweeps. Uh, do it now. Once you already meet me outside. Okay. I think there is. Yeah, you can investigate the area for clues. I think this area is locked, isn't it? No, the supply closet is an open area, and there is blood. Examine. That's a perception check. I can't do a perception six. Do you know anything else about it? Yeah, well, it's blood, isn't it? So, yes, I, um, I, I failed that check anyway, so that's all absolutely fine. I don't have perception six. Um, so, yes, there is an engineer who has been murdered and replaced. If I have, yes, this guy. Can I borrow your dog? And he's a smart dog. Could I borrow him? Don't know about that. Come on, it's just a dog. Wow. You know what? Are you best... going to murder it? Uh, no, I, I, he, the dog's useful for sniffing out the uh, Legion spies. Unfortunately, uh, no. I think you need to have animal friend, uh, because then you are a good dog person. So I found blood, I found clear sign of trouble. I think if I go up to the top... Oh no, oh shit, is it... I'm clear to go on through up to the top here. This is all fine up here. I think I need to find... Oh, dear. Oh, I can't remember how this goes. Uh, but no, if, I just, if the president dies, the gun doesn't matter. Uh, it's fine. So, yeah. I have. I found, I found a massive smear of blood, but I don't consider that noteworthy. So the vertebrate's coming in now. He's going to go down over there. There's going to be... I could go and intercept the sniper. But if I intercept the sniper, that means I need to actually fight the sniper, which I'd rather not do. So the president comes in via Vertibird. I am allowed up on the thing. I assume I'm allowed up on the thing even when he's arriving, right? This guy is the problem. If I can... Yeah, basically, I'm wearing armor, right? Yeah, if I can get this guy... Do you mind... I need to I need to basically provoke this guy into attacking me, then I can attack back and then everything's fine. So the president's gonna get out of the first bird. Yeah, that's fine. Then this guy's going to He's gonna bomb it. Excuse me. This guy's about to plant a bomb. And I can't stop him. Yeah. Hello. He's about to do it. I think he's done it right there. And now, repair or explosive 50 or higher. Uh-oh. Whoops. I don't have repair or explosives 50 or higher. Um, You can't tell the difference between a bomb and the actual part of the vertebrate. Your search doesn't find anything. Do you mind? Okay, we have to go to plan B because I can't detect the bomb. Though the bomb's already been planted, which is a problem. So the sniper's are probably already in position. I need to go and intercept the sniper. Then the president will be evacuated. But he'll be evacuated into a bombed vertebrate. So, uh, yep, there we go. That guy's now that guy's now dead. There's, there's, now, there's now a cop. So the, snipe, the Legion sniper is now in place. I now need to... Yes. I, I can stop the sniper, possibly. But I can't. The sniper was killed not long ago. Looks to be the sniper stationed at the top of this tower. Right, just, just nip up top. And then... Shouldn't have fixed that submachine gun, huh? What are you doing up here? Hi, hi up there. There's a dead ranger downstairs. Uh, it's, it's really a problem. Uh, come on, let's let's go. Let's radio it in. Actually, check it in first before radio it in. No, radio it in first. Now he's going to attack me, but he's got a sniper rifle, which could potentially be a bit of a problem, because uh, I've got nothing. Uh, no! Get out of his hands if at all possible. Yeah, there you go. Gun, 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 gun. Get, get the gun. Get the gun. Get the get, Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick, pick, pick the side rifle. Right. Now run downstairs. Now ignore him because now he's only got a knife. Uh, so now I need to go and tell Grad. So the sniper now doesn't have a sniper rifle because I shot the sniper rifle out of his hands. And now he's just stuck on top of that tower with no gun. Ooh, could you have pickpocketed a detonator of the engineer? That's possible, actually. That might still be the solution. Are you the engineer? You might be the engineer. Redundant failsafe detonator. The problem is if I pickpocket this guy. Okay, if I kill this guy, 
If I kill this guy, does that does does everyone back me up? Because if so, I've just declared war on the end. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, this needs to be dumped, by the way. That needs to be dumped. Right, I'm gonna open fire on this guy during the president's speech. Yeah. Okay, the NCR didn't appreciate that. Yeah, no, I see that. The NCR didn't appreciate that. Although, when oh, they... You already pickpocketed anyway. Yeah, but I'm going to be a hero in death. Because, yeah, like, they're going to... When they search his body, they're going to find the redundant detonator. <laughs> okay. Um, I need the president evacuated. Oh, look, I've literally... What do you mean, goodbye? I found an assassin! He doesn't have a rifle anymore, because I've got it! It won't matter if you or if you haven't if you do not expose the bomb. But, but, okay, hang on, hang on. What if I take? What if I use the sniper rifle I just picked up? The sniper rifle has zero condition, so the sniper now has no sniper rifle. Can he still assassinate the president if he doesn't have a rifle? Oh God, this is right. Get get a laser rifle out. Get a laser rifle. Hi. Yes, it's me again. And now I'm just going to shoot this guy because he doesn't. Now he's only got. A, now he's only got a knife, and now he's now he's not in great shape. And now he's now he gets out. He tries Kill. to get the knife again. This needs to be dropped. He's, he's coming at me with a knife. Stop! Stop interfering with that. That needs to be dropped. Right. Go over to something else. Uh, different nine millimeter machine gun. And no oi! No, you don't, buddy. No, you don't. Yay! I've done that. Okay. I need the president evacuated. He had he had the ammo, but he didn't have any of the rest of any of the rest of it. Okay, report to Ranger Grant. The guy needs to be dead. There's a sniper. That's bad. But like, yeah, sweep the area. I'm also counting the president's speech. We have a security team. No, don't do that yet because there's still a bomb and I haven't found the bomb yet. Okay, this is, um, the president's about to be evacuated. But there's a bomb on the vertebrate and someone's holding a redundant failsafe uh, detonator. Which I think I need to get out of his hand. I need to get out of his inventory now. Because uh, otherwise the president will explode. Um, but if I if I try and if I try and steal it, I just stole it, and I got see and I was detected at the time. Okay, so there's no longer a detonator. Can I use the detonator? I've managed to salvage this. Hello. Okay, so now this. Oh, someone was just shot. Wait, who was? Who fired? The, the sniper was dead, and that guy and the other guy was an engineer. Well, the president's being evacuated, and there is a bomb on the vertebrate, but there's no detonator for it. Unless it automatically detonates. Um, I hope not. I think I've saved the well, president anyway. Have you? Because the thing is called a redundant detonator, meaning it sounds like it's like a just in case safety thing. Well, let's find out. Mm -hmm. he, he might be about to explode. He hasn't exploded yet. I think he's fine. Job cocking done. There we go. The president's fine. Uh, there's still a Legion spy literally around here. And someone blew the head off a ranger. I don't know who or how, to be honest. But it, it happened. So that's nice. Everything turned out to be under control, though. It's all, all completely, completely as it should have been. There we go. Everything, everyone. Who was the guy that got? Oh, it was this guy. It was the engineer. He came with the president with a knife. Okay, and he managed to take down an NCR ranger with a knife. Still, that means I get a uh, yeah, yeah, uh, nice rifle of his corpse. I'll take that. Yeah, that's how he dies. If he's redundant, if he's, he loses the detonator, he just goes to the president. Maybe he goes to the president with a knife anyway, and then he gets uh... killed, and then the bomb doesn't go off regardless. Maybe it would have sorted itself out anyway. I honestly don't know. Well, John, you pickpocketed twice, and you... No, oh, no! You failed to drop a 10mm submachine gun and a 9mm as well. They're right, we have to redo it. I can't pickpocket this guy. So, the president's just going to be got out on the vertebrate, and he might be about to explode. The only solution is if... Okay, yeah, that guy just runs forward anyway and gets himself shot. So, in which case, I don't think I need to. Because, you know, now, now there's the detonator. So, I didn't need to pickpocket it. Because he just runs forward like an idiot. But, 
In which, I mean, that's a really bad move by him. He could have just stayed in the crowd, pushed the button the moment the president was in the voter button, and he would have won. But he's decided to lunge at the president with a knife when he already had a bomb on the presidential voter bird. So that was... That yeah. was a decision he made. And it's weird that the, um... It's weird that the... Um, it's called redundant, even though... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, uh, yeah. There we go. So I did... No, no pickpocketing, just one pickpocket job done. Nice and simple. The, 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 the job is completed. No trouble whatsoever. So in which case, yes, it's just an El Dorado. Uh, uh, anyway. Yes. Uh, shout out to uh, Luden, M. Luden, who uh, gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday. Mine was on the 13th. Friday the 13th. Birthdays are the Ooh, best. Spooky uh, birthday. I can't wait for uh, Mass Effect 2. Seeing all of your follow-up and Mass Effect stuff, please keep it up. Will do, will do. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, although, you, weren't you saying that you might not do two because we've already done it? Two, two might be done as like a re as like an abbreviated consequences series that focuses on the DLC I've never put on the channel before. In particular, Arrival. Hmm. I think is the best way to uh, to do that. All right, time for everyone's favourite achievement in the game. The achievement, find uh, Vault 11. You do it oh. by finding Vault 11. Find Vault 11, find Vault 11, and I found mm. Vault 11. <laughs> a few people are saying... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! What? No, I haven't annoyed the Legion that much! That's... that... no! Uh-oh. That was a Legion hit squad. I hadn't read. I didn't realise I didn't annoy the Legion quite that much. Um... Okay, I'm going to need to work around them. I'm going to have to find a way. I might be able to just go over the cliffs to just work around them. Because otherwise that's going to be a problem. If I could lead them into the NCR, that would be hilarious. Cla! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Ro, who uh, gave us uh, £4.50 and says, Happy birthday, John. I hope you have a good day. How's you, Claire and Tabby? Uh, thank you for your amazing content. It really makes me smile. Oh, that's very sweet. Yes, and we're doing great. Though I think, yeah, we're going to need a break for maybe Jaffa Cakes or something. We'll have a little break, then uh, we'll do presents opening, then we'll do the finale of the stream at some point. And this like, is completely I, a massive I, invisible wall, isn't it? I need, to ha I need to stretch my legs a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. You can't, yeah. <laughs> Foil's plan to kill the president asks, Where's the Legion annoyed with me? Okay, so I killed some Legion people during that process. Oh, this is just Invisible Wall Central. There's 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 a lot of Invisible Wall. Oh, this is the this is so much Invisible Wall. Oh no, this is the most Invisible Wall. Oh, there's so much Invisible Wall. There's no way to bypass this area and just get up top. Oh no, that's a problem. Okay, how are we gonna bypass the Legion? Cause I I can't fight the Legion hit squad. And I can't go over the cliff, because this is just 100%. Oh, dear. Hmm. Welly, welly, welly. Uh, I physically can't finish the Yes Men ending until I've uh, installed that. There, apparently. I didn't even know there was a Legion spawn point right there. But they're now intercepting me as I try and lay the final chip that I need. To complete that. How are we going to do that then? Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to placeholder name engaged. Who gave us $20. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. Many thanks to you and Claire for all the years of enjoyment. I'm looking forward to more years of puns. Making it weird. Claire being right. Yay, make it weird. Love and that. teaching kids to say cocking. <laughs> All hail Tabby the Great. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and the next one is, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the next one is from Chopstick Girl, who uh, gave us five dollars. And um, this one's uh, this one's in Chinese. I'm not sure which uh, which uh, you know um, which 
specific language because they didn't say. But Can you uh, even read the the alphabet? Well, they put a transliteration. Oh, good. I absolutely cannot read. Uh, I mean, I don't even know if it's like, you know, I don't even know what the. Well, this is why is we bought the mega nuke. And go. Okay, the mega nuke was too mega. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I mean, this this is I mean, this could be what the mega nuke is for. The mega nuke could well be for just annihilating the legion. All right. So, um, speaking of annihilating, uh, <laughs> let me murder uh, some some. Oh, there's ant there's ants on the side over there. Well, we're just gonna have to make do. Well, I'm just telling you in case you haven't seen him. Um, Chopstick Girl says this will not be correct phonetically, uh, but it will help you pronounce it better. Pronounce it at all! Because I cannot read those characters. Um, she actually took it! One of them took it and lived! Oh no! How did you survive this? I just nuked you! I put a nuke on top of you! You were nuked! Nuked! Use the best guns I've got. Ow! Dick. He's so almost... Dead! Nope, well that's that done. Oh no! Nope! Just, just stop it! Just dump, dump the thing! Dump the thing! Dump the thing! He's so almost dead, we've almost got him! Go! We got him! We've eliminated the Legion Head Squad! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that's a bunch of guns for me, boyos. <laughs> Amazing, I'll be having that helmet too. So, oh, this is this is good shit. I already ate maize. Um, okay, can't have maize. That's that's true. Yeah. That's so true. anyway, um, as I was saying, Chopstick Girl gave us five dollars, uh, and uh, says. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, there's a transliteration, so it will not be correct phonetically, but it will help you pronounce it. Uh, um, I have no idea. Um, Go, so Clay, try. Yuni Shang Shukwila. I mean, I, you know, I don't even know how each of these single like letters or sounds would be pronounced. Like, I have no idea. You know, when I do well, it's on on specific. You know, when I do when I do well at pronouncing Russian, it's because I have an idea what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I basically just because of like just because I've not, you know, I've not heard um, uh, whether it's it's Mandarin or another. Uh, uh, Chinese language like I've not heard that spoken when I was a kid like I cannot even hear the difference between tones I can't I can't hear how it's supposed to be pronounced so I'm not going to be able to do it um, you know mm. but yes of course they are saying happy birthday yes uh, so yes and apparently it's pretty close Jay. well done pretty, pretty close, close to someone oh, okay. good job <laughs> all right well <laughs> I felt like I was being offensive somehow, but I'm glad it was pretty close. Anyway, uh, shout out to JJ who gave us $20 and says, we're all proud of you two and uh, your worth to us cannot be overstated. Except Okay, to now say I'm being a bit sharp. Now I'm being a little bit sharp, but if I have really weak weapons, so I'm just going to run now. And it's going to be fine. Okay, it's not. It's, it's it's probably going to be fine. As I get further away, they'll get less accurate. Uh, okay. So, uh, Myra, who uh, Myra, who can speak Mandarin, uh, uh, was uh, was saying it is um, it is actually, yeah, it is actually Mandarin because I showed her the characters. Uh, Jenny says I can't super chat, but happy birthday to John. Yay! Happy birthday. And, uh, is that Korean? It look. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I be, you're loving this trend. I absolutely. Mm -hmm. But like, um, they Oof. put a transliteration. Uh, Seng Il Chuk Ha Hamnida. 
but like I'm I mean I think that's Korean script but I'm not sure mm -hmm. um, let's see um, JJ gave us twenty dollars and said something real sweet that you interrupted oh okay uh, we're all proud of you two and your worth to us cannot be overstated oh except to say give me more toilet daddy <laughs> Which is a thing you said apparently. So, hmm. Well done, John. Yes, twice in uh, fact. Yeah, well, we nuked the hit squad and then oh, just outrun the NCR. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Uh, Darius gave us uh, Darius uh, Fala Vala gave us a hundred uh, Danish krona and says happy birthday I like your Fallout series a lot oh I enjoy it too uh, yes indeed uh, HSN gave us 400 uh, rupees and says hello John and Claire I've been watching for almost seven years now thank you for all the entertainment and for teaching me how to speak better English John, I literally have an English accent because of you now. Oh, sweet. I think oh, you, Matt, you, like I... you spent years with just occasionally a tiny bit of an American twang to the American TV shows you watched. And podcasts. I listened to a lot of US podcasts. And yeah. also, uh, there was a certain audiobook of the book that shall not be named that I had the American version of. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, and I listened to that on repeat. So, you know, it was... Um, yeah. Welcome to the new Vegas. Ma yeah, I mean, I that one, that you one, your... that one feels really meaningful to me because I did learn English from listening to a lot of content. So mm -hmm. you know, um, well, and also school, but you know. <laughs> yes. Ryan uh, gave us five dollars and says, uh, "Sing happy birthday to yourself as American John." <laughs> Happy birthday to me! You always go Taya. Tao Yao. Yeah, no, it's, 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 I don't understand why I. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. um, Angus says, Was it Twilight? It's sweet that you think I'm that young, but mm -hmm. it was not. Um, it was not. Mm -hmm. Um,. But yes, trans rights. Yeah. Just, just yeah, put it out, put it out there. Um, Ryan also says love to Claire Tabby and Oliver Swanick. Oh, good old Oliver Swanick. <laughs> that's that's a good point. I should buy more nukes. Uh, wait, no, no, I'm, I shouldn't because I've got to dump the fat man. That fat man needs to go. Uh, I could buy. No, I can't buy another one. Uh, which is a shame because it would have been useful, and I don't have that many guns that are actually good. But the people who die during the final battle, given I'm on neither side, so I can just use all of their guns. It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, right? Oh shit! I don't know if the final battle can even be done like this. I'm gonna need to be constantly picking up guns to use. <laughs> but if I can just make it to Lanius, then I've not speech checked, so I can speech check Lanius. All right, we've saved the speech check. For Lanius, but I, I, I would say I think we need to take a little break. I think we need to take a little break here so we can top up food and water and gather the prezzies, and we're gonna do the, the little. Prezzies birth have been gathered. Huh? They're like here. Oh sweet, Claire's one step ahead of the game here. We need to get some. Yes, we need to have a very brief break. So I'm just gonna drop a save because the game's gonna crash. Uh, the game will 100% crash the moment I make it not the the front the front thing. Well, well, welcome to Fallout New Vegas where that that happens a, a lot. So the only way to get out of the game is actually to like, oh, there's like to go to task manager and that just crashes the game. Game's now crashed. Doesn't work anymore. Ooh. <laughs> Myra has sent us, uh, Myra has sent us a song which uh, is apparently singing happy birthday in many languages. Oh, sweet. There's going to be it. Oh, so Myra, thank you. So there's going to be, it's still to come, opening of presents, song, the big musical number for the evening. Uh, and the finale of the run. Okay, let me just actually read uh, one super chat for somebody who needs to go to bed. Sure. Uh, shout out to Mally who... Uh, let me find... Oh, but I need to find it first. I'm doing great. I'm doing so great. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm doing so, so great. Mali gave us 10 pounds and says, happy birthday, John. I've never been on your stream before, but I had the chance to today. Also, I just wanted to say um, your content is second to none. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, and Oxford is the best city. Yay! Good call. Excellent. Like London. Would you like to present me with presents? I would like to present you with presents. All right. Especially, do you want to start with the one that you've been hoping as the ultimate present that you said yes. I had to open on stream? Yes. I will have to say, I think we're going to have to not do pet pictures because we have five plus pages of super chats going on right now. You want to read that one? Uh huh. Thank you very much to Rocket Boy, formerly known as E9S38B38, who just gave us a hundred US dollars and happy birthday from an American John. I turned 50 myself last week. Am I the oldest one here? Have a great day. Thank you very much, Rocket Boy, formerly known as E numbers letters. Okay. Hey, thank you, Rocket Boy, and happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, All right, this is, your, this is your silly present. Claire has la is, uh... labeled this present with like a special red ribbon, so I knew this. This is like the one that apparently has to be opened on stream. Apparently. Oh, it's, there's the smell. There's a smell emerging from it. It's a nice smell. <laughs> what the fl <laughs> am I looking at? It's, it's an egg box. It's an egg box of it's an egg box of bath products, and it smells quite strongly of I don't know I don't know what flavour it is, but it's in an egg box. It's bath bombs in an egg box. You see how I had to pick it up. <coughs> it's it's straight... when I got the squid, I had to pick it up. That properly. What does that smell like to you? I mean, it smells like a Lush, but it didn't come from Lush. Um, Clara's got me an egg box full of full of bath bombs. Bath fizzers. Normally they say what Sorry, bath about. fizzers. Bath bombs might might be a copyright I term. Believe, I believe that's a Lush thing as well. I believe well, Lush, yeah. Lush owned that. So mm. Clara's got me an egg box full of alien eggs that are actually... Uh, alien eggs, but they're actually bath eggs. And, 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 and they go fizz. Yeah, literally it just says on it... One size. <laughs> One size. Well, it just says that, and presumably. And well, the egg, the eggs are all of equal size. That's true. Yeah, it doesn't say actually like what the fragrance is or anything. It looks like they have. A, this is actually a, a proper egg box made of the right material and everything. Is that they just yeah, went yeah, to an egg box manufacturer and said, send, send us some egg boxes. Oh, but eggs I'm assuming no. so. I'm assuming so. Yeah. Yeah. So I just thought it was really cute. That's very on brand. Uh, that's why that's I high levels of brand. That's you know, that's why I thought that. Needed Can we store it in a different room during the stream so the smell isn't getting up my nose during the stream? Yeah, of course. Excellent. Um, Myra, it's not actually a Lush product. Um, it's just, it's from it's from a novelty store. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's not so you know. Um. If it was uh, if it was a left product, I probably would know what it is because a they put that on the label and we have buy a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So okay, I'm going to present. This is Claire got me a bunch of little presents by the way. This is what we're doing. So we're going to, we're going to little present number two. Little present number two here. It appears to be food based. It is. It is some lovely salted caramel from Hotel Chocolat. So I've got a little salted caramel snack mm -hmm. if I require a snack. Yes, we also have uh, some, um, we also have a uh, uh, Jaffa cake. Sorry, words are hard. Yes, bring us the odd Jaffa cake. Yay. We should definitely have a Jaffa cake. And Tabs is around too. We, we might get, we might get another, we might get another like, you know, symphony from Tabs. Yes, that's, that's entirely possible. So we got some lovely little, in fact, everything's egg themed. Like the little salted caramel things that are, they don't, don't say eggs on them, but they are egg shaped. So everything is distinctly like, you know, on eggy brands. That's, that's a def. That is not on purpose. That, Claire said that, who could hear that, Claire just confirmed that was not on purpose. But I, I'm now expecting all the presents to be egg themed. All of them. I think there's more presents. Claire said all the presents were here. I don't, I don't see. I don't. I don't see other presents. But I, I know there were other presents. It was right next to the, you know, the John Must Tiger, where because we put all the presents next to the John Must Tiger, uh, you know, where they should naturally, uh, naturally be. Yes. 
Oh, can I try to summon the tabs as well? There is also tabby summoning going on. We might be able to get another she's big. On her cushion. Oh, she's, she's on her cushion. She's she ain't moving. Up. She ain't moving. All right, I'm having. A... I just want one jaffa cake to keep me going. Oh, okay. I need all the jaffa cakes. I just, I just need like one or two jaffa cakes. We're gonna we're gonna have di we're not gonna have dinner yet. We're gonna have dinner after this. We're gonna have very late lunch this time. Yeah, but I'm very hungry. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Mm. Uh, let's see. Two jaffa cakes. That'll do. That would be very nice. Mm. Mm. Just a second. Let me find there's somebody else who uh, has to leave. Um, yeah, shout out to Saul, uh, who gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. It's kind of strange because it's also my birthday and I'm about to go out for dinner. I just wanted to say happy birthday. Hey, happy uh -huh. birthday. Happy birthday, and uh, I'm sorry that you. Uh, I'm sorry that you got yourself late for dinner to wait for the super chat to be read out. Oh no! I'm very sorry. Ugh. Okay, I definitely need to top up my water though. Oh yeah. Ugh. Oh yeah. But feel free, feel free to yell after me. I, I will hear you. Okay. Don't get me right here. I'm still here. I'm trying to eat a jaffa cake. I'm still here. Okay. Now I have stuff all over my desk and I'm trying to eat a Jaffa cake. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let's see. Mm. Uh. <laughs> I can hear you too! <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to like read people's super chats when you're like super far away and you can't react properly. That's not nice. Oh, oh God! This way. It's like I'm a ghost. It's like there's mm -hmm. a message from beyond the dead. There's like you know far away echoey John. Ooh. Yeah, but like we don't want to think about you being dead. That's just sad. Mhm. Mm oh, oh there we go. I'm back. I'm back now. Okay. Well, they're saying I'm doing well, so. Oh well done. Thanks for being kind, you guys. Mm. Well, okay. <laughs> mm. They are very good. Mm. Um, Fled gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for all the content. You make awesome stuff and it's always a pleasure to watch to another year more. Hmm. Um, were there more presents, by the way? Because I swear there were more presents on the side than what I've opened. Yes, there, there is like the, the, I guess the main, like, you know. But did you want that one not on stream? Was that why you didn't bring it? You can open it if you want. It's just a bit. It's less exciting. Yeah. Okay. Like, we've we've done the exciting stream it's presents. Thing, it's a thing that you ask for, but it's more of a practical thing. Okay. We've <laughs> done we've done the excite the we've done the exciting and egg themed presents. That's the important. Yeah, I bit. I just thought the egg box should be open on stream because <laughs> that um, sounded really fun, mm. and then um the um. You know, I just wanted you to have opened the little Pokemon thing and the, and the squid. You know, just yes. to have a, a really fun thing and you could tell people. But the other thing is just like, you know, kind mm -hmm. of like... Sensible and yeah, what I need. It's yes. a okay, sensible fine. thing you I think I, I think I know what that is. Yeah, exactly. yes. I expect to know what that is. <laughs> so that is absolutely fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. um. Oh... That's nice. Just a little Ooh. break. Because I can take my head... The thing is, during these breaks, I can take my headphones off. Mm. Otherwise, I have my headphones on for hours and hours and hours. It'd be quite a lot. So I was recording all... I was recording all today, but I wasn't actually doing much reading because I was doing, like, a really... Because it'd be something that's going to be hyper-compressed. So, mm. uh, which is the challenge thing for Saturday. Ah. I'm doing something really... I'm doing something a bit special for sa on Saturday. There's something a bit special on Saturday. So I was... I've had my headphones on all day, so it's nice to let my ears... Yeah. Feel the open air. He, oh. he can unpack his socks on stream. We don't mind. <laughs> it's not socks. I suspect it's pajamas, isn't it? Yes, it is. It, it may is. be pajamas. Yes. I need. I need. I needed a new. I need a new pair of pajama bottoms, as the old ones kind of went to rags. Mm -hmm. So I. I suspect it's some form of pajama bottoms. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm um. Yeah, I did consider socks, but they didn't have any fun ones. So. Mm -hmm. You know, socks are fun. Nothing wrong with socks. Yeah, and like you can never have too many socks. You can't because they keep running away. Exactly. But also, like 
just, you know. Mm -hmm. I, um... For anyone joining, you, you've not actually missed it. We're just having a little pause. We're just having mm -hmm. a pause for some, uh, you know, for some water and Jaffa mm -hmm. cakes. We've not done the finale of the stream yet. We've, we, we need to do the oh, final no. battle. I've done the entirety of a run. And we're doing oh. everything only once, probably. There's probably been some uh, yeah, cheating but... <laughs> going on. There might have been some light cheating without me even realizing it. See, this is why this is why this is one of the kind of the, the dumb rule sets, which I never knew I knew was I would never make as a full series. Hey, we will do it as a live stream. And we'll, we'll do it live without any preparation whatsoever. Boom. Mm -hmm. Uh okay, let's see. Um <sighs> to be fair, once you get past a certain age, says Foster, someone buying you socks or a new towel or a pillow is actually really nice. Oh, shit. A new towel yeah. or a pillow? Oh, shit. Well, we can't Is buy... it my birthday? Oh, yes, it is. We can't buy bedding because we are... We, we're going to get, like... We're going to get a new bed because... Just... Hmm. We have a... Yeah. Our entire original set of furniture was inherited from a rental property. That we have was where we were renting at a time, and we just sort of, we they basically just said we said can we have this, and they and they said yes as long as you take all of it. So we just didn't. Yeah, because we wanted to, we wanted to buy the mattresses yeah. from them because like basically because we really like the mattresses. They they, those people lived there. Yeah. Um, and then they moved to like Australia or something, and they rented to us for a f for a few years, and, and it was a really to stay. Yeah. But like, all the stuff was like kind of, you know, the mattresses were. It was a bit battered, but they were they yeah. worked. They worked. It was a good mattress. So I said, "Can we have the mattress?" They said, "Yeah, you can have the mattress, I and mean, you can have it for free as long as you take literally everything." Because they just wanted us to clear the place for them. So we did, and but some of it was not very good quality. It's been many years since then, yeah. uh, so it's starting to fall apart a bit. So we need. Yeah, there's some po springs poking and stuff. Yeah, so we um, need we need new mattresses not and to a new. Put too fine a point on a it. A new but, frame um, to go mm. with it and etc. So it is, there's there's a, there's a whole there's a whole bed refresh project that needs to be the, done. Uh, not to put too fine a point on it, but um, <laughs> <laughs> the mattress um <clears throat> mattress has a an ass divot. Uh huh. Uh, from from like you know just on the side of the bed. That's fine. Tubby likes to sleep in in like. In the shape of that. Yeah, it's, it's a so good cat spot. Great. It's a little, it's a little cat um, nook in the mat in the mattress for her. It's great. Oh so because dear. Because we're terrible, we're gonna replace that. Yeah, she's gonna be, she's gonna be furious. Yeah. She's gonna be absolutely furious. But yeah, we just want to make sure we have a new bed, new mattress before we buy bedding, just in case, you mm -hmm. know. We'll make sure we get like. Yeah, step by step. Right you frame first, then mattress, then bedding. You start at the bottom and you work up. But I think, you know, for like maybe, yeah, you know, a later Christmas or birthday or something like that, I think it would be nice to treat, mm -hmm. you know, treat ourselves to like a really, really sweet bedding. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. You just, you just kind of, you just sleep in a position around the springs. Just at particular angles, you can avoid oh, all the springs. It's fun. They're not like, prop <laughs> they're not actually poking through. Mm. You can, it's just not as comfortable as Exactly. It it's just, it's just, yes. <laughs> <laughs> dear oh dear okay mm -hmm. um shout out to uh kerry han who g uh, gave us 20 canadian dollars good dollars um and says uh bonfet john with a quebecois accent i don't think i can do a quebecois accent like it's hard enough if i'm talking speaking. just like just blend french and canadian together no but like Probably the only Quebecois accent I could do was if I was like, you know, inserting like famous Quebecois swear words we don't have in French. Oh, first. sweet. And like, it's probably a very, very offensive. Well, just say them in, just say them with your like inside your head voice and then just let No, let, I mean the, the accent will be offensive. Let the you flow. Oh my God. You could do it, Claire. I believe in you. You're not helping. I am helping. Anyway, I'm Carrie Han helping. says, uh, first time I give to a YouTuber, but I have <laughs> followed you since 2019, <laughs> and you're one of the best to listen to. You helped me over a burnout and depression two years ago, so thank you very much. Thank you very, very much indeed. I hope you're doing better these days. Yes, and that was very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. And now that I have read the sweet thing, I suppose... Um, I don't know. I don't know what I even mark as on. You don't know what? 
I don't know what the markers of a Quebecois accent are because like it's been years since I've lived since I've been in France long enough to like come across somebody making fun of a Quebecois accent on TV or something. Wow, it's amazing that that's your frame of reference. Well, yeah, it is. I've never been to Quebec. Uh huh. I mean, you monster. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, nice break. Just a little pit stop. So if you're just mm-hmm. joining us, we're just doing a tiny pit stop to eat Jaffa mm-hmm. cakes. To eat Jaffa cakes for the moment. We've got, we've got the grand finale covered up. We've, we've got to do the end of the run of save my speech check for Lanius. I can speech check Lanius. Just need to get to him, which might be a bit tricky because <laughs> I can't actually heal. Um, it all needs to be done. All needs to be done in one go. It's going to be great. Uh, shout out to Bill who gave us $10 and says happy birthday. Uh, Liz Shreddies gave us two pounds and says first donation, but happy birthday and I love your content. Uh, Ayo Kitty says I'm joining late due to work. I'll have to catch up later, but happy birthday, John, and gave us $20. Happy birthday to all of you too. Happy birthday to everybody. If you're listening to this right now, it is henceforth your honorary birthday. Woohoo! Everybody gets a birthday today. Everybody. Where's my presents? I didn't think this through. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Mm. Nah. That's enough. Loud performative kiss. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to point it out. It makes it less <laughs> nice. Yeah, but we both decided to do the mwah sound effect and only one of us needed to for the sake of clearly indicating that was a kiss. Right. But we both did, so it was very, it was very overperformative. Profesh. <laughs> okay. Uh, shout out to uh, Just Sammy who gave us £10 and says, Come on, John, stop pleading ignorance. You know the rules and so do I. Your full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. Never gonna give you up. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm just like Claire didn't sing it. That's what I'm sorry about. I... I'm not sure I know the, the tune to like the Seriously? bit that's before Never Gonna Give You Up. Uh-huh. Where's, like, where, where's the version? Where's the version? Point, point me out there. Would you like me to make it big? It's it's the opening. It, it's it's the actual opening. Yeah, I just don't know what that is. It's, you, know, you, you know the rules, and so do I. You know that bit. No, I don't. I just know Never, uh, never Gonna uh, Give You Up. Okay, it's, that's it's, all it's I a know. Joke tune. A full commitment's. Uh, uh, I've literally uh, never flats, heard that flat. song in a way. Full that... commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any of. Oh, I can't do it. There's too much. There's too much tone of variety. I'm completely flat. Uh, then it goes. It's never going to give you up. But it's 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 the opening. I'm amazed you've never heard that. No, I've literally only ever heard mm-hmm. that song being used just in a rick and roll. Yeah. Just like just a refrain in a Rickroll. But no, the, the, Rickroll, the Rickroll is generally leads you to the song that begins with that bit because it's the full video which opens with that bit. So if you've been Rickrolled, that's the bit you'll have heard. I've... Mm, yeah, I don't know. I literally did not know that I was reading the lyrics to that song oh. until I got to Never Gonna Give You Up. That's why I didn't try Philistine. to Philistine. Okay. F- you did not... You claimed you did not know who Joe and Bayes was? And I still don't. And you said... What are the, the, you wait, said... The original drummer for the Beatles. You said you didn't... Like, I'm, I'm ignoring you because you know what you're doing. The South African president after Nelson Mandela died. But like... The third person you... on the moon mission who didn't get to go down onto the moon with the rest of them. One of Stephen King's pen names. Holds the world record for most custard creams eaten in 60 seconds. I'm going to get who she is eventually. (laughs) 
Shout out to Dragon On who gave us 10 euros and says, Sleepy time for me. Enjoy the rest of your night and don't overindulge on the Jaffa cakes. Just kidding. Eat them all. Did Joan Bees invent bees and that's why they're called bees? Oh my god. You're... Did she invent bees? You're so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how did we pollinate things before she came along? Did it used to be done by just, were there more hummingbirds everywhere? Because <laughs> they don't go up to flowers too. But then Joan Bees was like, no, <laughs> I can do this better. I am Joan Bees. And was like, shit, Joan, they're stinging us. Yes, they've got a defense mechanism built in. Holy shit, she's a super villain ass, Ron. <laughs> it's too late. There's millions of them. And they can self-perpetuate. I don't care. Your mother said I wasn't late to that first date. <laughs> It's fine. You know what? Oh, they have care. heart. I don't care. I don't There's care. There's nothing you can do. I, Joan B, shall rule the world now. There are hives everywhere. You'll never get them all. I don't care. Someone's going to stop you, Joan B. I don't care because she said that it was a travesty that you hadn't heard of Joan B. And she also said that you were wrong about not liking Leonard Cohen, and you bloody Leonard are. Leonard Cohen's a dreary bastard. A beautiful, poetic, dreary bastard. Gosh darn you, Joan Bees. You may have won today, but one day someone will take you down. I'd like to see them stop me now that I control a billion bees. Ha 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 ha! Hey, look, they're weak to smoke. Oh, shit, they found the only weakness. <laughs> no, my bees. They're extremely weak to smoke, and I was just hoping no one would realize. No, also common pesticides. I was hoping you wouldn't realize that one either. No. Also, they can just be swatted with most swatting equipment. No. Also, they're generally quite friendly and don't really want to sting you, so really it's not much. No, this plan was terrible. My plans for world domination, now I, Joan Bees, will only be remembered for my sort of, of my music and not my plan to take over the world with bees. No. Take her away, boys. You may have defeated me John! today. But one day, Joan Bees will rise again. You can't stop me, for I am Joan Bees. John. Yes. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> Barry says. Barry says, "Wow, well, this stream certainly had a sting in the tail." Oh. <laughs> Listen, I tried to participate in your bloody nonsense, and you won't see this. That's the thing that, you know, they're talking about how, like, you know, they're saying, like, I can hear, I can feel her glare from California and she's going to kill him and whatever. <laughs> the only thing that bothers me is mm -hmm. if, like, you be trollish like that and I try to join in and you won't even <laughs> let me. <laughs> I'm anyway. just going to call her Joe Bees for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, fuck. What if I like if I tell the new smart home, okay Google, play Joan Bees, whether it would do it? Mm. Oh <laughs> Probably would. <laughs> huh? Go on then. Okay, Google. Okay, it needs to be. Okay, Google. Oh, I'm not sure. It you need to unlock to it. Unlocked. I think I you unlock know. it. I don't know. I think you should, yeah, I think it's probably good that you can't just do that to random people. It's okay, Google. Okay, Google. Your phone's cocking useless. Okay, Google. Play Joan Bees. It's gone over there now. Yeah, it's gone over there now, huh? Okay, can you can you stop it from here? The smart home's gone berserk. It's gone mad. It's like Joan Bees. We must stop it. 
Yeah, okay, so the assistant on my phone will only take orders from me, which is nice. That's nice, actually. The fact your phone won't take orders from me. That's nice. Yeah, that, that's, like, really, that's, that's, really that's an important quite, safety quite feature. Quite welcome. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to go check. <laughs> so I don't know if I can do it from here. Hey, John. Yes? Would you, like, read some super chats from this list in order and try not to mess up my system? I can do at least the first half of what you just asked me to do. Because... Honey. Yes. I would ask you to consider uh -huh. that there are about five more pages of this. Uh huh. It is quite late. We would both like some Yes. Dinner. John. Yes. I can do it. Go. Go. It's not going go. to be your birthday go. in 18 go. minutes. Go. Go. Fuck off. Go. So I can do it. I can take care of this. Thank you very much to Rob, who said happy birthday, John. Any more video essays coming? Not an essay, but I do have, like, um, something quite high effort, like, super edited down coming up on Saturday. So there is something kind of interesting coming up. Any essay topics you think would be interesting? I'd love to look at Fallout as, 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 um, as generational pairs and, like, what they, like, how they evolved over time. Like, uh, Fallout 2 versus Fallout 1, Fallout New Vegas versus Fallout 3, and now Fallout 76 versus Fallout 4, and how one led into the other. Like, you know, the teams, what happened next, diddly diddly day. I'd like to do that somewhere, but that's a huge bit of work, so that I have no no time with that whatsoever. To Josh M, who gave us two US dollars, said, Happy birthday, John. Thanks for all the fun. It has been fun. To Miss Lenore Lee, who said, Happy birthday, John. These live stream donations are me gradually... These live stream donations are me gradually building up to pay for my one marketing, please. <laughs> Which is one day... The, 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 who knows? The price of a marketing... It, it, it fluctuates a lot. It's kind of, you know, it's 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 pegged to the advertiser. So it, it, you just don't know. Like, one advert costs one marketing. They're pegged to each other. So, like, you know, it, it, it's hard to say. Because it, it, it costs anything. Who, who knows what a marketing costs? To Rome, who said, John, I'm loving this Subnautica series. And gave us four, four pounds. 49, by the way. Because I, I don't know if I've been saying the numbers. I, 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 Christ, this is why Claire normally does this. It's so much fun to watch. I hope it's okay uh, to record. John should only get distracted. By something shiny once. <laughs> oh no, Subnautica's a nightmare to record. Some, some, I've been jump scared by bloody Subnautica on several, several occasions, which has been, which has been a thing. But I, 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 I'm definitely going to get distracted by shiny things more than once. That's, that's definitely true. To Amanda, who gave us five years old, said, "Happy birthday, Jonna. Hope you have the best uh, day and all your wishes come true." Thank you for spending your day with us. And hello to Claire and Tabby Hart. Tabby in particular. Tabby is, Tabby is a good bum. To Richard Lawson, who I believe sent their member message, which is thing members can do, that we still don't quite understand the mechanics behind that, to be honest. Saying, where are the presents? They've just happened. That's how out of order we are. And to Elizabeth, who gave us five years old, said, uh, taking the LSAT today. I know the SATs. Is that like SATs? Like l lower SATs? L-S-A-T's? I know SATs. That's a thing in, like, American TV shows. You know, like, the SATs are important. They're like exams. I don't know what the LSAT is. USO, law SATs. I, I should have read the rest of the message first. The answer was right there. U U US law... <laughs> can hear Claire laughing in the background at how much competent I am at this process. US law school test. Wish me luck. Happy birthday, John. Good luck, Elizabeth. You're going to be fine. I didn't bother reading the message. I just started, I just started reading and then we just went through it. Got to the end of Elizabeth. Look, see, got through like five or six. Pam. Thank you. Easy. Um, it was playing Johnny Gill. For Joan Bees? Yeah, I think it just really struggles Shh. with, like, whatever my weird accent is. Uh-huh. Anyway. I mean, that's, I mean, that's certainly one option. <laughs> Who will rise up and fight me? Joan Bees! Well, I think you'll find I really... Oh, no! The world only fish themed singing star who's developed his own brother fish, Johnny Gills. That's right, it's me, Johnny Gills. <laughs> what is up with you? <laughs> well, how do you intend to fight me, Johnny Gills? My bees control the skies. Yes, but my fish control the sea. And guess what? Your bees cannot stand. Oh no, they can't go underwater. 
Well, very well, Johnny. It's fine because Johnny Gills' fish can't go above water. Very well, Johnny Gills. I believe we, we must come to an accord. Still. Everything above the sea shall belong to you, and everything below the water shall belong to no. That the sky was me because I have the bees, for I'm Joe Bees. But John. the sea that is yours. But the land we shall fight over, mainly the beaches, to be honest. But, 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 but yeah, just just the beaches. We shall actually, fight over the we beaches. shall fight on the beaches. Me, Joe Beast, versus me, Johnny Gill. Oh my god. Okay, um. <laughs> Remember how you love him. Coming this summer, oh, life. Please! Life's a beach, then you die. The Joan Beast versus Johnny Gill story. <laughs> Oh god. Um Quick Sodi Badro says, Come on, it's his birthday, let him be. Yeah, but it's only his birthday for thirteen more minutes. Yes. And then it's a regular day. <laughs> okay. New My birthday. Oh god, okay. Hi. <laughs> I like you. I like you a lot. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I love you. Okay. Fuck, <laughs> oh, so bad. We're so far behind. Oh, no. But if we join together, Johnny jo Gills, no one can stop us. Door gets kicked in. Wait, who's that over there? Oh no, it's the only force that could possibly stand against us. The full force of the Beastie Boys! They control the entire animal kingdom! No! Josh! I wish to join at your triumvirate. Why well, shall control the land? Joan Bees, the sky, and Johnny Gills, the sea. We, the Beastie Boys, shall control the land. And together the humans shall not stand against us. For I am Beastie Boy! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we're, Sorry, back. I we're, was back. Cry we're back. We're back. We're Claire was cry before. laughing, and I just wanted to check she wasn't cry crying, <laughs> as opposed to cry laughing. Just wanted to check. Oh, you're very sweet. There we go. <laughs> there's just there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot of work left to do. Uh huh. You know. Let's go. Okay, but now I'm. <laughs> Okay. Thank you very much, Jessica. Who gave us 20 US dollars and happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. And many more. Ha Wait, no, I missed the line. Happy birthday to you. And many more. And then there are emojis. I thought, I, I genuinely thought for a second you were skipping the rest of our message by saying, <laughs> and many more. And I was going to yell. <laughs> Shout out to Daniel who gave us $20 and says happy birthday. John Killstab gave us uh, $20 and says I know it's John's birthday, but it is Tabby's unbirthday and we all know that's far more important. Mm -hmm. In all seriousness, though, I don't comment often, but I've watched every day since New Vegas Kill Everything. I hope your day is excellent. Excellent. Speaking of which, 50 MATM points to anyone who can produce before the end of this stream any form of fan art representing the meeting between Joe the Beast, <laughs> Frankie Gill, Johnny Gills, and the Beastie Boys to, to separate our ownership of the world. Oh anyone who can draw that meeting, 50 MATM oh points. God. <laughs> I have no idea who Johnny Gills is. <laughs> Are we sure this is even 
even a real person. <laughs> I'm just going to Google Johnny Gills. Oh, <laughs> I, I found a guy called Johnny Gill. He's an American singer-songwriter. Oh, God, okay. I, 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 think his, I think his name's Johnny Gill, not Johnny Gills. Maybe his friends call him Johnny Gills. Oh, my God. Shout out to Urban Cool. <laughs> Give us five pounds. <laughs> you two deserve each other. Oh, don't be cruel. Wow, <laughs> you dick! I was gonna say a sweet thing. Oh. What about the Bee Gees? <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's like that's what happens. That's, like that's kind of that's that's when yeah. we think Joan Bees is in trouble, and then she suddenly reveals she's got a secret ally. That she's been like growing in a lab this whole time. And it's just, you know, a bunch of tanks open and a wisp of smoke, the Bee Gees come out. No, you know what it is? <clears throat> is that Joan B. Uh, <laughs> Joan Bees. <laughs> Joan, Joan Bees. Sorry, Joan Bees. Uh -huh. Like when she gets in the Power Ranger suit, that's the Bee Gees. <laughs> No, I think what we need to do is we just kind of cut, cut to Joan Bees in a darkened laboratory. And she just kind of, you know, just backhands a scientist who falls on onto the crowd. <laughs> the experiments 1 through 57 have all died. A complete failure. What about experiment 58? I have one piece of good news for you, Mrs. Bees. They're staying alive. Oh my god, <laughs> And the tanks just open with a little, with a little kind of pneumatic history. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Don't stop believing. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the hideout of Johnny Gill, he's just got former BBC weatherman Michael Fish. <laughs> He's got no powers whatsoever. He's just on brand. He's just really confused. No! Michael Fish would largely be able to conjure storms! He's the one thing he's remembered for is he said there was no storm and there was a hurricane. He was Michael Fish can conjure hurricanes out of nothing! Yes, that's his power! Oh! Michael Fish and Johnny Gills! It's the ultimate tag team! <laughs> What was in the traffic case? Man, I don't know. It, I have not loved this hug in a long time. <laughs> Shout out to Molly who gives five dollars and says uh, this thing alive was worth a donation. You want to read the next one? <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Steve. His five years said she was a skater bee. She, she said, said, see you later, later bee. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Joan Bees. Oh, wow. <laughs> Horror cane. Ooh. Nice. Horror cane. That's good. That's a good supervillain mm -hmm. name right there. Horror cane, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go, Claire, go. Wow. Shout out to Nika, the gamer girl, who gave us 50... Uh, Check crown? That looked like yeah, that check was crown. checked. Only so many countries are going to be CZ. No, I know, but it's just that I didn't remember if it was crown. I think it's Karuna, but I'm not pronouncing it. You know it what right. I forget all the time? Mm. That Czechoslovakia isn't a country anymore. I constantly forget that the Czech Republic and Slovakia separated yeah. at the end of the Velvet Revolution. I constantly forget that. Mm -hmm. Like, if you ever ask me to name the countries of Europe, I will 100% say Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. I will constantly forget that the separation occurred mm -hmm. at the end of the Cold War. Constantly. Anyway, Nika uh, says, uh, this is my super chat behind Czech. It is 8.43 here in the <laughs> Czech Republic. Time in Okay, that's Czech not so bad. Republic. Oh, no, that's worse. Th th they're ahead of us. No, that's worse. So, yeah. I thought that was better, but no, that's worse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. So, Nika, I'm very sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good on. The Joan Bees continuity is clearly the highlight of this stream. Uh -huh. no, no, nothing matters next to Joan Bees. 
go the fuck to bed, you two. Um... <laughs> oh my god. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, Ty, you know what, Titan, this is so good, I'm gonna actually say your full username, which I usually avoid, because I don't want to make it weird, yeah. shout out to Titan Uranus, who gave us 20 Swedish krona, and says, Joan Bees is the better scientist, she isn't biased. Mm-hmm, <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Anna uh, says someone, uh, Anna's been a member for three months, says someone is going to mention Joan Bees in a super chat two months from now and you're going to collapse. The people who this weren't here, they not they, they, they missed out. The people who didn't come tonight, they're the ones who missed out. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Link was cuter in Breath of the Wild gave us 10 euros. And since I discovered you uh, from uh, your last episode of Fallout 3, Kill Everything, and I've been watching and loving your content ever since. Uh, ooh, an Irish birthday ooh. wish. Uh, um, uh, there's some pronunciation guidelines. Yeah, just go Don straight Kinsen. for the pronunciation guy. Uh, Lor Breha Hunha Dit. That's so wrong. Yeah. That's very wrong. I am sorry. <laughs> the problem is, now I am, you know, also British. Mm -hmm. So, like, now it's more offensive when I fuck up Irish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's than true. Than when I was just yeah, French. Yeah, that's true. So, you know. Anyway, shout out to William, who gave us $20 and says, Hey, John, Claire and Tabby. I have been watching the channel for almost eight years now, and I love all the Fallout videos as well as the one-offs. First time donating and commenting, but I hope you'll uh, look for me more in future. Huh. Definitely. Thanks, William. 100%. Absolutely. Uh, shout out to uh, Hugh Miner, who gave us 50 Swedish krona, uh, and says, uh, Happy Hey... Earth Day Bay. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't stay because of work, but I hope everyone's well and all the luck with uh, Yo Yo. Good old Yo Yo, the the challenge run that never was. Oh yes, indeed. Uh... <laughs> uh, Amanda says I can't do that fan art because I'm at work, but I plan to do it later. Yay! Thank you, Amanda. The rise of Joan Bees. Uh, is Joan Bay still alive? I because if we, she I, is, we should send. So. We need to send her. No, this. we need to send her this fan art. Okay, yeah, thank God she is. Yeah, okay. she's alive. We can send her the fan art. Sorry, like I had a moment where I was like, "Oh my God, if she's dead, I'm gonna be really upset." Uh huh. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna we're gonna try, we're gonna get the fan out. We're gonna make sure that Joe B Joe Bay Caesar uh, Caesar is okay. a B themed superhero. Uh, Myra put a different transliteration of Happy Birthday in Irish. Oh, go for it. Uh, which was uh, Law Breath Law Hunter Hunter Ditch. I I to you. God. Okay. Uh. Anyway. Mhm. Mm Okay. Wow. All right. Uh, shout out to Urban Cohort who gave us six dollars uh, sixty six and says, "Well, since John won't accept my gift." Oh my Hi. goodness! Did you notice it's very late? Buddy? It's the new ally of the Beastie Boys, Tabby, Queen of the Big Cats. Hi. Yeah, cause she's a tiger. Hey, buddy bum. Yeah, no, she's just doing her nails now. Um, Just doing her nails on the carpet. Fair enough. Yes, indeed. That was a big meow you all got from Tabby there. Yes. All right, let's let's get some New Vegas back on here. This uh, is going to take so many attempts. Oh yeah. God. Urban cohort says that I'll end a run by donating twice. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the loudest Tabby meow. Yeah, they're definitely. That is possibly that. the loudest one you've ever heard on the channel. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God! Do not tweet Joan Pies about this. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Chilling with Chuck gave us five dollars and says uh, happy birthday to my favorite talking egg carton and good luck with this ridiculous rule set, you mad lad. Um, 
uh, Mara says the uh, the uh, Huna uh, Greek whatever <laughs> the thing that you said when you said to you that's already included is yes. like calling it an ATM machine. Don't do that. Okay. Or a pin number. Oh dear. Um. Okay. <laughs> we need to do this, and I've got no healing during this process. Wait, and I... wait, would you would you tell people? Sorry? Would you tell people where you're at? And by people, I mean me, because probably everybody else knows. But This I is the dam. This is the final battle. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, the problem is I've got no good weapons. But the advantage is, because I'm on neither side in this fight, uh, it means they're going to be killing each other. <clears throat> so I can pick weapons up as I go. That's that's what, that's the only advantage I've, uh, I've got. So the NCR are going to fight the Legion, but there is the slight issue... But because I'm not bringing any allies in, what so? Okay, there's, there's, oh, there's the Khans. Okay, well I need the Khans to die in a perfect world. Uh, just because actually the scope on this thing is always a little. Yeah, the the flipping reflex sight of this thing is actually not straight, is it? No, I believe not. There we go. We got it that time. <clears throat> so I'm vilified by the great card. That's fine. That's those are the last cards we're ever going to see. So it's completely irrelevant that we're vilified by the great cards. And we could also just pick up their stuff. Lever action shotgun. That's actually good. I picked up the last perk I got right at the end there was um, and stay back. So I can use that to knock back the legion and just knock them to the ground. That's pretty much the only chance I've got actually. So I really feel like I should go straight over to uh, that lever action shotgun. It's not going to do much damage. But I'm, I'm going to be constantly saving. This is going to have to be done step by step. So if I take damage, it's just not going to work. So I've got my little robot buddy. He's going to fire in rockets, which needs to do. But I just need to take out the... Go! Go! There we go. Look at that. Knock him down. And then knock you down. And then go. Knock you down. Go. And that now needs to be dumped on the ground. But I'm just desperately trying to buy time. So number one goes down. Number two, leave for action. Stay down. Oh. And then knock you over. Where's the NCR? And where's my robot? Where's where's literally anyone? Why are you not helping? Okay, my robot's on the high ground. Is actually doing something. Not not much. That guy's almost dead. And then that was... Oh, blimey. Oh, that, he kind of did his job there. There's one guy at the back. My robot is stuck. I've taken a tiny bit of damage, but honestly, if my robot can just get get the flip, get, get just to push my robot off the edge here, push my robot off the edge. Go, there you go, and now just there we go. My robot's on the ground. My robot can now push forward and is now putting in explosives. I'm just going to stay back. Robot can actually self heal. It's level one. There's a sniper up top. There's going to be way more coming in. I don't know whether I can potentially just glitch this entire area by doing the rock skip and swim. I don't know whether the game will allow me to do that. Because I know it's what the speedrunners do. But they probably have got way better setup. And they know what they're cocking doing. I'm just going to get round over to here. Well, that'll be my robot doing some good work over there. No. Okay, wait. Go. 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 Knock him over. Well, that's that's, that's my shotgun stun. That's completely worthless. Right, I'm just going to wait for someone else to do the work at this point. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to MG Steve who gave us £10 and says, Happy birthday, John. I hope you've had a good one. Watching this was I'm playing Dyson Sphere Program. Ooh. Uh, I'm still loving YOLO and well done at a surviving Fall Harbor. Keep up the great work. Hi to Claire and Tabby. We've been doing okay so far. Dyson Sphere Program is a great thing. Yeah. It's a really good, great game. Yeah, and shout out to James, uh, who's been a member for 39 months. Oh, sweet. Very good. Uh, so, happy birthday, John. You can uh, only go to one DLC. I don't think we're going to be getting to any DLC. Claire's, yeah, said Claire's that getting a long tired. time ago, John. I see. Uh, shout out to my. Hunting shotgun, yes. That's good shirt. Yeah. Shout out to Myra, who's been a member for five months, and says, good news, I now have four interviews by the end of the week. Finally going to be employed again. Amazing. That's very exciting. Good job. Yes, indeed. Uh, Wobol uh, gave us five pounds and says, your Spanish was okay, but how is your Dutch, Claire? It, 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 just, <clears throat> it, it just ain't. There is no Dutch. I Excellent. don't know anything about it. 
Uh, although I suppose it probably is indeed about your birthday. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with Fan uh, Harte Gefeliciteerd John Finja Verjaar Dag. I'm gonna go with that. Good stuff. Well done. Good attempt. I mean, you know. I, 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 I just know, um... Okay, I, there's I, more, I see there's way more Legion over there. The problem is there's now no NCR. There is now literally no cocking NCR. There's a sniper up top who's going to assist, but they're going to pop his head sooner or later. I need you to get involved, but buddy, 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 I need you... Wait, he can go up there? Can he? I'm hidden. Go! 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 He's dead. That's nice. That guy's uh, in trouble. Nope, that's the hunting shotgun dumb. But that guy's now at point blank range. Dump that. Get out a service rifle will do. We need to take you out and go, 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 go. He's dead too. And now there's another one coming in. And do you have a gun, buddy? Do you have a gun? Or are you, are you a melee? You might be... He did have a gun, but it was shot straight out of his hands. That's what's really in my... No, it's not anymore. Now he's not. Buddy, I need you to do a lot of good work for me here. I'm being shot. I'm being very shot. I need you I need you to... Okay, I need, I need something stronger. I need something way stronger. Uh, 44 Magnum will do. I think he's going for him now. Yeah, now he's going for that. Out. No. Done. Okay, I'm down to half health, but we've taken out the first wave, and there's going to be a whole bunch of new weapons. Uh, this thing's now only got two shots in it, so it's effectively functionally useless. Has anyone else got any good at shotguns on you? I'm just going to check the corpses. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Um, sorry, I'm just looking for... Um, I think one donation might have not come through. I'll, I'll double check. Uh, sorry, shout out to... It's a drink. Definitely haven't had that before. Healing! Uh, shout out to Paul Wilson. He's been a member for 47 months. Excellent. Uh, that's a lot. I think a huge that's amount, higher, actually. I think that's the highest number of months I've seen so far. Paul says, happy birthday, John. Thank you for years of great content and community. If you could have any item from Fallout as a gift, which item would you choose? Interesting. Let's get going. Hmm. Any item for Fallout as a gift? Hmm. The transportal ponder of old world blues is quite useful. Just being able to like tele basically just being able to just like teleport wherever the hell you feel like. That's pretty good. Oh, and did you also not say that you wanted a, a welcome to New Vegas sign? Mm-hmm. That that's true. Whether, whether I didn't really kind of count that as that's like more that's more like scenery. In yeah, a way. and I, I suppose you probably don't want the, like, a real size thing from the game. Yes. <laughs> so we'll be a little bit on the big take side. Take a bit of space. Because, mm. yes, uh, the thing is, you, you can skip ah. this entire area just by jumping into the water and swimming, but then you just have to glitch at the rocks afterwards. I just don't know whether it's going to work, so I'm just going to see if I can make that work. So if I can just skip the entire dam by just doing the speedrun strat, then mm -hmm. that's really good. But I can't remember the exact speedrun strat, so we're just going to have to make dope. Yeah, a couple of people, uh, a couple of people mentioned that they're also at forty-seven months. It seems like that's when YouTube membership just. I started. guess that's when they yeah, just began. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're also saying that uh, my uh, Dutch was so bad. Uh, and Myra says now I have a fifth interview, and I sent a super chat about that. You can ignore it. Oh. Do you want a one-minute song about the stream or not? Uh, I mean, if you if you have an idea and if you want to, yes. But please don't. Like, it, I imagine it's also past midnight in Ireland, so please don't feel obliged. I think we've already got a, we've already got a song in waiting, don't we? Yeah, there's a happy birthday song. Yeah, I think that's quite that's quite fine then. Yes. Okay. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. Sarah of Fort McCookie mm -hmm. uh, gave us ten dollars uh, and says happy birthday to John uh, and one day early to my nephew Xander. Uh, he is turning ten. I can't wait to meet him as I only met his mother last Friday. That's right. Guess who has a sister? 
Uh, and her name is Sarah. So there you go. God, I'm trying to remember. That's them. a very, ex that's an exciting, uh, that's an exciting uh, development. I also have a nephew that I haven't met, uh, but that's less exciting. It's just that he, he, he he's very little. And so um, when he was born, it was already kind of like pandemic time, no travel. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember how he did. There's, there's a glitch up these rocks and I can't hide for the life of me. It's been so long since I've even tried to do the speedrunning bugs. I'm trying to remember the spots. Oh, God. Oh, God, I can't remember the spots. Uh, Myra says, oh, it is. I'm assuming she means, oh, it is midnight, but I have it recorded. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have it recorded, you know, we wouldn't want it to be uh, for naught, mm -hmm. you know? Very exciting. Yeah, I mean, obviously. <sighs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, Myra, is there something you need me to see on Discord? Because I saw that you sent a link. Uh, dear, oh dear. Um, Isaac gave us $20 and says, Hello, Claire, and happy birthday, John. Have you looked at Under Rail? Not Undertale. Uh, Under Rail is post-apocalyptic top-down RPG set in subways and caves. Old school Fallout feel. Uh, same 50s aesthetic. Uh, San without the 50s aesthetic with a deeper combat and crafting uh, system hard but fun i'm kind of getting my i'm kind of getting my kind of old fallout vibes right now from death trash i feel like i'm just one one little allowable jump away right now from just getting up to the top if i can just get past this stupid little invisible wall uh, John, go watch your new Vegas minimum XP run to find the spot. <laughs> it's actually not a terrible idea. Oh no. Oh god, where is that cocky spot? I, you can you can basically if you just if you just get it right, you can sometimes you can often hammer the exact right spot. You can just you can climb just about anything in New Vegas if you just get the spot right. If you just kind of get if you just kind of get a jump moment, a jump actually at the exact right moment, you can pretty much just always get up anything, pretty much. But this is not a terrible idea. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Just, 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 just work with me here. Oh work my with God, me here. Come Mara, on, that's adorable. Come on, Skyrim horse. Come on, Skyrim horse. Come on, Skyrim horse. Come on, Skyrim horse. John. Yes. <laughs> I like how Johnny Gills is a mermaid. We should send that yes. to Johnny Gill. Johnny Gills is a merman, yes. We're going to send okay. that to Johnny Gill. He'd appreciate this. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Thank you so much, Myra. Um, yeah. Uh, I think you have to probably be logged into Discord for that to show, but okay. I have shown it to John. Uh, so... I'm going to leave a save here by the point where I know there is a rock glitch, but I'm going to go back to the not rock glitch and try and do the level legitimately. All right. Uh, shout out to uh, Koshe Moche, who who has been a member for eight months, and says happy, happy birthday. Dragon Trapper gave us twenty dollars and says stupid horoscope bonus. Right. That message is from the horoscope conversation. Oh, I'm sure it is. Uh huh. Right. Uh, m uh, Marky uh, gave us 10 euros and says, Happy birthday, John. I can't stay too long, but I hope you'll have a great stream. Irishman240 uh, gave us $5 and says, I was going to tell you a joke about time travel, John, but you didn't like it. <laughs> Happy birthday. So dumb. I love it. Yes. Uh, uh, Kaylee gave us uh, $2. And says Capricorn uh, sh should be dating Taurus or Virgo. <laughs> oh, that's what we're up to, is it? Yeah, I just Brilliant. told you that. Brilliant, love it. Connor gave us seven Canadian dollars and says, as an Aries, a lover of Pokemon and a cheese pun enthusiast, I want to throw my hat in the ring for John. Together, we could catch slash adopt a breed rail. No. Oh. Well, I'm gonna. I mean. I'm going to nuke both I of them. I would be worried if this person didn't live in Canada. So now they're going to be coming in this direction. My little robot friend's going to help out. Oh 
<laughs> Why isn't my robot friend helping out? It's his one cocky job. There he is. He's actually helping out now, and he's going to do a good, good bit of work there. No. Now they can't get past him. Um. Now, now, okay. Now that that, that, that heavy troop is almost dead. Okay, this guy's doing really well. This this little robot buddy's really helping out a hey, lot. Hey, John. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to give it a try, I've got a few people uh, trying to give explanation of where to go for the glitch. I think we're okay for now. We're actually doing surprisingly well just at dealing with this thanks to and stay back. Okay, that's actually worked pretty well. And stay back, just literally using any shotgun I can to knock down the enemy and then letting the Securitron kill them is sort of working. Uh, I do have... Who picked up the thing? That's just a super sledge. Just no, not no, not you, not not you. The the other guy. How how many people am I looking at? I don't know how many corpses I'm looking at right now. Not you. Not. I think it's just one. It's hard to tell. That's just super sledges, right? We've taken out those guys. They those guys are pretty hard to actually kill. But we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well actually, all things considered. That gets me to the control room. Is there one in the control room? I still haven't used my actual VAT shot yet. I've not used a VAT. I've used VAT scanning, but nothing else. Okay, install the override chip. Okay, so now we've got this. Either blow up the generators or route it to the fort. Yes, route it to the fort. I want an army. Okay, send power to the fort. There we go. So, unlocking these power plants, hit the manual switch, go topside, deal with the Legion of the NCR. That sounds really hard. That sounds, that sounds hard. But I need to activate the Eastern Power Plant. But I, I should just be able to bypass everything, and they're going to be fighting each other. So I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be, it's going to be fine. We're at about half health right now. Just, just, just keep going. It's going to be fine. Clap. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Max Madden who gave us five dollars and says thanks for the fun and happy birthday, John. Polylicious says. Let's get going. It says a purple cat. It doesn't say sticker. I'm wondering if it's a sticker or if Polish has just said a purple cat. Uh, but it's a purple cat anyway. And uh, they gave us, and Polylicious gave us uh, 14 sweaty, uh, Swedish? Swedish crowns. Sweaty dollars. <laughs> Ew, I love sorry. sweaty dollars. I'm sorry. Uh, Pint Damage has been a member for 12 months uh, and says happy birthday, John. Also happy anniversary, I guess. Because uh, they've been a member for 12 months. Uh, Molly gave us $10. It says second donation, but I, I don't... I have to check if I if I read your first before or if uh, you was just eating it. Um, but yes, Molly says, um, I'm donating a second time because I didn't get to donate a couple of weeks ago because my internet died. Uh, John has become the narrator to my workday now, and I love him and Claire for it. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Thank you, Molly. Uh, shout out to School Nerd, who gave us five pounds. And says, hey, John, Claire, and most importantly, Tabby. Mm -hmm. Um... I have just got my money from my GCSEs, so here is some of it. Love for all that you've done. Excellente. Well, I feel old now. Mm-hmm. I'm still younger than you, so that's fine. Only just. Well, I say go here, but they mean go the very long way round to here. So that's, that's very unhelpful. Right, I don't see any sign of trouble here yet. If I just keep going in this direction. Then loop around. There we go. Round to over here. Is it just this? Because if it's just this, that'd be great. Turn on the switch. I thought it was way worse than that. Okay, now I just need to exit out the dam. Okay, I thought I should fight my way through the power plant. I've forgotten exactly how this mission goes. But now I just need to fight my way back through. This is this is going surprisingly okay as a legitimate strategy. This is this is fine. I mean, there's a lot of coward saving going on. My original robot is somehow still cocking alive. Which is just, I know, so I forgot, I've forgotten all the layout. If I, if I take a left here, then take another right. This area is a bit hard to navigate. Uh, but if everyone's dead because my robots killed them all. Like, one robot has somehow taken out, like, the entire cocky legion. Uh, which is pretty good. But you were just, you were just for show. You actually had a proper hunting rifle. So I've got plenty of hunting rifles right now. The NCR are actually not attacking me. Despite <clears throat> the fact I have... Yeah, opened fire on them and their troops. I've opened fire on them, but they're just like, yeah, it's fine. 
it's okay. We we forgive you. You only you only like you know it was only you only murdered a couple of our heavy troopers. It's it, it's a okay. So that Securitron's is actually holding on. Have I reloaded this rifle? I might have done. I'm gonna get another one out just in case. I think I might have reloaded that rifle by mistake. So now we leave the dam this way, right? All right, and now there should be head to the Legacy camp. Do I get any help in the form of the NCR, the NCR troopers? Because the NCR don't seem to be hostile to me yet. So can I get the N? No, I can't get NCR. If I do, they're not showing up yet. The dam is very yeah. The camp's on fire. The NCR haven't shown up yet. I just need to. I literally just need to get to the camp. Because once you get to the camp, it's mostly Praetorians who are melee armed. Then I can just literally run past them, and it's fine. But there's gonna be some more actual legion first and there's like no one else here because i didn't bring the boomers or anything actually oh there's more troops okay there's there's ow 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 i'm going to be immediately killed step inside step inside you gonna follow me because there's more you were supposed to stay outside oh hang on hang on there's <gasps> claire clean toilets Yes! Yes! Toilet Daddy will save the run! Toilet Daddy has saved the run! I'm oh yes! Slurp, slurp, slurp! Oh ho ho! The leech is gonna come in and the the, 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 the feared courier is like, oh yeah, oh yeah, give me that toilet water. Oh, mm, harping duck is the source of my power. That and urine. Uh, <laughs> go, Claire, go! Go, Claire, go! While I, while I, drink, while I drink out of a toilet, back to health. Shout out to original Daddy who gave us five dollars and says jolly good birthday. Has I assume you say across the pond? I have a mojito on me, or probably like half a mojito <laughs> in London. <laughs> it's true. Things are expensive. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um. Let's <laughs> go in again. The, 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 I love the head bob that accompanies slurping out of the toilet. Like. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Uncultured Yam who gave It's a different $10. toilet, so it's fine. Different water source. And says, Happy birthday. I just want to say your voice. Oh my god, this is so sweet and such a thing to, such to a read weird right thing now. To read right now right when now. you've just said that. I just want to say your voice has the same effect on me as Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> David Attenborough has never once said and slurp slurp toilet daddy. Not once. No one. If I was Emperor of the World, I'd make David Attenborough <laughs> say slurp slurp toilet daddy. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So your voice has the same effect on me as Sir David Attenborough. If I'm sleepy, I pass right out. But I love your content and I'm looking forward to more. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> slurp slurp. Deppy Sweet says I'm pretty sure there's a sink right next to this. Okay, yes, there was. There was... I'm gonna go up top to see if maybe I can snipe down at the Legion from above. Because now they've spawned in. Now they've spawned in, I might be able to snipe oh at them. It God. might be way easier. What are you firing at? Who's firing? Oh my God. Where are the Legion? I don't know where the Legion went. There's some, there's some stuff over there. I don't know where the Legion have gone. There's well, one of them's dead. There's a, there's a corpse here. What happened to? The, and there's definitely there's living robots over there. Where the, <laughs> where the cock of the legion? Oh my god! All right, back back downstairs. 
back downstairs into uh, the, into the toilet. Shout out to Richard who says Sir David Attenborough never passed up a sink to drink out of a toilet. It's true. Oh no, Reaper gave us five dollars and says toilet water has more protein. Oh no, oh. I also feel like toilet water is accurate for a stream. Oh. Okay, here's interesting. They seem to have just despawned. Oh, God, that was quite good. It's quite good. I think if you, I think at the moment that those guys spawn, if you just run into the tower, they just despawn, which is actually rather useful. And now we've got more robot assistants, which is actually rather <laughs> good. It's official, says JJ Binks. This stream is more cursed than right to hell retribution. It's it's possible. It is yes. I'm literally in tears right now, <laughs> says JB Mental. Same. The Legion left in disgust. <laughs> Best stream ever. <laughs> David, I didn't run more like fucking Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls probably has drank out of a toilet. Bear Grylls wish he could drink, wish he could drink out of a toilet. Bear Grylls is on an island going like, where is a toilet? Right, that sniper rifle has to go, but I've got more sniper yeah. rifles, so it's fine. Sniper rifle number two. And that's all of them dead. And now you guys are just going to push forward. There's a few more over there. There's more over there, I see. No, that's more robots. Mm. I think we've actually made it to the camp. Well, maybe not. It's, you're shooting at someone. I don't know who the cock you're shooting at. Anti-material rifle! Oh, we're getting somewhere now, boys. Uh, we're getting to the good shit now. Uh, Alright, dump one hunting rifle. And that pistol's literally broken. And I literally don't have any ammo for the the heavy incinerator, so why are we carrying it? <laughs> We're getting to the good shit now. We're getting into proper anti-material rifles. This is this is the good stuff. Okay. Uh, the toilet water has kept me alive for now. There's another anti-material rifle. Oh, these are... Okay, they're heavy. They're really heavy, apparently. And what are you firing at? There's no legion left. Stop, stop... Ow! Stop shooting me! I want you... I, I'm your boss. You're here to protect me. You dick. There's not even anyone here. I mean, you're hit by background incidental details. Okay, I don't need... Well, I could do both of them, to be honest. Um, get rid of the 9mm submachine gun. I do not need that. Okay, get, get rid of that. I don't need the Ripper. I don't need the service rifle. I don't need that frag mine. Get rid of all of that. I'm being, I'm, I'm just being shot by decorative fire. Because there's no cocking legion left. This guy's only firing to try and create the illusion of a battlefield. And I've been hit anyway. And I'm pretty sure they don't follow me. Uh, weirdly, yes. Um, You do get followed by... Uh, I think it's one of the... um, Yeah, one of the remnants. If they're in the battlefield, they'll follow you in. But like, no one else will. Uh, anyone else? That's just hunting rifles. Uh, just hunting rifles. Okay, well, I may as well go over to anti-material rifle, which, hilariously, I can't use properly because I don't have the strength or quite the gun skill because my gun skill is 99. So I've got a bit of sway on that. Uh, if you guys would like to follow me into this camp, I'd appreciate it. But all I need to do now, all I need to do now is... Yeah, I just need to make it to Lanius and then do his checks and then run. I've I've not done my speech check. I, this is going to be my only speech checks of the entire run. Are you still? Is anyone here? Like the the one guy who's following me around is here. Okay, and now we just need to take out you. Missed. Or oh, possibly hit him in the weapon. There we go. Got him. Okay, even on very hard mode, sneak attacks are no joke. That guy's dead. There might be some more up ahead. Uh, some of them just run in from the side. But I can just run straight past them. Because if I can just get to Lanius, yeah, I see that guy there. Uh, the question is whether I'm actually going to be able to hit him reliably. He just did the same thing as the other guy. He kind of bent over. But yeah, these are Praetorians. See, they're armed with really strong melee weapons, but... Fun thing about melee weapons. They do terribly against range. There you go. Another guy dead. Very hard mode. Anti-material rifle. Cock and dead. Those are the only two that are directly in your path. More will run in from the side. But if I just run 
Straight over. No, that needs to be dumped. That needs to be dumped. Go I'm almost out of guns. Almost out of guns at this point. But actually, I think, I think we're not using guns anymore. I think now I'm just going to pack that away. I can see there's two over there. They're going to try and come in from the side. But if I just literally just say, screw it, I don't care. And just run straight for Lanius. Then I do the speech. Then we hop down off the cliff. We get the ending. And then we're done. We've done it. We, we, you, you, you only ever think once will be a success. Because now there's going to be more people coming in. That guy's guarding my rear. These guys haven't even shown up. And here comes Lanius. And, on for your and there we go. So I'm... At, 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 it's absolutely fine. So maybe I wanted to listen to reason. So we fight with words. And then we just do the speech. Alright, we're going all speech with him. This is legit. It's all part of a single chain. Okay, shut it. This is this is mine. Save your speeches. Uh, move forward. Trying to take Hoover Dam. What of the East? And East needs to be crushed the West. And there we go. It's not the strength of the West that will slow you. It's their weakness. Yes, they're too weak. You'll, you'll need to hold them. Da, 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 da. Eventually, you'll lose the East. There we go. The East was hold for campaign. You're going to go. And do not say retreat. If you say if you use the word retreat, he'll realize you're trying to trick him and he'll attack. Okay? You say there's there's victory and wisdom. Off you go. Bye. As for there we go. No, so no. he's gonna return east. Bye. And yep, yeah, off off you go. See you later. Uh so he's just gonna wander off now. And that's it. That's him taken care of. He's just gonna run back into his tent. You can't follow him. And oh his, God, amazing. his bodyguards just won't fight anymore. It, like, he, he doesn't run away from the battle, but he just goes into the tent. <clears throat> Wait, hey, John. Yes. Um, Game Changer says, uh, wow, this uh, this uh, eau de toilette is good for charisma. Oh. Maybe Leon Lance is like, I, don't really, I really don't want to fight this guy. He smells weird. <laughs> <laughs> These guys oh, never no. came out, which is really weird. Somebody in chat says, that's why Lanius has a mask. <laughs> um, nice speech check. Spe oh, speech. Spe I, I see, check. I see it was a pee joke. Yeah, I just said it a bit wrong. Yeah. It's late. And that's it. Now we just literally run back to the gate. There's going to be... There's what, one person's like running after me and trying to kill me. But I don't care. That is it. You only everything once. Complete via some creative rule lawyering. Uh, <laughs> all right. Shout out to uh, Hayward who gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. Any chance of a Fallout 4 kill everything run? Uh, Fallout 4 kill everything. Not anytime soon. I've said it before, I said it again. I feel like some of the material I might have used for that kind of got run into the no guns mm. playthrough by the end. So there's a lot of that that's kind of would be shared material. Maybe one day, but it's not uh, something I'm thinking of imminently. Yeah, and uh, Jan Beck uh, has been a member for 13 months and says happy birthday. Thank you for being awesome. Uh, um, Jillian uh, has been a member for a whole year and said happy birthday John uh, uh, Dansu gave us $5 and says first live stream ever but I have to go to work have you considered uh, a luck of zero run of New Vegas can't get your caps from the casinos I've done that a few times before I don't always do a casino run mainly because if you don't go for a high luck build you can't reliably do it uh, yes, indeed. Uh, James gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday. Apparently your birthday is less than a week from mine. Uh, so thank you and happy birthday for very soon, James. Happy, happy birthday indeed. Yes. Um, mm -mm. You already use robots, so you can't use them now. What? That's not even a remotely sensible rule. Now, I, I agree. We can't use speech 100 on him. That would yeah. be cheating. So I can't. So we can't use speech 100 uh, there. But I don't know if you right can now, actually actually get him to back down even without the speech check. The so and uh, dear, that's loads of speech right there. And yes, indeed. You, you're, you're either fighting or you're leaving. Your choice. You're cast out enough to know my chances are pretty good. Like yeah. Sounds like he actually wants to do a fight. Okay, well this is... <laughs> I've actually got to come up with a solution to this. Uh, I've actually got to come up with a solution. I've actually got to come up with a solution to, to this before... Uh, because technically we haven't won until we've taken down him. And he's going to immediately slaughter me the moment the fight begins. Um... 
I need something that can I, do I have any, I don't have a, I don't have any form of, I don't have a, a shotgun, I can't knock him to the ground. Oh, this is interesting. This, this is, this is not the ending I was anticipating. I don't know if I could actually defeat Oliver one on one, because he's just going to pull out a, the pistol and take me down almost immediately. Uh, okay, Drugs? I have... Huh? Drugs? Literally was just thinking that. I kind of used... I don't have any medics, actually. Um, and give myself some buff out. Yeah. Have you used a stealth boy yet? I've definitely used a stealth boy. I used that in the Jessup room. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he automatically detects you anyway. Uh, grenade in his pocket? Huh? Can you reverse pickpocket a grenade in his pocket? Don't think that works on him because he, mm -hmm. he sees you at the beginning of the thing. I tossed away my only mine. If I have to, we'll, we'll have to use and we'll have to completely break the rules and just do a double... Uh, uh, speech, and we'll just have to speech him to make him go away. But I'm not sure there's any way to make him back down that doesn't involve speech, unfortunately. And the thing is, my robots will 100% win against his troops. That's Can not... you kill him before you talk to him? No, it's, it's a cutscene, so he just gets to walk forward. Oh, uh, dear. Is there, is there any path through this conversation? Because I've got and a lot you've of... already used VATS. I've not used VATS, actually. That's interesting. Just no secret. Uh, so yes, indeed. Look, just, just, just leave. Leave, 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 leave. I don't want any more violence. Let's just, how about you go? How about, let's be pleasant. Let's be really pleasant. I'm going to try and be as pleasant as I can. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think there's any option. Securitrons. Go! No, no, no. If I can just get around the, if I can just get around the corner fast enough. If I can just get around the corner, the robots will finish them. I just need to literally get around the corner before he finishes me. And I think that is possible. Just rename it. You only ever think once and also speech twice. Yeah. I think if I literally just, yeah, back, if I, because now I'm over a bit on the, the left. If I just back away and get around the corner, the robots win the fight. And then I survive. All I need to do is live long enough for the robots Seems to wrong. kill everyone else, which they will do. Well, while you do the speech uh, again, because it's going to be the same, shout out to Dead Rat Sofa, who gave us five dollars. Uh, and since I've been watching this channel yes, on, no I've been now. watching this channel on and off again for like five years. Uh, and now I have a job, so happy birthday and have some of my disposable income. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, so close to getting around the corner. I just need to get lucky on one attempt. Yeah. Uh, Crawler King gave us $5 and says, Happy day of birth! I'm loving the Subnautica series. Keep up the amazing videos that make my long nights at work truly fun. As someone has correctly suggested, I'm going to use the robot as a portable shield. I'm going to push the robot forward. Nice. It's um, going to work. Shout out great. to Cat who gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday, John. I hope the new HQ has been treating <laughs> you guys well. Um, I am in the process of moving from Florida to Texas with all the stress. Your videos are keeping me sane. Thank you for everything. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. I hope you are remaining suitably move. sane. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, Salty old sailor gave us uh, Always excellent five uh, euros. Uh, Dalek gave us five dollars and says how awesome I managed to catch an MATN live stream uh, whilst it's actually live. Got it. The the shield worked. Nice. Happy birthday and a uh, good game choice. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, we got a happy birthday from Ambrose <laughs> who gave us twenty five dollars. Uh, and says, uh, as always, thank you for all the content. Mm hmm Can we just take a moment, rest in peace for the Securitron that got me through that entire cocking section and R. then R. died Securitron. at the last minute, literally acting as a human shield. Yes. F, F in the chat for Securitron Mark II, who died that I might not. Uh, yes, indeed. And there's, there's Yes Man just bugging inside something else, lovely. So yeah, they got instantly vaporised. Uh... So I just needed to get out of the way. There we go. Job flipping dumb. You did a super uh, job wrapping things up. I've, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Zai, who gave us ten dollar, uh, ten pounds, uh, and says happy John Day. So I'm loving the Yolo and Subnautica series. Keep up the great work, and as always, have funk. Have funk. 
and then uh, happy we've got twenty dollars from Jordan, who says, "Happy birthday, John! Glad to be supporting the best content creator on YouTube." I recently went to Vegas and happened to see Solar Farms like Helios One. Another thing to add to your one million subscribers side scene. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, if we can, get, yeah. if you're allowed to get clo vaguely closest to us, yeah. If they do public tours, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and uh, let's see, Daniel uh, says, uh, any chance of ever doing conventions in the US like Too Many Games and gave us $5? Uh, that, well, obviously we can't do, any, do that right now, yes. Uh, I, I don't know. It, it's a long way to go. It's a very long way to go. Uh, yeah, John, John doesn't like flying. I'm not a good flyer, so no promises. Uh, Alexi gave us five dollars and says, I'm sorry, I couldn't contribute more, but happy birthday, John. Your channel remains one of my favorites and has helped me through some tough cocking times. Much love. Much love to you too. Indeed, Gabriel says, happy birthday, John. Many happy returns and gave us twenty dollars. Uh, the game seems to have forgotten Veronica's dead. <laughs> nice. Um, Amanda, uh, Skylark Landing, gave us five dollars uh, and says, It is my birthday too, but I must work. At least I get to listen to MATN. Happy birthday to the best egg box and best wishes to Claire and Tabby. Oh, Tabby is the best. Amanda's birthday today. Do we have a Tabby today? No, she, I think she left again. But yeah. Happy birthday! Yes, it's uh, Amanda who does a beautiful fan art. Yes. Uh, shout out also to Darren who gave us nine pounds and says happy birthday John as British lads improve with age like a nice cheddar Oh, you guys have helped me through some bad times any chance of seeing you do some real old school stuff uh, megalomania or populous uh, I would, the thing is, I tend to stay away from nostalgia properties, which people, like, really love from their childhood when I didn't do it myself. For the simple reason that, I, I you know, when you don't have that grounding, you're probably not going to play it. Like, you're not going to play it right, according to the people who really loved it. You're not going to appreciate it right. I find that happens when I look at nostalgia properties I personally have nostalgia for. So, I, 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 I don't see it as hugely likely. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, next up, we've got uh, uh, Jay Zilla, who gave us five Canadian dollars and says, here is something for John's birthday, Hippo Fund. Yay, Maybe hippos! Maybe just spend it on tea or something. Mm -hmm. uh, LP gave us two pounds and says, uh, happy birthday, John. Love to you, Claire and Tabby. Uh, and Ken says, I discovered your channel over a year ago and you've el helped me survive these crazy times. I love your sense of humor and your videos. Happy birthday. And uh, Ken gave us $10. Happy birthday to you too. Whenever your birthday is, it might not be now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, 20 Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, from Fire Dragons who says, happy birthday, John. I can't be sure when I first found you, maybe Fallout 3 Kill Everything or New Vegas YOLO, but I have been a member for almost four years. I've wow. never regretted it, and I always look forward to your next video. Here is to many more. There will indeed be. Yeah, Fire Dragons is one of the people pointed out that they're on 47 months. 47, uh, yeah, presumably, yeah, there must yeah. be the point where it started, yeah. Yeah, and, uh... And next up, we've got Mushroom Wizard, who gave us $5 and says, Merry birthday, John! Your videos are the best part of my week most weeks. I hope that you and Claire have an awesome day. I was going to play Happy Christmas. That's a perfectly normal thing to say around <laughs> Christmas, so it really doesn't work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, Peppy, Peppy, who gave us five euros and says happy birthday john thank you for providing a well needed distraction from the world every day we do what we can uh yes uh let's see the wasteland lawyer gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday john i got an offer to my dream job that i'd given up on two years ago thank you for everything here is some money. Go buy something nice for Tabby for your birthday. Oh, congratulations. Do we know what the... Presumably some form of law-related job, perhaps. Yeah, I... I one yeah. would reasonably yeah. assume. Probably. Maybe one of the really super cool, ethical, healthy bits of law. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole gave us seven Canadian dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. It's my husband's birthday, too. I've definitely read you, this one I was before. about to say, is that, is that a different husband whose birthday it is, or is that the same no, one? No, no, it's just, it's just a bit late. Um, so definitely, we've definitely heard that one before. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, well, from Benjamin, happy birthday, John. Thanks for all the cocking lols. We do what um, we can. And uh, Benjamin gave us $20. We've also got five dollars from uh, Steve, who says "Happy birthday to you." And How's to Joe B's, whose birthday is also today. Being seventy-five, you're seventy-five, right? I am. I feel like if you were seventy-five, he would know who John Byers is. Uh huh. Um, Joan B's is eighty. Uh huh. Maybe it's her birthday. Mm hmm. Maybe she's eighty-one today. Good old Joan B's. Caleb gave us ten dollars and says, "Unfortunately, I missed the stream until now, but I wanted to wish John a happy birthday and Claire and Tabby a wonderful day too." Mm-hmm. That's very. I've never actually noticed this before. I just, uh, very rarely, I actually let the credits roll. I didn't actually know that um, so that uh, Josh Sawyer was only the project director on Honest Hearts, uh, and that otherwise the director on the DLCs was Avalon. It's kind of that's actually kind of interesting because. Uh, I wouldn't rank Honest Hearts as one of the better DLCs. I think it's one of the weaker bits of DLC. I find it quite interesting. I, I don't know if I just kind of always assumed in the back of my head that, like, you know, possibly that was handled by a more junior person. But, like, I would not have picked that that was the one that Sawyer personally uh, put together. That's actually really interesting. Uh, yes, and then um, Foster gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. A, hip a hypothetical for you to celebrate across the entire franchise. If you could pick any three NPCs to make companions, who would they be or why? And what would you make their companion quest or growth on? I'd love Sunny Smiles to actually be able to like do a bit more in the game than what she does. Because she seems like a really cool, lovely character. Like, you know, with, for no reward and without any persuading, is willing to help other people. She's very helpful to you. She's very helpful to Ringo. She's a really cool character. And, like, she just, she just doesn't get to do anything after the end of Good Spring. She just won't do anything else. I'd love Sunny Smiles to actually be able to, like, you know, maybe you go back to Good Springs later and you can pick up with Sunny Smiles a bit more. And she has a bit more to her. And her, her quest can be something to do with, say, her dog. Maybe, like, you could take some of the dog stuff that's tied to the king and actually make it about Cheyenne instead. That'd be kind of cool. I'd, I'd appreciate uh, I'd appreciate some of that. That'd be lovely. I wouldn't mind the antagonizer or the mechanist being optional companions if you choose to do particular things in Superhuman Gambit in Fallout Three. That'd be uh, that'd be kind of fun. Um, and Fisto, of course, in New Vegas, uh, travel around with Fisto, travel around with Fisto while drinking toilet water because you're just into that. That for the ultimate kinky experience. Yeah, shout out to Reaper who gave us two dollars and says can't give much, but happy birthday. Happy birthday! And also Jessica gave us a hundred Swedish krona and said I had a stressful day at work, so a nice stream was just what I needed. Happy birthday, John! May you have many tabby cuddles and white linen shirts. Oh, that's not a good birthday wish. Once. That's excellent yeah. birthday wish right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. From Oliver, we have twenty pounds, uh -huh. uh, and Oliver says, "Happy birthday, John! This is the first live stream I've been able to catch since getting a job. Yay! Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations! I just wanted to say thank you for all the hours of entertainment you have given me through university. You are." Amazing. Congratulations. I remember my first job after university. That was stressful. Really, really nerve-wracking. So, congratulations, uh, and may your skeleton be blessed with wealth. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I love how I say the word skeleton. I know it's adorable. I know at least, like, there are some people around the world who really hate the fact that I always pronounce skeleton as skellington. So, I, I just do it just to keep annoying them. That's yeah, the only no, reason. That. It's the only reason. I know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to... Uh, Olawolo Nonan, uh, who gave us fifty dollars. Uh, sorry, I hope I didn't butcher your name. Too bad. Um, they say happy birthday. I just got home from work, so I'm a lot late to the party. But I hope you've had a great stream. Looking forward to watching it later. Mm-hmm. Oh, you are in for a treat. You're in for a treat. It's there's some fallout, but it's mainly about them from the the epic of Joan Bees. 
Uh, this is a stream that we had to actually like pause the stream <laughs> to make sure that I was okay because I was laugh crying so bad that John needed to make sure I wasn't cry crying. Yeah, precisely. So this is gonna be. I was fun worried. Too. You worried me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you poor little potato. <laughs> you made me laugh so much. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm having a <laughs> tiny salted caramel egg. Yes, you should. They're your present. Mm -hmm. Uh, DB Explorer gave us $10 and says, I spent most of my spending money on uh, at an anime con last week here. Um, I spent most of my spending money at an anime con last week. Here, have some of what I have left. Also, please pet Tabby for me. No, we don't see it. We'll pet up. Yes. Mm. Uh, the pinster... I've got some salted caramel in it. That's nice. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, the pincer says happy birthday and gave us $5. Mm -hmm. uh, Tiron gave us uh, a thousand... Uh, let's just check Cronus. And says happy birthday, John. Thanks for the many years of awesome entertainment and fun. Uh, Gamer Barnes says uh, just a simple message saying happy birthday. Glad I could catch a stream finally and gave us five pounds. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Jimmy yes. Mental has been a member for three months and says uh, patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish John a happy birthday. Oh, that's cute. Like. Oh, uh, Dragmire uh, gave us 20 Canadian dollars uh, and says happy birthday. Mid 30s are fun, right? They are. I did not know Will Wheaton voiced the Robo Brain in New Vegas. Mm -hmm. That's that's news to me. Uh, shout out to new member Foster and Noel. Uh, new, yes, new members Foster and also Noel separately. I remember I've seen Noel's uh, username a bunch before, so I think maybe uh, they might be like restarting a membership. I'm not sure. Uh, but we have uh, 169 uh, South African rands uh, from Marika, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I did know Courtney Taylor did extra voices in New Vegas, though, who is, uh, you might better know as the voice of Jack in uh, Mass Effect. I knew she did some extra voices for this. Uh, yeah, and Marika says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for being your delightfully infuriating self. I, I, I think that's Claire. Claire can agree with that sentiment. Mm hmm. Uh, Sorry, it took me ages to get into the packaging. Sorry, there was there was packaging ASMR. A A ASMR. I couldn't get into the cocky package. It was very well packaged. Yeah, John's not good at packages. No, I generally just tear them apart. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, M. Dells gave us $10 and says, Hippo birthday to you. you. Hippo birthday to you. Hippo birthday to Hippo birdie, dear John. Hippo birdie to you. <laughs> That's adorable. People just sending messages try to mess with you at this point. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. The, the, the hour is also messing, messing with me. Mm -hmm. The hour is macing me. Mm -hmm. uh, Doran's name gone wrong gave us 10 pounds <laughs> and says, Happy birthday, John. I can't stay, but I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm. uh, and Dylan gave us 25 pounds and says, Happy birthday. I've been watching the channel for a few years and I love your content. Mm -hmm. I've only just arrived, so I'm going to go back and watch from the beginning. I... Uh, look forward to hearing this get read out in four hours or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's going to be longer than that, mate. And of course, the female protagonist in Fallout 4. So Courtney Taylor was also the female protagonist in Fallout 4, which I should have raised really more so. In <laughs> I should have definitely raised you ahead of uh, work outside of the franchise. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yes, indeed. And. Uh, um... <laughs> Mooing Bastard gave us uh, five euros uh, and says one more language for Claire to try. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one doesn't have a pronunciation guide. Yeah, but it's Finnish. So. You don't speak Finnish. No, but I have been to Finland a few times. So, like, I know how they pronounce some letters at least. <laughs> Uh, so, if 
kid, I've forgotten how they pronounce the word. No! Oh no! Oh dear! Oh flipping dear! Oh no! God, that's annoying. I still want to be. See, if I'd read that one when it first came in, mm -hmm. I like I could. We're gonna have to tell people about the shampooing later as well. Oh my God! Yeah. Okay. The shampooing. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, an educated guess. Like a, a mildly educated, an educated yeah. but not really. Alright, go for it, yeah, try it. I'm gonna go with uh, Huva Suntu Mapaiva John. If it was like you're trying to condemn me to hell. Well, that's very rude. <laughs> translate for 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 um for pronunciation help because my computer is on mute right now um shout out to titan who says maybe she can't speak finnish because john never lets her finish that's 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 re i approve of that that's reasonable yeah no that's true yeah that's fab yeah but um i went to finland a few <clears throat> times when i was uh volunteering on helsinki walk on you know mm-hmm um, oh, of course, yes. So, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Um, mm -mm. Steve gave us five euros and says, I'm playing house flipper at the same time. And now I want to clean up all the burned houses in New Vegas. That's a, a Fallout cool. house flippers crossover would be very fun. Uh, Zach gave us five pounds and says, Would you consider a Warhammer 2 or 3K live stream? I uh, would love to see you play again, especially 3K uh, with some sort of poll uh, for factions or something. I did have something vaguely in mind for like a really hyper edited, condensed, high effort video pertaining to Warhammer 2. But I don't want to spoil it and it might not ever happen. So, uh, and I might save it for Warhammer 3, to be honest, because once the full trilogy Mortal Empires campaigns race go, it might work a lot better. So watch this space. There might be something coming up. I mean, if nothing else, next time I do Warhammer on the channel, I'll almost certainly do the Mortal Empire campaign, not the, like, the base just Warhammer 3 campaign. Because Mortal Empire is way more interesting to me. So, like, Warhammer 2 content will all be there as part of that. At the bare minimum. So, it will be back. Yeah, shout out to Fan of Cards, who gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for so many years of entertainment. And here is too many, many more. Woo! Uh, let's see, Mandy gave us five Australian dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, Happy birthday, Mandy. We've got uh, $10 from the return of Sick Phil and the Space Monkeys. Who, um, who, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is a little yes, bit Yes, I saw that. I don't know if you got to this in the Patreon cast yet, no, but I, I quite, did see but this. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they said, Happy birthday, John. Um, I'm I'm way behind currently. As I mentioned in the Patreon cast, my health has taken a downturn. Uh, if this end up, if this ends up being my last live, I'm glad it was for your birthday. Which, um, you know, I think this has been a very special yes. stream. Yes. Uh, and I um hope that um. You know, I hope that doesn't have to be the case. Yes, not of quite course. that soon, yes. Uh, but take care of yourself. Absolutely. Uh, the return of sick fell in the space monkey. <laughs> <laughs> take care of yourself, I hope. Um, One day, if we, ev if we ever, like, whenever we, uh, whenever we, uh, you know, do any more in the way of Mountain Blade, sick fell will always be a part of the channel. Uh -huh. Sick fell will always be part of the channel forever. Yeah, and uh, we've also got happy birthday from Tree Shaker Tucker. Oh. Who uh, gave us five pounds. <coughs> Excuse me. And from Ken Ender, who's uh, been a member for 10 months and says happy birthday from a stranger. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, U of M 2012 gave us $5 specifically saying, please use this for tabby treats as well as happy birthday, of course. Mm hmm. Uh,. Yeah. Oh, this is. 
uh, Tabby can't have treats right this Yeah, second, Tabby, we need to be careful with Tabby's treats. You know. She's a sensitive baby. Yeah. So we need to be very careful that we give her what works best for her tummy. Otherwise, she'll end up feeling rubbish and ending up having to spend overnight in the vets. And she really doesn't like that. And neither do we. Yeah. Because we just end up talking to her when she's not here and yeah. we get sad. Because she, well, she may well enjoy eating treats, but she doesn't enjoy what they do to her stomach. So. Yeah, I mean, treats are fine. It's mostly... Uh, it's, I think it was grass from the garden. Anyway. Yes. Um, Rob gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday. Thank you both for all the content over the years. Uh, and also uh, Javran. Uh, gave us ten dollars and says uh, just uh, dropping by during work to say happy birthday. I hope the new HQ works out for you. It's been working out so yeah. far. It's been it's been it's a much better workspace. Oh yeah. It works now that we've actually got some dedicated workspace and we're not like you know making bedrooms, living rooms double up uh, as workspace. We can actually have separation of work and living and relaxing. That makes life a lot easier. It makes everything a lot easier. Yeah, yeah hugely. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's very nice to just have, you know, mm -hmm. bedroom space upstairs. That's just like, you know what? This is just relaxed space. Yes. Uh, I've been sleeping better. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and Outfoxed uh, gave us $5 and says, I speak two languages, English and poor English. <laughs> Happy birthday, John. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, one of the most spoken languages in the world is poor English. Mm -hmm. You noticed there, uh, by the way, I'm sure some of you may know already, uh, Josh Sawyer wrote some songs for, and also performed some songs for New Vegas in particular. Some of the songs uh, performed in um, uh, the Tops Theatre uh, were both written and performed by Josh Sawyer. Even though Josh's voice doesn't actually sound anything like the character that was the voice actor who otherwise, otherwise provided the voice of the character. So characters walk on stage and suddenly have a very different voice, which is a little bit off-putting. But it's because uh, Josh Sawyer himself provided some of the uh, uh, some of the actual uh, uh, song uh, songs uh, to uh, New Vegas. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Nico gave us uh, four pounds fifty. And says, I'm glad I could make this stream. The Fallout series helps motivate me through the week. Uh, and yeah, Zumba Max gave us five euros and says, your favorite thing in the actual, uh, in the whole, whole world. No, no, I said steamed hams. <laughs> I love the steamed, steamed hams. Such a good, such a good thing. Such a wonderful thing. Oh dear, oh dear. Ken gave us ten dollars and says, "As an American, your version of Happy Birthday made me think, made me wish it was yesterday." <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, John the Wizard gave us twenty-two pounds, uh, twenty-two dollars even, and says, "Skies of Arcadia when." Uh, at some point when I, I get the courage to do it, because I suspect it, like, it's, I, as sad as it is, I suspect it would not actually be a particularly widely watched or popular series, mm -hmm. which is really sad, because it's a fairly obscure, little-known uh, JRPG, but I, I love that game. I love it so much, but I suspect even so it would be actually a, a fairly unpopular series, which is really sad. Uh, let's see, uh... We've got a new currency, new currency alert. Uh, shout out to Jude uh, St. Francis, who gave us uh, seven Malaysian, well, eight really, Malaysian ringgits. Uh. So I um, hope I'm not saying that too wrong, uh, but uh, they say, happy birthday, old man. Oh, charming, love it. It is lovely. <laughs> I'm not that old. I know. Not that old. I'm slightly old. My lord, you damn kids. Uh, shout out to Emilio, who gave us $10 <laughs> and says, I just got home from work and missed your birthday. You didn't, because this was a while ago. Mm -hmm. Here's some spare cash to get you something nice and naughty, preferably steeped in nudie tea. Mm -hmm. Steeped tea. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know you see... I don't know, maybe I thought maybe you hadn't seen it because you know you, you like one. Maybe I just about just invested some toilet water. Oh my god, gross. Uh, I mean you can buy Gamer Girl bath water. 
Somebody made that joke earlier oh, in course. chat, but we kind of, you know. <laughs> but that, that person got banned, but you can't ban me! They didn't. It's just I tried to say it, but you were talking, and then I kind of like ran out of. You know, I we see. moved on to something else. Anyway, Mr. Hedgebull gave us five pounds and says, Have a birthday pint on me. It's payback for the Subnautica series, which has my seven year old son in stitches. He loves watching it. You get it wrong. I'm sorry for the odd light swearing that sneaks into the Subnautica series when I'm uh, taken by surprise by sea monsters. Oh dear, oh dear. I apologize if I've corrupted the youth in any way. Uh, shout out to uh, Lord Lovecraft who gave us uh, $2 and wants to know if you're quoting Harry Partridge's Dr. B's Fall. I think my pronunciation of bees probably was. I, I do quite like some of Dr. B's. Dr. B's must make me laugh. Um, so it was it was quite possibly, I, I kind of like subconsciously the way I pronounce bees is quite possibly inspired by that, yes. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, not telling in chat says uh, gamer guy toilet water doesn't quite roll off the tongue. <laughs> Amazing. Um, uh, let's see. Zumba Marks, was, of course, is PJ, uh, gave us five euros and uh, says this is a great B day stream. <laughs> oh, I see what he did there. Uh, this one you're gonna read. Uh -huh. Oh, am I? Yeah, please. Oh, Tabby. You want, but, but hang on. This is... Oh, I see. Hang on. This is the one that's being nice to me. I want to make you read it. Uh -huh. Claire, this is for you. I think you deserve it. John has gone to the weird side. I bet they offer cookies. Uh, Claire, you are working so hard. Bless you. Thank you, uh, Ro. Thank you, Ro. I think Tabby's also might be coming back in soon. I swear I just said yeah. a meow in the no, background. I heard a meow too. There's a little, there might be more meows in the way. I mean, it is super late. Poor Tibbs. Uh, do you want to go give her a dinner while I do some more? Yes, Do you please. want to go do, yeah, you go take care of Mibble Mibbles. Yes. I'll take care of this. I'm going to mess this up. Okay, let's, let's prepare for Solo John. Yeah, there's let's, not. Let's prepare for Solo John here. If you run out of these, there's yep. more. Huh? I'm sure there's not. Everything is under control. Everything is. Oh shit! Ow! That's fine. Uh, I didn't do anything. I just thought I'd be dramatic. <laughs> Everything's fine. Thank you very much to Trent who gave us fifteen Australian dollars. And I sorry I missed this. I look forward to watching it later on YouTube. I just want to say happy birthday. Thanks for years of entertainment. Regards from Australia, which is a. a one of the best countries, right after Canada. Thank you very much to somebody else who said he gave us ten pounds. That happy birthday, John! You're absolutely amazing in the worst way possible. Right, that'll have been said somewhere around the toilet water instant. I'm assuming to Nephron, who gave us ten Canadian dollars, the best dollars from the best country, and said sending for Claire's medical bills to repair her busting. I was seriously worried about Claire. I thought Claire was. I thought Claire was crying. I thought Claire was 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 crying, and I, 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 that's why I stopped for a second because I just wanted to do a very quick wellness check just to make sure Claire was okay. Because the last thing I'd ever wanted to be doing a stream where someone was like struggling at the same time as as part of the stream. So that's why I, I stopped, we, That's why I cut the audio for a second because I just wanted to check Claire was okay. Because I, I was I wasn't sure whether she was laugh crying or cry crying. Uh, I just had to make sure. So yes, thank you very much for 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 donating to poor Claire's medical bills as a result of that. To Sir Leet, who gave us five US dollars, said, Happy birthday, John! May the candles on your cake burn like villages in your wake. Oh, that's a lovely way to envisage a birthday, isn't it? I almost missed that this was a birthday streamer uh, while I was at work. Well, it is. Well, it was. Okay, it's not been my birthday for an hour and nine minutes. So, quite frankly, Claire's being incredibly generous that she hasn't immediately turned on me in any capacity. Oh dear, this is this is the thing. Huh? This looks a bit good. Okay, and slightly, I'm going to slightly lower the. Uh, the audio. The audio might be a little bit aggressive there. Let's let's get the let's get the audio down a little bit. Just to make sure the audio I think the, the title of the screen's a bit aggressive in Fallout New Vegas, so just to be absolutely sure. Thank you very much to Seth Ward at 74 who gave us 10 US dollars. So this is 100 percent I'm listening to a radio play and I love it. Happiest of birthdays to all my favourite people I shall ever meet. Hope you know how utterly delightful you are. I'm assuming this was somewhere around the adventures of Joan Bees! 
uh, which is, I'm guessing that we're about there. So that's that's where we are. We're still we're still a little bit little bit behind here. To Matt Portman, who gave us ten pounds and didn't. I don't manage to catch many live streams, but this was well worth witnessing. Also, what day is it today? It's John's birthday. What a day for a birthday. Let's all have some cake. Is that a song? That may have been a song that I just. Best. Also, I used to know that earlier today, when I was looking in the fridge, I looked at like a bit of like um, cooked meat, and I checked the date on it, and it said the 20th of August, and I went to my computer to check what date it was, before I realised, John, you know what date it is, you've got a really good frame of reference for what, <laughs> you've got such a good frame of reference for what day it is today, you know the date. But I didn't, so that was, that was good. Thank you very much to Who's Alex, who gave us two US dollars. And said, Joan B is the next Captain Sibian of the Space Monkeys. I tell you what, I'd, I'd watch, uh, you know, Netflix created anime about Joan B's taking on Johnny Gills and the Beastie Boys. I'd, I'd flip and watch that. That sounds like that sounds like an absolute flipping hit. All right, hundred percent. That's that's a guaranteed hit right there. No chance in hell that's not a hit. To Cherry Coke Boy, who gave us five US dollars and said, always forget your birthdays in the same month as mine. Have a happy birthday. And whatever you're doing right now, I'll check up on it later. Probably lapping out of a toilet while yelling, Joan B! Johnny Girls. It's great. I've, I've just been enjoying kind of going, I've just been doing, I've just been doing underwater voice today. This is, this is, this has been my tie day. I've just been enjoying doing an underwater voice. It's fine. Thank you very much to Scott Smith, who said, Happy name day, John. Thank you for, uh, for, for many years of entertainment. The laughter you've provided. He gave 15 US... Canadian, not... No, the other one. The, the, like, like the US, but further north and better. Um, Canadian dollars. The laughter you provided. To you, Claire and Tammy, thank you again. I love you guys. Have a most excellent day. You have a most excellent day too, Scott. You have the best day of all. To Fled, or possibly Flower, and I can't remember how that was supposed to be pronounced. You give us two pounds, and coming this summer, John, the sewer monster. Oh, I was about to keep reading. I was going to keep reading the the, the the thing as a movie poster, but no, that's the next one. It was just coming this summer, John. The sewer, mon John. That's 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 American movie narrator man saying the word John in the trailer. John. God, it's really late. Thank you very much to Ryan the Rabbit, Ryan Chris Rambling Region. Oh, so that's another good one. That's another really really fun uh, use name to say out loud. He gave us ten US dollars and said, "Come, come six hours late to the birthday stream to John screwing about toilet daddy and being powered by urine." Um, happy birthday, John. I'll uh, go see myself out. Enjoy. Yes, there were certainly some interesting moments to join this stream. Very interesting moments. To Alex, who gave us five pounds and said toilet water donation. <laughs> Indecisive Wolf, who said slurping the toilet water with a sink mere feet away was enough to finally get me to send a gift. <laughs> Happy late birthday, John. <laughs> that was amazing. If that's not already been clipped and sent to me, there's no justice in the world. What the hell's the point of anything? To David Wellman, who gave us US $6.87. A very specific, interesting amount there. Um, a fiver for your natal anniversary for your next Tesco foray. I can't afford Harrods. Oh, interesting. I'm guessing that must mean... Do I YouTube... If, if it says yeah, fiver, I guess it means five pounds. Because five pounds would be about six, eight, seven US dollars. But for some reason, it's been put into US dollars. Fascinating. I wish I knew why. And to Titan, who gave us another 50 Swedish krona. No, wait. South... No. So Swedish? I think Swedish krona. And said, Herpy Gurf Bay, John. And that's the end of Claire's document. What's the code, John? What? What's the code for the thing that you think is Swedish krona? S-E-K. Yeah, Swedish Yeah, Swedish krona. What is your activity on YouTube? Firefox. Because I'm logged in as me and... Oh, yeah. Oh, I say. Yeah, and then you need to find the person who just did the Swedish Krona donation. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I've just realized that... Got it. The, the Chinese... Some of the Chinese takeaway nice meal that I got for after the stream... Oh, no, they got the oven. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. How long? 20 minutes. Eh, uh, get them in now. Yeah, no, that's what I'm doing. If we're still going, we'll eat it live. <laughs> I think Claire wants to go. Claire has to go to... 
Is it, I think Tabby's. I think Tabby's got a vet appointment tomorrow morning. Tabby's having a checkup tomorrow morning. So Claire's Claire's getting up early to take Tibbs to that, and we're doing. We're we're, we're still going at quarter past one. We've not had dinner yet. And apparently, dinner needs to be cooked in the oven, so it's going to take a while to do. <laughs> Which is part of the reason I was just doing a wellness check with Claire earlier, just to make sure she was okay with the fact that we were still going. Uh, just just you know, just to make sure. Thank you very much to Rusty Bike Five, who was just who's a member for 35 months and sent their member message saying happy birthday, John, which was was true at the time it was sent, but probably isn't anymore. Now it's just a regular day. April 18th. Maybe April 18th, 1986, something actually interesting happened. Unlike April 17th, 1986, when nothing happened apart from me being born. Everything else, cocking doll. Let's seriously look it up. Look up April 17th, 1986. Nothing happened. Nothing. Literally nothing. They unveiled a statue of a pig at a market. That's it. That was the biggest news of the day. Blatantly, many a true nerd born... Choirs of Heavenly Angels sing. That's the op That's the better option. That's the more interesting. To Spriggs, who gave us £20 and said, Happy Level Up Day to you, John. <laughs> more cash for John's Victory Dad. Smart. I felt bad about the Victory Dad. I might have gone slightly overboard during the door for a man take. Just, just, you know, 5%. Who knows? Read to Reaper, 147, who gave us uh, two yes dollars and said, Where's the toilet when you need it? It's, it's, it's located in the toilets, generally. Though apparently sinks. Sinks are also an option. Who cocking knew? Proving Pilot's attempts to gamer, who gave us two US dollars, said, Happy birthday, John. I hope your day has been good. I hope yours has been good as well, Proving Pilot's attempts to gamer. Oh, this is... This is Claire's, I think Claire in the background is just uh, trying to summon Tabby to dinner there. Tataka, who gave us ten... Polish? Claire? Yeah? P-L-N. Polish Lottie. Polish Lottie. All right. I, th I, I guess Polish. I went for Polish. That was my first guess. So that actually kind of worked. So that worked beautifully. Happy birthday and F to the Securitron. Oh, we're all, we must be almost there. If, we, if we're giving F to the Securitron, we're almost there. To a, a lower, a lower loan, a lower loan, a lower, a low, a lower low loan, no, no bloody hell. That that's just deliberately designed to trip me up right there. It was fifty US dollars. Said happy birthday. I just got home from work, so I'm a little late to the party. And so I have a lot like. What? No, I just got it wrong because it's hard day to say. Yeah, but also I've already read that one because. Oh, it's, did it's a. It's a pink or red. Sorry. If it's pink or red, I'm Sorry. Red just, just, I don't know what the system is. The system is the, the ones that are over 50 quid. Thank you very much to Wobble. You gave us five pounds. And thank you so much for an extremely good entertainment. Tell me past the time during my long night shifts and keep drinking that toilet water. Lots of people enjoy me drinking out of toilets. If you enjoy John drinking out of toilets, I thoroughly recommend the Dust series. The Fallout New Vegas Dust series is pretty much nothing but me running around uh, a post-post-apocalypse version of New Vegas looking for toilets to drink out of because they're pretty much the only reliable source of water because I think the guy who made the mod couldn't figure out how to turn water off out of the toilet. So if you could find locations with toilets, they'd still have water in them. Uh, so it was by far the easiest source of water. Just drinking out of toilets was pretty much entirely what you did. So that there was, a, it, it, it's a good time. It's just nothing but me but hunt, hunting for toilets to drink out of. So if you enjoy, you know, that toilet drinking stuff, that's, that's where you want to go. To Myanmar, who gave us seven Canadian dollars and happy birthday, John. And Missy Tarji, this streamer, still wanted to give you a little something for your special. Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you, Myanmar. To Oisin, who gave us ten euros and said... Okay, it's 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 Irish again. So Irish pronunciation, uh, Brello Huna Git, uh, pronunciation of oh uh oh, and the pronunciation of that that person name who I just called Oisin is actually Ushin. So that's that's from that was from Ushin. But in my defence, the pronunciation guide for the name was at the end, was at the end of the message. So I feel like that one's only partly on me for like. I mean, I Oh, it's fine. Thank you very much to Isle who gave us five years dollars and said, Claire, make John an honest man before he gets too old. <laughs> Blimey, that's a bit heavy. Uh, thank you very much to Psycho Purple, 
He gave us £10, said the Fallout 4 YOLO is the highlight of my week. It got me into many a true nerd. I believe El <laughs> I believe uh, Alison Finn is in good hands. Hope you've had a very happy birthday. I don't. She's cocking, swimming in rads and all sorts of trouble right now. We're, we're, we're rapidly heading towards a situation where just a couple more hits and I'm starting to think about filling up my health bar with rads and going full on over to unyielding and like maxed out radiation mode and just going for one last blaze of glory mega powerful dumb thing which is wonderful that you could do that in fallout 4 it's just cocky great oh it's just just the best and thank you very much to nathan who goes 50 pounds said hey john just want to say you bring so much joy to so many people and that you make everyone's days just a little bit brighter. Happy birthday. That's very sweet. I like the sweet messages. The sweet messages are my favourite. To Martin, who gave us five New Zealand dollars. Good luck playing the game. I hope your heart can take it after playing the other series. This has been lovely and relaxing. Just, just a dumb, dumb thing running around, blasting people with shotguns. Seriously, and stay back just carried me through that final fight. It's such a powerful perk that you can just basically run around. You can just say, you know what? You're the most powerful enemy in the game. And now you're lying on the ground for the next five seconds. Screw you. And stay back's just, it, it, might, it might just be a bit too good, to be honest. It might just be a little bit uh, too good. Well, they, they modified it in Fallout 76 into Enforcer, was it? Where it wasn't quite so, you know, uh, constant. And I think that was, that was uh, probably for the best. Yes, probably for the best, actually. Welcome to Mitchell McLean, who is a brand new member. And to O Man Gaming, who gave us five US dollars, saying, Happy birthday, Jorah. I spent most of the stream uh, napping with the drone in the background. My cat's somewhere in the room. That sounds like a nice chill day. That sounds like a nice chill day. Which is probably what I should have done for my birthday. Instead of working all day on one super long project for Saturday, and then spending seven hours studying at 6 p.m. Uh, streaming. That that might have been a better idea for better. But I'm terrible at relaxing, so here we cocking up. Thank you very much to Thad, Thad Lackey, who gave us 10 US dollars, and said, we have the same birthday. They're on different days, but they're both birthdays. Now that, that's deep. That's some deep philosophical thinking right there. That's that's some good stuff. To Oman Gaming again, who gave us five years on and said, before I napped, I was playing Humankind. Kind of like Civ Cross with Endless Legend. I love it. Yes, I've done a preview of it. So if you look up many true nerd humankind, you will find that. I do have uh, the full version uh, already. In fact, I had it for a few days. I just didn't have a chance to play it uh, before this uh, before this stream came out. Like, had this been a normal week, I might have done a video of it for today. Because it was my birthday, I wanted to do something special. Um, but that will potentially uh, be uh, returning on the channel at some point or another. Too tight again. Give us another 50 Swedish crowd and said, Happy belated Indonesian Independence Day, 17th of August. Hope that wasn't in 1986, otherwise that's definitely more important than my birthday. Um, I feel like that would have been on the list of things. I feel like that would have been on the list of things, potentially. Yeah, whatever. You're the reincarnation of Harold McMillan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if that was their dastardly plan, it went wrong. Uh-huh. Uh, Go on, Claire. Go on. You can wrap us up. We're almost there. We're almost caught up. Shout out to Mitchell McLean who uh, gave us $10 and says happy birthday, much love, and thank you for all the videos and the lols, much love. Uh, we've also got a new member, Megadesu, and Malachi gave us $15 and says it is still your birthday here in Texas. Happy birthday, John Nigils. <laughs> That's probably true. Yes, indeed. Well, the problem is, uh, I've, the only way I've got to kill the game <laughs> is there's no way to kill this game, with the exception of the, the, the. Are you just gonna unplug your? No. I oh. just need. To, I just need to find the. Oh, I see. You're just looking at your other screen. I just need to. This is. I just need to find this. Right, now I can use that to kill oh this. Oh my god, did you just go task manager to... That's the only way to shut down Fallout New Vegas. Okay. It's literally the only way, all right? It's a very broken game that hates not being the center of attention. That's all we got. Sorry, uh, I'll give us another $2 and says, Claire, I want an answer. Um, I'm sorry, what's... I'm, I'm, did I miss a question that was for me? uh let me know shout out to brock also uh who's a new channel member mm -hmm. uh let's see I, uh... 
Let me try and find a uh, other comet, maybe. Uh, I've got a uh, happy unbirthday, Claire. Oh, yes, okay. Make John an honest man before he gets too old. Ah, I see. I mean, um... I... You know, neither of us, I don't think either of us is, like, super opposed, but we also have, don't feel like we have particular reason to. Yeah. Um, so, you know. Mm-hmm. Eh. And, I mean, also for me, the thing is, like, obviously, even in non-COVID times where travel and organizing events and whatever sounds, like, super stressful, you know... It would be super weird to have to organize a thing that had like all my French people and uh, my English people and stuff like it. It feels like, you know, I like the idea of like, mm -hmm. you know, we're not the marriage declaration kind. and whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, it just seems like it's more faff than yeah, you know, like. Not for We've us. We've made many commitments together that feel just as important. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Mm -hmm. And we're <sighs> coming up on the end, we've got a couple of songs to sing us out. Ooh, so if you've made it to the end, exciting. we've got some, possibly a trio of songs. Mm. Like so we've got, yes, a cover of Never Gonna Give You Up, together with, happy, together with a couple of birthday songs. Very exciting. I don't. I don't actually have headphones. Okay. So that's fine. But uh, are we? Are we fully caught up though? We are fully caught oh, up. Oh shit! Are we? Wow, I'm what? so good at my job. You weren't even here for most of it. <laughs> I was here for like the seven and a half hours. You were there. You weren't there for the twenty minutes at the end. That's that's the important bit. I'm gonna focus on right. That's the yeah. end of the Fallout New Vegas You Only Everything Once completely dumb challenge run from the list of dumb runs that are never going to become actual series. So they just get occasionally made into dumb live streams. It was very dumb. It was very dumb and I didn't plan it. We did it. Aside from the bits where we, you could argue yeah, we yeah, cheated. Yeah, yeah, totally. But you know, aside from the bits where you could argue we cheated, it was great. So thank you all so very, very much. For coming, thank you so so much for your incredibly generous birthday donations. So we had a lovely time. We also do you know a bit of a special event for the channel anniversary and my birthday. You know, special or challenge run or something. So there we go, complete start to finish challenge run of Fallout New Vegas with only some accidental cheating. Who cocky goes? It is. It is shorter than last year's stream, which was twelve hours. Mm -hmm. That was that went on to twelve hours. That's true. It did. We started this one later though. So <laughs> shout out to Titan who gave us a. Uh, 50 Swedish krona and says the girlish dervish searcheth through the frothing trough. I, 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 I none, none of those, none of those, can... none of those are real words. None of those are real words. We're going to sign off there. We're going to go have some food. Tabby's already had some food because she's the important one. That's yeah, the and her bit. food has like meds that go in it and stuff, which exactly. is why it took she used a while. to have her medicine, bless and her. And then there was no, uh, there was no clean, um, you know, oven trays and stuff, so mm -hmm. I had to improvise. Lol. <laughs> oh dear. But yes, thank you all so far very much for joining us. Everything back to normal uh, tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow obviously won't be a live stream because we did a live stream today. Tomorrow will actually be um, the finale of the current content that's in Death Trash. Uh, that's coming up uh, tomorrow. And as I say, a bit of a special event on Saturday. I've got, like, something that a, a lot of time has gone into. So, like, you know, a little bit of a special event sort of a uh, sort of a thing. So, yes, watch, uh, keep your eyes on that. I don't want to spoil any of it, but I've got a little kind of, like, it's like a challenge run that's been seriously compressed down. And I think it's very fun and really cool. So, something very interesting coming up on Saturday. Uh, whole bunch of stuff coming up. And yeah, I've just been having a think about the shape of the channel in general. So watch this space. There might be some fun ah, announcements yes, coming that. on. Oh, yes. Yes. That's that's vaguely coming up in the not-too-distant future. So, hopefully, you are, you are hanging around for another year. You can join me next year for the anniversary of the birthday specials. That always a good flipping time. In the meantime, I've been Tom. I've been Claire. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Follow up the matters. Ba -ba -ba. Joan Bees. And I'm Johnny Me? Gill. No, Johnny Gills. I'm Johnny Gills. <laughs> That's how you do Johnny Gills.
Like you could you could do oh, I'm the Beastie Boys. That's fine, but Johnny Gibbles. Okay. Uh, by the way, whenever I do that, I put my fingers next to my chin and I wiggle them like the, the tentacles and like that Davy Jones has got in like Pirates of the Caribbean. But Johnny Gibbles. Oh yeah, I thought you were an ood, but sure. <laughs> Oods aren't underwater. They live on an ice planet. I know, but they look sillier and you look silly. <laughs> Love you. Johnny Gibbles. <laughs> Play us out, Myra, with the first of several songs. The songs, yay. Also, the Patreon cast is coming, like, t tomorrow, possibly. Hopefully. Really, hopefully, tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Well, I'll say good night after the songs. The songs first. Juni Shanger Kwaila Bon Anniversaire La Brelana John Happy Birthday to you We're no strangers to love you know the rules, and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Oh, I feel positively birthday serenaded so far. This is marvellous. Let's see if we can wrap it up on a high. Yo, we oh, yo, we oh. Drop the guns, drop the bomb, drop the witch, then just move on. Yo, we oh, yo, we oh. Pick a pocket, pick a side, mess it up, but let it slide. Oh, we oh. Yo, yo, it's John's birthday, live on stream. This runs harder than it seems. Rules are changing as he deems. Yo, 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 yo. I'm not sure whether we're supposed to play the middle one or not. I, I, this is why you don't, you don't give me control of the buttons. I, I just push the buttons. You put a big button in front of me that says do not push. I'm, I'm going to look at that button. So I don't know. That's that's what hell if I mean. Why, why would that button be there if you don't push it? Like, what what's even the point of the button? All right. If, you, if they didn't want me to push it, they wouldn't have put a button here. We'll push the damn, damn button. Have fun, everybody. I'll see you next year. Claire was supposed to really say something at that point, but she didn't. It's not the new year, John. Have fun! Have fun! Funk! Funk!